Glover hits him with the left hand. Let's go, Glover. Glover looking for the choke. The tap! The tap! Let's do it. Wonderful, wonderful. How's everyone doing in the chat? Hopefully everyone is fired up for a fight night. UFC Vegas 76. That's right. We're Let's back in champ. the apex. We got little Groom membering up two months. Triple champs. Come on, triple champ. The Groom. Green belt. Says my favorite show. My body is ready. Wonderful, wonderful. That's right. Get your bodies ready. A triple champion kicking off the program. Thank you, Little Groom, for your support. Uh, yeah, Apex is fired up. Thank God we're live. I see Michael Bisping. I see Laura Sanko and Brandon Fitzgerald. So we got you covered, guys. Just mute the fucking broadcast. We're good to go here. We got you. Everything's going to be fine. I would not. I would not let you guys listen to that. I would not. Not on my watch. So we're here, we're live, we're going to react to the entire card, we're going to give our play-by-play, -play. and that's right, this is a, an incredible fight night, massive names, Magomedov, Abus, everyone's been talking about him, lighting the world on fire, starting off the card with uh, a gentleman that needs a win, Romanov, who I actually did pick uh, against Ivanov. That, that opens up the card. It should be a pretty fiery first round, and if it goes past that, we have problems. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun oh, fun day. Super Life and Logic coming in with a $2 donation. Logan going to be a player. He is. He's going to be a player. I ain't a player. I just crush a lot. Thank you so much, Life and Logic. Wow, you just made you just made yourself a player over here. With that $2 donation, you, well, let's dust off the top fucking dog over here. Come on. Come on. Let's see who the top dog will be of tonight's stream. Big money. Big money. No whammies. Life and Logic, thank you for being the top fucking dog. A uh, person with the biggest donation of the stream will be up in the lights. And right now, it's Life and Logic. Hey, put those dogs away. Thank you for being wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so honestly, the matchups on this card are actually aren't that, that bad. I've been pretty hard on the UFC lately. I'm going to be optimistic. I can't wait to see Sean Strickland jab to a decision and get the win. I like Sean Strickland. I actually do like Sean Strickland. Everything about Sean Strickland is uh, makes me want to root for him. He's very honest. He's open. He's transparent. We uh, released a short with Bruce Buffer addressing Sean Strickland, and I noticed in the comments section that people are taking it the wrong way. <laughs> they're, they're 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 there's like they're thinking that Bruce Buffer is like some sort of like egotistical dick. That's not well. Maybe I maybe I uploaded it wrong. I don't know, but that's not what Bruce was saying. Bruce was trying to give uh, Sean some uh, constructive criticism, a little bit of advice, because if you do have a um, 
an interesting personality, you like to say controversial things, you know, chances are sponsors are like, yeah, we're good. We're not going to support you, you know? So, you know, it's a double-edged sword. But I like that Sean doesn't care, you know, and, and he's very uh, honest and open, and he's funny. I think he's a funny guy. I think he means no harm by this the shit he says. I'm sure he pisses off some people, but it seems like most people like Sean. Unless you're from Germany, then you're not a big Sean Strickland fan. Or a woman, you're probably not a big Sean Strickland fan. Anyway, the first fight starts in 14 minutes. Not sure why that is. Did something fall off the card? Anyway, I, I don't know. I think Sean's going to win. We put a poll up. It seems like our community thinks he's going to win. If Magomedov gets the job done here, that's a big, big seize the moment for uh, a bus. If he can get that job done tonight, you know, coming in from PFL, really should not be in a main event against Sean Strickland, but he beats a ranked guy and you know, away we go. A bus is in the mix. Like he's literally he just injects himself right into the mix. So that is something, a small percentage of. You know, uh, that might happen. But if it does happen, that is an interesting story. So let's uh, check out the live chat. Let's say hello to the peeps before we get underway on this glorious Saturday afternoon. Uh, I like Strickland a lot, but I actually think he'll never win another fight. Wow. I Wow, you don't think he's going to win tonight? Interesting. Uh, Sanko versus Alevi. I would take Sanko since she's trained, right? I thought this card lost uh, one or two fights. I guess it did. I just saw I just saw 14 minutes away. Well, if you're watching the replay, just skip ahead in the uh, the program. <laughs> That's weird. I didn't think it was going to start that late. I guess it did lose a uh, fight or two. Sean is going to lose. I don't want that. But uh, wow. So you guys, like the performance against Jared Cannonier, I feel like that really showed that Sean is a top tier guy. I understand he lost to Pereira and most likely would lose to Adesanya. Most likely would lose to... Robert Whitaker, but still, he's still a top dog in the division. I think Sean's getting, wow, it's, it's kind of interesting. And I like the fact that we have another side to this and not everyone is picking Sean Strickland in this fight. But that's, it's fascinating. Just because he got smoked by Pereira doesn't mean he's like the worst, you know, middleweight out there. It's, that's, that's pretty interesting. The guy knows how to win a decision. And I have to say this, it's weird. Like Sean is better on the mic than he is in the cage, if that makes any sense. Like, his fighting style has been a little lackluster. He just fights decision fights, you know, outpoints his opponent. He doesn't really talk shit in the cage anymore. He just tries to get the job done each and every time. And then he's back to fun Sean in, on the mic. So I'm hoping like we could see Sean Strickland knock out a bus. You know, if Sean like buries this man, um, you know, early or something like that. And I think that's that would be a massive plus, And Sean would just literally catapult himself to a superstar. But if he goes to another decision here. It's tough. It's 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 a weird situation. The Sean Strickland experiment. We got alerts coming in over here. Hold on. We got people supporting the show. One, I appreciate one, that. Here comes Chubbs. Paul Costa's girlfriend is his manager and they've been together like a decade or some shit. So why is everybody acting like he <laughs> smashed Ortega's girl? Well, I, and thank you, Chubbs. I did see before we went live. Paulo Costa is like, he's having fun with this. And Ortega, dude, he dropped the ball with his response. He said something on Twitter. It just made no sense. He said, anyway, if you guys are interested in this stuff, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> so Paolo, <laughs> Paolo Costa, you know, he's got his whole thing with the secret juice. And hold on a second here. Let's get the right thing. Boop, boop. He's got this thing with the secret juice. He's hilarious. He posted a picture of him and Tracy Cortez. Apparently, they train together. I guess they're out of the same gym or I guess. So they, they posted this picture. The internet went fucking wild. Wow, 2.7 million impressions on this thing. Holy smokes. So the internet went wild. They were all cracking jokes about Ortega. You know how he dropped the ball. He, you know, they split. Him and him and this chick split, right? Cortez. So Palo Costa, I think, understood that that's happening. And then he put out a tweet today and he put Saturday with a big smiley face with his hand on a fat ass and not showing the face. You know what he's doing, right? <laughs> you know you know what he's doing. He is trolling. Like, I don't know if that... I, I'm pretty sure that's not her. I'm sure that is his girlfriend. But uh, Paolo Costa does put this out there. You know, having fun with it. Smart move. Smart, <laughs> smart move. Because people are going to think this is Tracy Cortez. And maybe it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But Paolo Costa is, is su- Saturday with a big smile <laughs> on his face. I... Uh, also, Ortega, hold on. 
Ortega's post, which was kind of goofy. He kind of, I, he kind of made it worse for himself, in my opinion. But um, hold on, let me pull this up real quick. I guess we'll start the show with a little cringiness. All right, here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Damn, yo, Twitter's been weird, man. I've been, I haven't been able to respond and stuff like that. It's been really strange. All right, uh, let's see. We'll do it this way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ortega. Ortega. Brian Ortega, T-City. There he is, T-City. I'm not a big Ortega fan. I, I mean, he's a talented athlete and stuff like that. I just think he's kind of a penis. I, I don't know. So he's just a, he's just too smug for me to... Anyway. Uh, everyone out here talking about, I fumbled. Y'all must not know the rules of the game. When you drop the ball on accident... It's by accident. On accident, that's a fumble. But when you throw it away on purpose, that's called a complete pass. Top G shit. And I responded. I don't know. It didn't go through. But uh, <laughs> if you throw the ball away on purpose, that is an incomplete pass. You dope. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Like, dude, this guy is brain dead. I, I am I am so not. I hope I hope Palacos is smashing the hell out of. Dude, how brain dead. Like, what the hell kind of response is that? Dude, it's like, why would you say that? You dumb fuck. You sound like an idiot. That's not top G shit. That's top retard shit. That's called a complete pass. When you throw the ball away on purpose. <laughs> Anyone that remotely understands how football works. That's not, a, that's not a complete pass. But it might be CT. It's possible. And now I understand why Cortez left his ass. So there you go. <laughs> top G shit. Maybe meaning top, top goofball shit. Oh, here we go. It did go through my response. Okay, it did go through. So crazy, man. So crazy. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. If you're a Brian Ortega, just don't respond. Just pretend like it doesn't even exist. You, by you responding and saying something dopey, you just look like more of an idiot. Ah, oh, super chat. Let's see how many you get right with this card, Moss. I get them all right. Every card, I get them right. Here's the thing. The, um, here's the deal. I, I have two bets. Actually, three, because I made the two bets a parlay. I am not incredibly uh, confident on this one. They're gambles. The two the two underdogs that I picked are gambles. One being Kevin Lee. That's right. I picked Kevin Lee against the Russian. But I watch last night's stream. Re, re, you know, run it back. You'll understand why I went that direction. Uh, I just don't know if the talent of his opponent is quite up there. He does have a fancy twenty plus fight um, wins on his resume. But um, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I want to. All I got to do is hit one bet, and I'm up plus money. But tonight, tonight I'm going to enjoy the fights for what they are. Hopefully, I become plus money king once again, and I can yell and scream and have some fun with that. But I'm not optimistic. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, not responding is the correct decision. Yeah. I, listen, I've learned this from like almost seven years on here. By the way, August 22nd, our seven year birthday on this channel. I've been doing YouTube for seven years. Like that's that is absurd to think about. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I've learned along the way. Sometimes you're better off just not responding. I'm doing all right. Uh, let's see. Been crazy week though. I've been in the hospital with my mom all week. She has some stomach infection. Damn, man. I tell you, man, we've been hearing some real like tough stories coming from the chat lately. So, um, I, you know, I, I said this in a previous message today. Uh, this show is like that bar, you know? It's like that local bar. You go to the local pub, you're hanging out with your boys, you know? Just having a good time, have a kicking back, maybe not with the alcohol. But we're just here to, to just take you away from whatever stresses are in your life. That's that's the whole point of the MMA holes. It's the whole reason why the show was started. So tonight or today, whatever time it is by you guys, pop a cigar if you're a member. Have a little fun. Kick the feet up. We're going to enjoy some carnage as I take you into this fight reaction room the dragon's lair uh the first fight on the card is romanov versus ivanov and um i did pick ivanov uh, romanov for the win although i am not confident i am i am not i mean ivanov could spoil the party he gets out of that first round i could see him squeezing out a decision on a tired gas romanov who looked like trash in his last two fights but i think romanov is a big scary guy and he could get the job done here so that's why i picked him 
We'll get ready for that thing to get started. And look at this, baby. KC Jones. Wait, oh, Little Gloom. <laughs> Little Gloom. Whoa. Little Gloom gifted five double champ memberships. KC Jones, who always gifts memberships, got what, what let's go. Come on. Let's go. Thank you, Little Gloom, man. Very kind of you. Double champ Let's memberships. Yo, these memberships have been helping the channel tremendously. So if you want a gift or you want a member up, hit that join button. Bud Smoker, welcome to the championship club. Welcome. Let's do it, baby. Theo Gate. Let's go. I noticed there's some people that just wait around to be gifted. I, I, I see you guys. I see you guys out there. I see you guys. But it's all good, man. I like to see, I like to see that beautiful logo. Champ. Uh, Aloha Gaming Bros, welcome, well, welcome, 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 welcome. By the way, hit the like button, we're about to react to some fights. Just celebrating a gifted membership Let's moment. Go, Michael Branch, congrats baby, congrats. Let's go. Let's do it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's okay. go, and Private Eyes, another round of applause. Private Eyes grabs... Himself a, a beautiful membership over there, courtesy of Little Gloom. Thank you, Little Gloom, man. That was really cool of you. Let's go, champ. Oh, Wolfpack. Wow, we're not done. Holy smokes. Wolfpack Gunner becoming a membership. All right, I'm going to let these alerts go through over here, and we'll talk about the fights. We have goat milk. It's on the MMAholes.com if you'd like to play along with us for free. Wonderful, wonderful. Chubbs. Costa's girl is really hot and she is psycho jealous. She gets mad when he even talks about other girls during an interview, hmm. so she must have okayed this troll job. I guess, yeah. How do you know so much about this? I never I I don't know I don't know who the hell Palo Costa is dating. I tell you, Chubbs is in he's in. He's got his finger on the pulse of the Palo Costa relationship situation. Thank you, Chubbs. Let's go, champ! Tropic Tom says I would uh, 14 months is a double champ says I would like to take my chances with a uh, with my gal getting mad if I could get a handful of that caboose it's just a publicity uh hold on it's just for publicity honey she was giving me a hand talking about Palo Costa and the booty the booty shot the bootyful shot so T City responding Palo Costa having a great Saturday the man dance dropping on the channel, by the way. Go get go give the man dance a look, baby. Here's a little sneak peek of the you man know, dance. Do a little do a little man dance. 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 Do a little man dance. Dance. We're doing the man dance tonight. Go check out that video. We dropped it. We dropped it on Thursday. Go give it a like. Share it. Uh, tag Sean Strickland. Stop being so fucking lazy. People out there are afraid to tag fighters. They're not gonna beat you up. They're not going to beat you up. They're going to laugh. It's a joke. But Sean Strickland's fighting tonight. He's going to do a little man dance. Dance, dance. I got the uh, O'Malley song pretty much done. So I'll be putting together that video soon. Very soon. Uh, thank you, uh, Upoof. Appreciate that, man. Oh, I have you guys on top chat. If you're in the chat, put it on live chat. Make sure you put it on live chat so you can see every comment. I don't... I the, One of the dumbest things YouTube ever did was get rid of... Like, they add top chat. I don't understand. Just, just give us the chat. I guess maybe it's for parents and screening it so you don't see obscenities. I have no idea what it is. But, yeah, put it on live chat if you're in the chat. So you guys can see all the comments. Top chat is filtered. On our screen, unfortunately, we have no choice but to show top chat. So if you want to be on this beautiful screen over here, you got to keep it somewhat PG. But uh, I have live chat on the side, so I'll see your comments. Uh, in, order, in order to comment, you got to be subscribed to the channel, I think, right? I don't even know. Is it still subscriber only? Uh, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors before we get underway because we're about to react to some fights here. 
So let's shout out mybookie.ag. The promo code is M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S for a 100% match on your first deposit. This is where we make our bets. I'll show you my bets as we go along on this stream. It's mybookie.ag, promo code M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S for a 100% match on your first deposit. We've had gambling sponsors before. This seems to be the best that we've worked with, not just because they're sponsoring us, but because it actually actually pay. You know, that actually helps. You know, it's, it's nice to get your money back. So mybookie.ag, 100% match for our community, M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S, and do it responsibly, and hope you win some money. Millions, someone we teamed up with recently, Bruce Buffer, co-founded this company. They are for the fighters, they support the fighters, and we've teamed up with them. We have a link in the description if you'd like to buy some merch from them, if you'd like to buy some autographed uh, clothing or gloves that they've worn. We have a $450 bra signed by hot MMA fighters. Just go check it out, even if you're a fan of other sports as well. Millions.co, there's a link in the description. Click our link and go shopping. Let me know what you bought. If you want to watch the fights, ESPN Plus, we have that pinned in our live chat, ESPN Plus. Uh, the MyBookie.ag, tell the tape, did I miss it? Uh, 6-2 versus 5-11 Ivanov, 264 versus 259 Ivanov, 32, 36 years of age, 75 inch reach Romanov, 73 Ivanov, both Southpaw fighters. Thank you. Got it done. Slipped it in. Got it in there. Round one. But I missed the round, though. Here we go. Round one has begun. We'll sync it up at 450. 450. God damn, Ivanov's a fat slob. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Ivanov is just waiting. He is standing in front of... I mean, Romanov, excuse me. Romanov is waiting in front of Ivanov. So it's 14 versus number 15 here. Battle of the bottom of the ranked fighters. And Ivanov is slowly circling the cage as Romanov is waiting for him. Now, I guess Romanov is going to play this a little cautious since he's gassed out in previous fights. I don't know who the barber of Romanov is, but he should be pulled in the back and taken out like Old Yeller. Was it Old Yeller? Who was shot in the back? Was it? It was Old Yeller, right? Spoiler alert. With 4 and 09 on the clock, Ivanov's still circling the cage, cautious of Romanov. Once Romanov gets you down, it is a problem. But yeah, Romanov is not doing anything crazy. He's just following Ivanov around the small apex cage. A small octagon. Curious if that's going to play a part in the main event. Oh, nice left hand by Romanov. Damn, he fired that in there. Side of the head of Ivanov. Romanov has potential. If he can fix that cardio, he's a scary dude. But gas tank seems to be an issue. Couldn't understand why when you're carrying that much weight. 335, Ivanov still circling. Oh, boy. I was looking on Twitter. Someone was saying, what's your least favorite weight class? And Whoa, nice right hand by Ivanov. And people were saying heavyweight, which is kind of wild. The baddest man on the planet would be a heavyweight, right? Biggest, baddest man. And But people starting to not like heavyweight. That's kind of strange to think about. But I get it. You know, you, you pass, like, if you're in a five-round fight and you pass that first round, second round, these guys get so tired. It's like watching paint dry in this round here. I mean, if it keeps going this way, it could be the same. A lot of cautious activity. I like that body shot by Ivanov. I was so close to picking Ivanov as the under. I might I might be eating my words. I might, maybe I should have. Who knows? Firing in his Romanov. He comes in with his left that's like telegraphed, and Ivanov's been able to pick it up. 239 on the clock. Not crazy activity going on here as Ivanov is circling the cage. Romanov eats a, ooh, a nice one-two by Ivanov. Damn, Romanov looks like trash. What happened to this dude? Is it, it looks like he's like doubting himself out there. Nice right hand by Ivanov. Man, oh man. Romanov cautious to go in, and Ivanov is really holding his ground. Here comes Romanov, shoots him for the takedown, just bounces off of Ivanov. Oof, this is going to be a tough fight. This could be a tough fight for Romanov. Nice right hand by Ivanov. Ivanov sticks to the game plan. He's going to beat him. Ivanov coming up with the jab. So Romanov is trying to catch him with some telegraph punches. Then he shoots him for the takedown. Just bounces off the other heavyweight. And Ivanov so far holding up nicely in this first. There's a body shot by Romanov. Yeah, Romanov looks like he's getting tired already. We got 143 left. There's a nice combo by Ivanov again. To the face of Romanov. Holy smokes. 
Okay, close round here. Inside leg kick by Romanov. Ivanov back to the circle. Stops. Stands in front of him. Hits him with a jab. Romanov, nice knee to the body and a right hand to follow. So Romanov trying to break him down. He wants to get him down to that mat. So far, no takedowns yet. And there's that jab by Ivanov again. Slap it onto the face of Romanov. The Avs going at it. There's a nice right hand by Romanov. Romanov like a very oversized Patty Pimblet with that hair. There's a right hand by Ivanov again. So 58 seconds left in this round. It doesn't seem like a typical heavyweight fight. Oh, nice leg kick followed by a right hand by Ivanov. So Romanov had the leg kick. Ivanov with the right. Ivanov's jab is working nicely. Two of them cracking onto the face of Romanov. 40 seconds left in the first round. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's a nice straight left by Romanov to the face of Ivanov. Ivanov backs up from that. That was probably the, one of the best shots of the round for Romanov. Man, very close. Like, if you look at the stats here. Oh, there's that left again. Landing by Romanov. Romanov's just trying to fire it over the top like a torpedo. Doesn't even affect Ivanov, though. Ivanov just walking forward. And he's like, come on. Ivanov's like, come on. And Romanov gives him a nod. Ivanov is coming. Oh, here we go. Romanov with the underhooks. So he got Ivanov a little bit frustrated. Controlling against the fence at the end of the round. And very close round there. Very, very close. Holy smokes. I mean, you have a little edge. With Romanov, with the striking, with the numbers, I guess we'll go there. I hope. I mean, I don't know. I picked Romanov, so we'll see. But I'm a little nervous. Like I said, if this fight goes three rounds, I do think it favors the underdog. But we shall see. Does the word ass show up in the chat or the MMA hills become BS? Uh, let's see. Does the word ass show up in the chat? Since I read it, yeah, that's yes. Why, why would you think that? What do you think I'm banning people that say ass? Kind of dumbass. That could be a dumbass con. <laughs> Am I ass? Why would I ban the word ass? What kind of like? Who said that? Who said that in the chat? Tetra Nova, naughty naughty boy. Naughty naughty boy. Why would you think something like that? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's get ready for the second round. Naughty, naughty. Yeah, S is fine. S is fine. I don't know if, if top chat bans that, but live chat's up. Naughty, naughty. Shame on you. I expect better from my members. Ban everyone. That's it. I'm Listen, I banned two people last night. I'm going to become a tyrant on this channel. I have a short... After seven minutes of doing of ruling on YouTube, I have a short patience no threshold. Uh, D rests. Thank you for 38 months as a champ over here. Says, I not a member. My card was stolen. What? Well, it looks like you're a member now. Thank you, D rest. Appreciate it, bud. D rest. Wonderful, wonderful. Being wonderful, wonderful. We're in round number two. Round number two. Hold on a second here. Let me fix this. Do, do, do. The likes. There we go. Hit that like button. 420 will be our first goal of Romanov and Ivanov. Round two going down here. And this is a different Romanov. He definitely looks like he's trying to conserve. He's not He's not trying to blow his load in that first round. Ivanov hits him with that double jab again. Nothing better than watching a heavyweight point fight. And there's that jab again by Romanov. So Romanov and Ivanov. They're, they're trading double jabs. 340 left in the first round. Oh, my gosh. I know these guys are both ranked, but I would be fine if they were both cut immediately after this fight. ESPN, link in the live chat. That's how you could watch. Romanov sleeps him. I picked Romanov finish in the first round, trying to hope that we would get, like, vintage Romanov here. But this guy is terrible. Like, I don't know what's been going on with this dude. But it looks like he's trying to uh, show... Point fight Romanov here. As he looks like he's kind of flowing here in the second. Trying to show off his stand-up a little bit, I guess. Ivanov hits him with the right. Romanov throws the right back at him. That misses. Three out minutes on the clock. This is a heavyweight bout. And Ivanov bounces off him with some punches. Ba backs up Romanov. Romanov to the body with the right. <laughs> Every time I see Ivanov, I think of the fat guy from... Um, was it Borat? 
where they were chasing each other around in the lobby. Every time I see this Ivanov, I think of that guy. How many people seen Borat in the chat? Are you worried JJ is going to send the... I don't know. Stop saying his name, man. Like, if someone gets banned, don't, don't talk about him anymore. Just ignore him. Like, they don't exist. They're gone. You know? That's it. Once they're banned, that's it. You know? No worries. They have been taken care of. They've been exterminated. Even if you come in in a ghost account, it doesn't matter. They've been terminated. They have to come up with a new persona to be reaccepted in our exclusive community. With 158 left, to Ivanov tags him with that right and left hand, backing up Romanov. Romanov charges in, pushes Ivanov to the fence, and Ivanov looks to press off. Nice knee to the body by Romanov on the break. So Romanov unsuccessful with the takedown. Tries again. Little Ivanov back to the fence, like a little bowling ball. And Romanov is trying to get him down to the ground here, dragging him from the fence. But Ivanov doing a really good job staying upright. Wonderful, wonderful. 129 on the clock. Tropic. d donates so much money that he's finally earned enough mileage points to fly to Guam. It's not the most efficient method, but it is effective. <laughs> You're saying now he... I need to hire security. <laughs> How he's many... coming. <laughs> he he's coming. He's coming. Thank you, Tropic. How many people in the chat, when they make a donation, they do it on a credit card? Probably not a bad idea, because you could get points. <laughs> you, that's not a bad idea. You know? Get, to get those points, baby. You know? So we do finally have a takedown here. This is a problem for Ivanov. Ivanov is down to the ground with Big Romanov on top. Here we go. This is definitely where Ivanov does not want to be. 45 seconds left. Can Ivanov survive? And can we see some vintage Romanov ground and pound? Romanov, oh man, here, see, this is where he, this is his bread and butter. Ivanov is trying to get back up, and Romanov looking to land some punishment with 28 seconds left. Lefts are coming in by Romanov on the top. Ivanov is kind of looking up at the clock, trying to control the wrists and move up the cage, but eats more left hands by Romanov. Romanov with more lefts to the face of Ivanov. Ivanov still on the knee. Oh, boy. Yeah, Ivanov having a problem here. Romanov clearly won this round. There's no question about that one. Romanov is wailing him with more left hands, just holding him down, and Ivanov just <laughs> looking very frustrated. They fist bump each other. It's like, thank you for that beating. So there we go. Two in the books. I would say Romanov is up to zip. Let me know in the chat how you're scoring this so far, if you even care. But uh, Romanov doing his thing. More... Dominant round. Uh, I've been here since before YouTube began. Wow, it's a long time. It's a long time. The state of heavyweight division. It's kind of funny watching this fight after I just saw that comment on Twitter where this guy said it's his least favorite division. I tell you what, heavyweight is getting weird, man. What's going on? What's up with heavyweight? I had a friend, well, he's still my friend, but we used to watch fights together, and that's all he wanted to watch was heavyweight fights. He's like, everyone else has no power. He doesn't care about any other weight class. It was all about heavyweights. Biggest, baddest men on the planet. But I did argue with him. I said, hey, man, after first round, second round, it kind of turns into trash. So either you're too light or too heavy, right? You got to find that sweet spot for an exciting weight class. But the one thing about heavyweight is you always have that threat. The threat is always there of that finish. You know, no matter how trash a fight is, it's always there. You know, we've seen fights go five rounds of just terrible action, nothing going on, and then crack, dead. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the, the beauty of heavyweight. So here we are in the third round. And I would imagine Ivanov is down two zip, but it could be split. I mean, you could say Ivanov won... And Romanov, two. Round one's not a lock, I don't think. But round two was, for sure. <laughs> Jesse no longer likes MMA. No, she does. But she likes being a mom, too. And uh, she's, she's hanging with the children. Hanging with the kids. Romanov with the right hand. Nice knee to the body again by Romanov. That seemed to be pretty effective. Those knees to the body. 
Now a lay kick by Romanov. Ivanov circles, bounces, and resets as another inside lay kick. Wow. So we got points out pointing Romanov. Romanov is bouncing up and down. Those titties are jiggling over there. I wonder if he's lactating. <laughs> Romanov and Ivanov simultaneously throwing rights. They collide. They separate again. And there's a right hand by Ivanov. Romanov with a spin. Doesn't throw anything. Just wants to show off his spinning skills. Inside leg kick by Romanov. Followed by a right hand. A left by Romanov. And Ivanov is trying to get something going. He does. He lands a nice left on the right side of the face of Romanov. And then Romanov comes with a very interesting combination. It's a... Eh, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's this. Like, what the hell was... What did I just see there? That's the weirdest, like, one-two I've ever seen in my life. It's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. 306 left. Romanov tags him with the right hand. Ivanov circling it back around. Resetting. And Romanov waits for him on top of the monster logo. Yeah. <clears throat> Jesse will be back. It's Pride Month. Jesse will be back. She's. It's not like she's gone forever. It's just we have a newborn child that makes things tricky. But um, she will be back in the mix. And then people will be complaining about one of us once again. Now you can just complain about, you know, Je either Jesse not being here or me. I had some fun time to a video of Jess opening gifts. First time I got to see her full body. With <laughs> That's creepy, but okay, cool. So Ivanov is a plus 450. He's being controlled against the fence right now. And Romanov is just slowing down the pace of the fight. Let's see if he can drag him down like he did in the second. Ivanov looking to get an underhook. Romanov still holds him against the fence. I can smell the cheese through the screen. Like, I feel like there's a, there's a big cheese smell coming out of that cage. You guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> smell, smell, smell. Take a, take a deep whiff. Smell your phones. Smell the screen. There's some cheese going on here. If you're not watching the fights, you could smell it. Yeah, I could, you could smell it through this stream too. It's all over the place. Hot cheese. 140 left, and it looks like all right. It looks like I'm gonna start off one with a win here, as Romanov is gonna fight a three-round decision on Ivanov, unless Ivanov. Get some sort of finish here. There's 128 left. There's that needed a body again by Romanov. Ouch, man. That, that looks like it's terrible. I would never want to eat that. And Romanov is throwing out that jab. Romanov <laughs> striking. It's amazing. He's got the hands down. He's just whipping that jab. Rom Romanov literally fights like a... Oh, there's a beautiful left hand by Romanov. My goodness. Just loading up. And that cracks on the face of Ivanov. Not sure how Ivanov is still standing in front of him. That was a pretty wild shot. But Ivanov comes back with the combo. They're standing in the middle. All right, we got a little more activity here in the third. A little more excitement with 54 seconds left. We're both guys leaving it all on the table here. The referee looking like Mac and me as Ivanov throws the right hand out there. I mean, Romanov, excuse me. Romanov holding Ivanov to the fence once again with 40 seconds left. Slowing down the pace of the activity and punching. Ivanov getting an underhook, trying to push from off the fence. 30 seconds left in the first round of action. Okay. 1-0. I think a lot of us, although I was I was contemplating going with the under. I'm glad I stuck with my gut here. I was a little nervous, but yeah, hey, Romanov got a decision. And has Romanov ever gotten a decision win? Let me look at the resume here. Decision win. So the chase, oh man, late takedown here. Oh my God, ground and pound. At the end of the round, Romanov puts the nail in the coffin. Does not get the finish. It goes the distance. Romanov looks to help up Ivanov as he should have that three-round decision win. Uh, let's see. Yeah, ground and pound, forearm choke, Americana, arm triangle, slam, choke, forearm. Uh, this might be, yep, I'm correct. This is Romanov's first ever decision win. So, oh, hold on. I'm lying. There's one fight here. It was a technical split decision in 2021. So this is his second second decision win. Out of the, what, 16 professional wins or 17, I should say. 17 professional wins. This is only his second decision win. Holy smokes. All right. 
Add that to his resume. That fight was painful to watch. It was like dancing with the stars. It was pretty bad. I agree. It is pretty bad. Like, I try not to complain too much as I watch these fights. Because I don't want to be that guy. But um, it was it was difficult. <laughs> it was a difficult watch. Harvey, <laughs> next fight, please help me forget that one. This is the beauty of having this YouTube channel and this community together. We could all hold each other's hands and be like, we, we're going to get through this, guys. We're going to get through this. That was a rough start. But, yeah, hey, listen, I got to win. Romanov wins. I wonder what the uh, the money was. The prop was for a decision by Romanov. <laughs> I was eating cheese and crackers when you made that comment. I had to spit it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to eat cheese and watch a Romanov fight. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Yeah, all right, Romanov's going to be interviewed by Michael Bisping. I love listening to Michael Bisping do interviews and stuff like that. He's just a hot mess. And they got the Artem Lobov translator, my favorite translator. All right, different language. Okay, forget I'm not listening to that. All right, chat. We were one in. Uh, go breastfeed so, Musk, so Jess can commentate. All right, I will. But I got to shave my nipples first. I don't want to get hair in my kid's mouth. Uh, thank you for the subscribe. Nikolaus Spasov. Thank you, my man. Welcome to the community. By the way, we can... So we did hit the goal, but we have fluctuation over here. The next goal is going to be 78,800. 800 is going to be the goal. Let's uh, change this over here. 78,800. We are getting closer and closer to that 80K goal where I got to get another tattoo down to Backski, and we're only 20 away from the final tattoo of 100K. So that's pretty nuts, man. That is pretty nuts to think about. There's a lot of things that are weird to think about. The fact that we're approaching, you know, 80K on the channel. The fact that we've been doing YouTube streams for seven years straight. I mean, if you think about the hours that we've been streaming on this channel, it's it's pretty nuts. It's pretty wild. The amount of life I spend on this ch <laughs> channel with the community. Let's go, I hope you guys appreciate it, man. I hope it's not for nothing. Thank you, Johnny Smith. Uh, becoming a member or re-upping your membership. Blue belt, baby. Let's go. Millie tattooed. So the goal with the channel when I made it seven years ago was hit 100K, get the fun pat plaque, and then whatever happens, happens. You know, that that's what it was. So it's like I don't really go crazy over subscribers anymore. Um, I would like to get the plaque and, and finish my back, you know, with the tattoos. But, um, uh, yeah, like after 100K, everything's gravy from there. So if we when we do hit a million subscribers... I will get a, a tattoo, of course. When we hit 500K, I'd probably do something for that. But the the big goal for us was 100K, just because that's what we wanted to get to, you know? That's what we wanted to do in the beginning of the stream. So that's going to be a fun moment on this channel. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, let's see, let's see. Artem the translator for Romanov. Yeah, yeah Romanov had the Artem translator. My first uh, crush was my hand. Nice. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ivana, you should tat your face for a million. I'm going to do my neck. I'm going to do my neck. Um, my mom's coming in. Nothing crazy, but my mom's coming in November. I've got a big birthday to celebrate, right? My mom's going to get her first tattoo. I'm going to go with her. I get the same thing and on my neck. I'm going to get a little rose for my, my Ellie Rose. So I will get something for the fam. And then I'm going to get another one on this side over here for Logan. Hail Ozzy Cat. Yeah, Ozzy Cat. Should we stream the tattoo while Ozzy Cat gets the tattoo? Should we do that? What do you guys think? Mm -mm -mm. Clams up next. All right. So we are undefeated. Undefeated to start off the card. Very exciting. Let's look at this next fight over here between Petrovich versus Carolina. Uh, this is another one where I was just like, all right, uh, I guess I'll just pick Petrovich by a decision. So that's the way I went. She is 6-0. and She's undefeated. And uh, she's coming out of Aries. She's been finishing a lot of people, which is interesting. But I do think that her debut will be a decision. You know, that's I feel like it's safe, right? Women's MMA, 
decision. Why not? But let's hopefully we get some carnage. As Luana Carolina really needs a win. She won her only two fights in her last five. She's 8-4-0. So Luana needs a win over here. She's a pretty big underdog for a girl that's been in the UFC for a little bit. So let me know who you have in the chat. This is a weird one because I've never seen Petrovic fight. I mean, you would think experience-wise Carolina should win, but I pick Petrovic. I fell for the unbeating beauty. <clears throat> Adopt a child. This heat in California is so fucking disrespectful. <laughs> I went outside today um, before the stream. Yeah, Arizona is, Arizona is, we're the desert again. It is, it is hot. I hear the kids playing in the pool next door. I still love it though, man. I love, I absolutely love the heat. If I wasn't here right now, I'd be outside with Ellie in the heat doing my thing like a lizard. But um, yeah, what's the temperature, everyone in the uh, chat? Give me your local temperature right now before we get to this next fight. Very important. Very, very important information I need. Your temperature immediately. 105 in KC yesterday. Man, oh man. I feel your pain. You guys get humidity over there? See, at least, at least we don't get the humidity thing too bad. But um, we do get the high. We get the hundreds. 101, 93, 71, 84, 86, 106, 97, 182. Yeah, so you guys, you guys are living in some heat. Living in some heat. Now, for my Aussie friends in the chat... You guys, are you guys dealing with the cold now? Like, I know we're kind of flipped with our temperatures. I'm curious. 80 in Denver, Colorado. 98, my favorite band. 98 degrees. <laughs> what are they singing in Nick Lachey? <laughs> we live right off a of river, uh, so the humidity can be crazy, but it hasn't been bad. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, humidity is the killer, man. That That is, when I was in New York... Like, it would be 90, but the humidity was through the roof, and I literally felt like I was going to die. Here, it could be like 110, and it's pretty bad. Don't get me wrong. It's bad, but you can handle it. You know? It's weird. But the sun is very strong. The sun, the power of the sun. Wear that sunscreen. Learn from my mistake. I had a pre-cancerous thing that I had to remove on my ear that popped up. It was just like out of nowhere. It was weird, so I had to get that removed. So now I'm like all paranoid. So wear that sunscreen. I can't stress it enough. I know a lot of people are like, I'm a man. I'm going to go out there in the sun and get a nice tan. No, nah, just, just get that fucking sunscreen. It's not worth it. Tan is not worth getting cancer. If it rains, uh, then it's hot. The humidity goes up over 70. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, the sun is creepy. I mean, especially when you live in Arizona, right? Like... You even have to be, you have to be really careful on the cloudy days here too. The UV gets through and that's like the most dangerous time. It's pretty humid. Oh, okay. So it's humid in New York. Yeah. Humidity. I, I don't miss. I remember when I used to go to Florida, the humidity was wild, like absolutely wild. Like you would step outside and just be drenched. Nah, monsoons are nonsense. So we haven't had a monsoon, and when we did have monsoons, they are amazing. They're super quick. They're about like tops ten minutes if you're lucky. Like if you're like if you hit the lottery, you got a ten minute monsoon. It's fun, but it, yeah, it's a bummer. We don't get we don't get them that much. You know why I didn't see either a haboob? You ever anyone ever hear of a haboob? Haboob is basically like like was it like a sandstorm type thing that I've been told about, but I haven't seen that yet. We've had sandstorms. Maybe it came at night. Never even heard of a hoop boob before, but that's a uh, her boob. I've heard of her boob. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Sorry. It's a slow day today. I'm mowing grass in Florida right now listening to y'all pussies talk about each other. <laughs> All right, Tampa Tom, leave me alone. Stay hydrated, buddy. Wear that, wear that sunscreen, you damn lizard. 29 years old is Petrovic. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. You guys know when, when my shit's not looking right, I got to do something about it. Got to take care of that. Here we go. 
Everyone's favorite women's MMA coming up. As we have 5'8 Petrovic, 5'6 uh, Carolina, 126 for Carolina, 125 for Petrovic. Petrovic, 29 years of age, 30 for Carolina, 69 inch reach, yeah. 71 inch reach for Petrovic, Southpaw Petrovic, Orthodox, Carolina. Carolina needs a win. Petrovic making her UFC debut. There's your mybookie.ag tail of the tape. I always like seeing these people making their debut. She's got only six professional MMA fights. We were talking about this recently. Six. She's a prof she's in the highest level of the sport. Think about this. Six pro fights. That's it. We were talking about cheap labor not too long ago, and we're seeing a lot more of this. The UFC keeps bringing in young talent with minimal experience. Cheap labor. Phasing out those pesky people with big contracts and inexperience. <laughs> it's weird, one, man. It's a, weird, it's a weird thing to witness. Dempson and YZ are dropping now that they have banned wood and coal-fired pizza ovens. Tempers, however, are on the rise. D-Rest was forced to eat a Tatino's <laughs> microwave pizza and a damn near <laughs> sent him to the ER. <laughs> Thank you, Tropic Tom. Appreciate it. Listen, D-Rest, man, D-Rest is a, he's a mythical creature, I would say. Out of this community, he's the most most mythical out of anyone. I don't think anyone's made an impact like D-Rest has. Whether it's in the chat, whether it's with the donations, like the, like, it's like how Conor McGregor's the full package in the UFC. He does it all, you know? That's what D-Rest, D-Rest somehow, <laughs> he does a little bit of everything. It's pretty wild. Thank you, Tropic Tom, appreciate it. We are in the first round. Petrovic versus Carolina. Carolina looking to let those hands fly. Nice leg kick. Nice oh, left by Petrovic. Already starting off better than the first fight. Gage. Gage. Thank you, Johnny boy. Let's go, Johnny boy. Let's go, champ. Thank you guys for the donations. Appreciate it. If you want to support the show, spam super chats or hit the Streamlabs donation. Nightbot is just fell off the face of the earth. I don't know why Nightbot's not there. So if you want to hit a Streamlabs donation, play a goofy song. We have it in the description. I got to remind you guys because Nightbot just left. He's not even... <laughs> the ch Nightbot's even like, yeah, I'm good. He doesn't even want to work anymore. So Streamlabs link in the description down below if you want to play anything crazy like our goofy songs. So Control Against the Fence is Petrovic. 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 Like I said, with only six professional fights. And Carolina trying to separate from off the fence. Fence here. This is a flyweight bout with 313 on the clock. Carolina still trying to fight from off the fence. Petrovic looking to get her first UFC win. Trying to drag down Carolina. Carolina's not budging from that cage. Whoop, oh, there she goes. She heard me. Petrovic gets the takedown, but Carolina trying to... Whoa, nice move by Carolina. Reversing on Petrovic and getting on top. How about that? I do appreciate that kind of stuff there. As one fighter gets the takedown, the other one winds up on top. That's slick, smooth stuff by a veteran UFC fighter over oh, a super six-win fighter. You get me MMA holes. Thumbs up. Keep up the great work. Headphone. Thank you, Tampa. Let's go, champ. Thank you. You just became the top fucking dog, baby. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Much love, much love. There's a new top dog over there. Give respect. Put him in the lights. Put him in the fucking lights. Oops, wrong, wrong scene. In the lights. 499 is to be beat. I do like Florida, though. When I was a kid, I have very fond memories of Florida. And then I had a friend that had a house in Tampa... That we used to visit all, not a house, a condo. And uh, we make the run around to all the amusement parks and stuff like that. It's a, it's a fun place. Florida's great. Got a lot of friends that live there too. Actually, we have a lot of MMA connections in Florida with between fighters and gyms and promotions. So once you know the kids get a little older, we will definitely be visiting Florida for sure. That is 100%. So 130 on the clock and Carolina looking great. Carolina standing over Petrovic. Petrovic rolling around from the bottom. Petrovic is trying to tangle up the legs here and put Carolina in some sort of trouble. But Carolina is just fighting her off now. So Carolina was over. Like she was standing over. Like, I don't know. I, I'm not sure why she didn't 
It seemed like there was a big mistake. And here we go, Petrovic now. She uses the legs for leverage, and now she's getting on top of Carolina. I feel like Carolina made a massive mistake. She she got up, she was standing over, and then decides to jump back on the ground. And then she made a mistake. Now she's on the bottom, and now Petrovic is inside the guard. Clam to clam. Clam's in the chat, baby. So Petrovic, wow, Carolina, you screwed up. So now Petrovic inside, landing some rights to the body, to the face. I don't know if this is enough to swing the round back in her direction. But we got a close fight now. Carolina trying to kick her up kick and Petrovic standing over her now. And now it looks like Petrovic is going to make the same mistake Carolina made. Both girls are fighting each other's legs. Dude, this is sloppy as fuck. Like what what is going on here? They're just they're scissoring now. The girls are they're scissoring. 15 seconds on the clock. Neither has really a significant advantage. They're both well, Petrovic is attacking the leg and Carolina is just kind of looking at her. Like, what are you, she's like, kind of like, what are you doing? Petrovic is like cranking on the foot. Nothing's happening. Carolina's hitting her hammer fist. Oh my God. What a, what a mess of an ending of that round. <laughs> what? All right. What did I just watch that? Like that was sloppy as fuck. I mean, I, I, I get it because Petrovic is making her debut. It's only six professional fights, but Carolina, what are we doing? Well, Carolina's only got what? 12 fights on her own. She doubles it, but, oh, God, this is, this is painful. I have a baby oil, ladies. What do you got, Chad? Help me out here. Help me forget that round. That was weird. That was disturbing. I didn't feel like I was watching a UFC fight there. At one, at some, actually, the first two fights don't feel like UFC caliber fights. And it's kind of crazy because the first fight was two ranked guys. Wild, man. Wild and crazy stuff here. It's going to be one of those cards. I'm telling Yeah, this is not a good start. And, I mean, with Sean Strickland in the main event, Mr. Decision. Oh, boy. But we have the GOAT Kevin Lee, so he'll save the day. Kevin Lee will save the day. Watch. Watch and learn. His return to the UFC from Eagle FC. It's still crazy that Kevin Lee's only 30. Sugar tits. Scissoring has been known to make fighters not think right. <laughs> yeah, they find themselves in that position. They're like, all right, how do we get here? And how do we get out of this? So we got 440 on the clock. We started the second round. Both girls collide and separate. And Petrovic is on the move as Carolina is looking to circle the outskirts. Yeah, I mean, Adam Martin on Twitter saying 10-9 Carolina. I would have to agree. Just I would imagine she won that round. She outstruck her. That takedown in the beginning fell apart, but then she ended in a bad spot. But still, I think Carolina won round one. And uh, Carolina's looking loose out there. The girl, oh, nice left hand by Petrovic. They tangle up. But Carolina's pushing her back to the fence. Petrovic locks around the body. I, I might be regretting my pick. You know, like you fall in love with these undefeated. Wow, this girl is a minus 225 favorite. Let's see how this thing looks. So there, oh, let's see. So Petrovic now controlling against the fence. Has Carolina had a better spot? Not anymore. Let's see if Petrovic could do anything with this. She had this position in the first round and then wound up with Carolina on top of her. So I would imagine if Petrovic gets the takedown, she better make sure she's on top this time. <laughs> Who knows? By the way, Carolina looks a little bit like a, a young version of Obama's uh, Michelle Obama. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking at Carolina, and all I could all I could see is Michelle Obama. A young Michelle Obama in the octagon. The former, the former first lady. Here we go. Hip tossing to the side. Carolina in control against the fence. And now Petrovic is against the cage. Battle for position here. Now Petrovic is in control against the fence. Right in front of the commentary team. Michael Bisbing's falling asleep. Laura Sanko is uh, topless. And Petrovic controlling here, 255 on the clock. Carolina trying to separate from off the fence, and Petrovic is just holding her in place. No USADA. McGregor versus Chandler, no USADA rules match. I'll take anything at this point. Just give me something. Now Carolina in control, throwing the knees to the legs of Petrovic. So it's dancing with the stars as they tango against the fence. More knees are coming in by Carolina. Carolina doing a better job, though, against the cage. She's doing a little more with it. 
Petrovic trying to get that underhook. She's like trying to spin here, but Carolina's throwing some more knees in there. Petrovic locks around the body. Now she's in control. 2.10 on the clock. Petrovic trying to drag her down to the ground, and Carolina stays upright. 2.05. Petrovic still controlling against the fence here. Carolina just kind of hanging out, staying upright, making sure she doesn't get taken down. Petrovic trying to tangle up the right leg of Carolina. Carolina uses her Obama strength and pushes Petrovic to the fence. Now she's got control. They separate. Nice left hand by Carolina. And here we go. Back to striking. 145. Both girls reset. So nothing happened against the cage. It was just nonsense. Nice knee to the body by Carolina. Petrovic backs up. She didn't like that. Oh, man. Petrovic's getting worked now. Carolina looking smooth. Yeah, I deserve to lose this pick. I deserve. You have a wounded animal in Carolina. You have the experience... Petrovic, I didn't know anything about. And another girl would just... How is how is this girl a minus 225? Yo, I hope you guys put some money on Carolina. I hope someone bet on this girl. Oh, shit. She almost gets knocked out. Here comes Ka Petrovic. Holy smokes. Carolina was just cruising. I was about to just sing her praises. And now Petrovic has control against the fence. Well, she's tough, Petrovic. I'll say that. Petrovic trying to get this takedown once again. She's 0 for 2. She's trying to get high up on the clam. 54 seconds left. This fight's making me angry. You guys ever watch a fight and makes you angry? This is one of those. Tell someone tell me who has fought yet. We're in the second fight on the card. So you you just got here just at the right time. You're good. Yes. That is uh Stanner's yes. Petrovich is it's one of the reasons why I didn't pick Carolina. But yeah, they're 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 just exchanging positions here. They're going knee for knee. You good luck scoring this round. Oh, here we go. Petrovic gets a late takedown with 12 seconds left inside the guard. Wow, it took that long to get this takedown. Is that enough? Huh. Oh man, how are you gonna? I mean, you look at the stats. They're pretty lopsided in favor of Carolina, but two rounds in a row, Petrovic ended strong. Oh, fucking hell. Not angry, just disappointed. I get angry. <laughs> I get mad. These fights make me mad. They make me angry. <sighs> All right. Um, how do I want to score this? You guys going 1-1? One, one? Let's do that. Give me an accurate number of how many times you've had sex your entire life. What the? How do you, how do, you, how do, you do that? I don't know. Twice? Only two times. Had two kids. They should let the girls fight the guys tonight. Yeah, how would you fix this card tonight? Let me know in the chat. The good thing is it's a fight night, okay? So we can't go too crazy with complaining. If you got ESPN Plus, you're good. You're taken care of. Zero, zero. <laughs> Should have said decision. Yeah, I picked Petrovich by decision, but I think, I think Carolina... I don't know. I think she's... I don't know. Who's winning? <laughs> Who's winning this? I guess Carolina's winning. I would guess. We're not. Yeah, you could make an argument that Carolina's up to zip. <sighs> Get different fighters. This is terrible. This is so bad. How is Carolina, who has all this UFC experience, having these problems with this girl here? I mean, only six professional fights. I, I don't know. It's just a bizarre matchup. So we have 4.35 on the clock. Mark Smith is falling asleep in the corner. Got nothing really to ref. Petrovic's moving in. Petrovic's got to... She's got to fight like she's down to zip. she got to go in there for the kill. Her UFC debut. I mean, it could be a split fight going into this round. Nice combination by Carolina. Carolina's doing that, that tap, that leg tap, like that moito. Oh, here we go. Shooting in by Petrovic. Ah, oh, pushes her against the fence. Why didn't she get lower? I don't understand. Like, you shoot in. like that. It's so weird, man. You shoot in just to push him against the fence. Like, I, maybe she's afraid of the knee or the uppercut. It was like such a... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Carolina just tosses her down to the ground. So, Pe <laughs> Petrovich... Dude, like, I hope Petrovich just gets pummeled here. I hope she gets pummeled. Pummel the shit out of her, Carolina, please. So, Carolina gets the takedown as Petrovich was the one going for it. 
Beat her ass, Carolina. Beat her. Beat her. Beat her head into the ground. Please. Give me that sweet carnage. Put me and my community out of this misery. Petrovich. My goodness. Yo, Petrovich was a minus 225. I feel like such a fucking casual picking her. Such a casual. Ugh. Petrovich is trying to get back up. She's eating punishment. And she does. She gets back up. Caroline, how did you fucking let her back up? How'd you do that? Beat her ass. What are you doing? So Petrovich is back up to the feet. Yo, this girl, she doesn't go away. I'll give her that. So Petrovich is against the... F <laughs> Dude, this is horrible. I just started Moss, but I fucking love this uh, badass chat. That's right, Lou. All right, so they're back up to the feet. They're trying to tangle each other up. Petrovich is locking around the leg. They both go stumbling down to the ground. And uh, they're tangled. They're tangled like a pretzel here. Both girls are hitting each other, but Carolina is on top as Petrovich is trying to attack the left leg, use it for leverage so she can get on top. Now there's a stalemate. They're against the fence on their knees, and now Carolina looks for the back. Petrovich is thinking about rolling, but she's grounding herself against the cage. Don't knee her, please. And Carolina gets taken down by Petrovich. Petrovich, well, Petrovich kind of grabs the leg and pushes them down. Carolina, looks like she might be going for a choke here. I can't tell. They're so tangled up on the mat. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's like a, it looks like a retarded pretzel. It looks like the pretzel that you push to the side, you can't give it to the customer. You're like, I can't, I can't sell this pretzel. It just looks too stupid. And Petrovich is trying to get inside the guard here, maybe pass a leg. Carolina is attacking the left arm. There's 147 on the clock. They're just tangled on the mat. This is where you, you I don't know. You got to, like, there's got to be something where there's an eject button, where that octagon, the mat just ejects them into the fucking rafters and just smashes their bodies against the lights. <laughs> that, <laughs> like, you get to a point in a fight where you're just so frustrated, you just eject them into the raft. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, they're still tangled up on the ground here. Petrovich is attacking the right leg of Carolina. Um, Carolina's kind of sniffing Petrovich's ass And Petrovich is like doing like a, a leg Kimura She's trying to get Is that is that a thing? A leg Kimura? Yeah, she's trying to do She's trying to go for the Oh man, wow Petrovich is really cranking that foot That looked like it hurt But Carolina's fine Petrovich goes for the foot She's got like a foot fetish here Now what are you going to do? Like if you're scoring this thing Here we go She's going for the heel Carolina's like No, no, don't do that Carolina's like No, stop, stop And Petrovich is like I'm just going to keep going for this Carolina's her leg's in there. She rolls with it. Petrovich is still trying to go for that ankle. Now Carolina's landing some right hands. 37 seconds left in his fight. Eject him into the rafters. They're tangled up. Oh, my God. They're tangled again. What the fuck? Every limb is, is locked, interchanged, and locked. Maybe Petrovich goes for a knee bar here. I don't know. They're just... They're, this is incredibly ridiculous. Hammer fist by Petrovich to the ribs of Carolina. I kind of want to give Carolina Petrovich this round, but... Dude, how the fuck do you score this? Now Carolina stands up. Petrovich stands up. A reset with eight seconds left. A kick to the lateral muscle. Carolina, Petrovich stands in the pocket. They're both letting him go. One second. Spinning back. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Thank God. Thank God. It's over. Mystic Moss, how would you describe this card so far tonight? The best word, painful. Absolutely painful. How are you scoring it, chat? What do you think? I think Carolina won, but I honestly don't care. Like, I, I don't. What the hell did I just watch? Oh, my God. Dude, why? Why did that just happen? There's no score you can't hurt their feelings. Dude, why? Is this a product of events? Is that what we're seeing here? Is that what we're going through right now? The pains of too many events. Both girls have no business being on this UFC roster. Just like the previous fight. They have no and they were ranked the previous fight. Just get these guys off the like. My score is down syndrome.
Let's just turn it off and go back. Yo, imagine we just fucking rage quit. Like, if I just stop this stream, if you could, if all 400 people guarantee me that they would go out and spend time with their families and be productive, I would do it. If you could give me your fucking word that everyone would be productive, I would take the, I would bite the bullet and say, you know what? Sorry, sponsors. I'm out of here. We're all going to fucking have a productive day. Like, I love this sport. That was a painful, absolutely painful thing to watch. Right, let me hear the scores. Hopefully Petrovich won. <laughs> Unanimous. It's got to be Carolina. Carolina. Oh, excuse me. Carolina gets the win. I do have to say this. I am... Um, I am actually very disappointed in myself, though. I, I made a, a critical mistake. I, I should have went... I, I'm not going to be too hard on myself because this is a fight of nonsense. But still, a girl 6-0, and oh, you know, she's a minus 225 favorite. Don't know why that was. You have a wounded animal in Carolina. She has more experience here. She should... She needs this win or she's most likely gone. She's probably going to be gone regardless. But, um... Yeah, that was a bad that was a bad prediction. So I hope someone picked that plus on there and got that right. That was terrible. But like early in cards, I hate making bets because you just don't know. Like it's literally coin flips. You just have no clue what's going on here when they put fights like this together. A girl with only six pro fights. How the fuck was she that big of a favorite? Craziness. Absolute craziness. So I hope someone wins some won some money off of that. Uh you betting on Caleb. Yo, Caleb is fighting tonight, right? So I've had this thing with bare knuckle. I'm kind of like boycotting bare knuckle for a little bit. I, I don't like the way we've been treated by them. So they can go fuck off. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be saying that on air. But I love Caleb Harris. I hope he wins. But I'm kind of I'm kind of pumping the brakes on bare knuckle. We've had a little behind the scenes stuff that actually I find insulting. So I'm I'm out. I'm out of their shit. I don't like the way they their people are handling business. So they can go fuck off. <laughs> So go Caleb Harris. Hopefully he fights for BYB. <clears throat> uh so the hardship from uh different slant and you left me the call. Huh? What are you saying, Johnny? <clears throat> People saw the belt. What belt? What belt are you talking about? All right, so we're two fights in here. I'm one and one. Let's go to goat milk. Let's see. We probably have a little separation because an underdog won. So let's go to goat milk. Here we go. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Wife said it's the gummy. Okay, then is my heads. <laughs> How many people are on the gummies? <laughs> How many people are coming up? This is probably be the time to do it. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of people jumping in. All right, so to the new goat milk players, we're going to let you all in here. Here we go. Good to see you. Good to welcome. Welcome. Welcome, champs. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to goat milk. Your premier MMA Pick'em League, the biggest one I've ever seen. So this is the most intense. You do good on this Pick'em League, you know your shit. You know your shit. If you, if you do well on goat milk, this is the greatest... Pick'em League of all time right here. The greatest. And right now, on top of the greatest Pick'em League of all time, we have a tie. We have a five-way tie, so we still need some more fights to happen. Harpo, Dan, H, Kiggity, 33, Jay Herg, 22, and the Goblin Warrior. Coming in the end of this year, there's going to be big changes with our Pick'em League. We're very excited to drop some really cool stuff on this channel. <laughs> my allergies are bad. <laughs> my, my nose almost fell off there. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and get ready. The end of this year is going to be a lot of fun. We have, we have a really cool thing. This what we're funding here, which we're almost there. We got 14539 courtesy of the people. Streamlabs donations we're putting towards um, our website, although we gave a little bit to Glove Touch yesterday for his, uh, his hard times. But, um, yeah, the... Streamlabs, hit the Streamlabs if you want to help fund our, our uh, new website. And uh, yeah, we're going to be a one-stop shop for everything. 
coming up very soon. It's going to be completely free over there on the website. So, yes, we need funds to get it going. We're going to be dumping a lot of our money into this. We really believe in this website. And uh, once it's up and running, you guys are going to use it for free. So I, I can't wait, man. I can't wait to, to get this thing popping and show you guys what we're working on. And I promise you it will be revolutionary and game-changing as I use toilet paper to blow my nose. <laughs> Intermittent type <laughs> typos. One's in the chat if you experience allergies. And what do you do to combat them? Let me know. Zyrtec. Uh, do you take shots? Are you a man and just let the boogers fall out of your nose? Or a woman? Who the fuck is Abus? That, that, pretty, that pretty much shows you how this card is. This card is just hot, a hot mess. But it's alright. We're going to enjoy it. You take nothing for your allergies? Holy, I don't know how you do it, man. I, I, I'm taking Zyrtec, and, and I still am experiencing bad allergies. Take a cortisone shot if real bad. Do cortisone shots help allergies? I thought that was just for, like, injuries and shit. Oh, I'm so, I'm so jealous, man. I wish... My allergies got worse as I got older. Like, when I was in my 20s, I had, like, seasonal allergies. It wasn't that bad. And then I hit my 30s, and I was like, what the hell? I don't know what happened. Now it's all it's all downhill. So I feel for you. If you got the allergies in the chat, I feel for you. It's 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 a tough thing to deal with. Uh, doctor gives you one every year. Are you the cortisone? Take twelve gas station boner pills. Yeah, I might have to do the allergy shots. Allergies are seventy five percent food related. I heard. Not these allergies. Are you thinking food allergies? Yeah, not these out like seasonal allergies. I literally am allergic to like dust mites. I'm allergic to like trees. <laughs> I found out I'm allergic to like shrubs. I'm like, what? Um, I'm allergic to cockroaches, which thankfully I don't have cockroaches in here, but there are cockroaches outside. The cucarachas. How are you allergic to cockroaches? I am. I'm allergic to animals as well. Who the fuck is allergic to cockroaches? There are some cockroaches that, that slip into our chat. You would, maybe I'm allergic to them. <laughs> Jack Cocker. Snow roaches? Maybe that's what it is? I'm allergic to winter. Yeah, me too. I'll take allergies over winter. 100%. Because in winter, your nose is always running too. We're all snow roaches. Yeah, I'm allergic to snow roaches. <clears throat> all right, so here's the next fight. Kudita Leeds versus Brenner. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I'm one win, one loss. Damn women's MMA. Attacks me again. I pick Kuta de Leeds by a decision. It seems like decisions are the way to go for this card. My bookie, tail of the tape. Kuta de Leeds, 5'11", 5'10", Brenner. 155 for both boys. 31, the age of Kuta de Leeds. 25 for Brenner. Brenner, 72.5 inch reach. 72 inch reach for Kuta de Leeds. Orthodox for both guys. I mean, how could you not pick the guy with the cool beard? Although Brenner did have a fun headdress at the face-off. I went against the headdress and went with the beard. Georgia. Can we no longer make goat milk predictions? Says the time has passed or something. So, yes. So, um, Tapology. once the event starts, you can't make predictions, unfortunately. That is an unfortunate thing. Hopefully, in the future, we'll be able to change that. I'm gonna talk about the, to uh, the black cock or the black cucarachas. There's some some slip in. You're allergic. I'm saying I'm allergic to him. He's got a 24 pack. Working and lurking. Have a good day at work. If there wasn't any boring fights, we, we would get bored of exciting fights. No sunshine with a rain. I don't know about that. We've had cards like banger after banger. Like every fight was great, and I never got burnt out because, like, you get those quick finishes. You have time to recuperate. If you have decision, 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 and they all suck, you know, that's a problem. That is a problem. I, I think we're going to see some decent fights, though, on this card. I'm going to stay optimistic. I think there's some interesting matchups. All right, so Kuda the lead starts off with the leg kick and the body shot on Brenner. Brenner's rocking. I've noticed a lot of people have been doing this. They've been purposely, like, dyeing their hair gray. 
or silver. I, I don't. I, why would you purposely dye your hair gray? I never understood that, but I do see more people are doing this. Kuda lads, is that how you say it? Kuda lads. Oh yeah, I'm saying it wrong here. Kuda, kuda lads. Is that how you say it? Kuda lads. Thank you, Dark Claw. I appreciate that. Dark Claw is our residential neck beard. I have a feeling he's a neck beard. He's a big fan of the neck beards, so I I believe whatever he says. He's a young neck beard of the chat. Kuda lads. Yeah, I'm thinking of a different guy, by the way. Kuda lads. Oh, back to the fence. Brenner shoots in. Brenner trying to get this take down here on the Georgian. And gets him. Brenner gets the takedown. Nice takedown. Strong. Kuda, Kuda de lads. Oh, my God. Kuda de lads. How do you say it? Kuta. Kuta ladze. Kuda ladze. Kuda ladze. There we go. <clears throat> Kuda lads. Oh, fucking knows. Kuda lads. <laughs> Garam. Let's just call him Garam. We'll go by the first name. How about that? And do a carnage dance to summon? I mean, we're going to have to do something. So Garam is taken down to the ground. Brenner on top inside the guard. Right off the bat, there's a big welt on his left leg, on his thigh from that leg kick. Man, one kick doing that damage is pretty pretty wild to see. No wonder Brenner shot for that takedown. He's like, I don't want any more of those. So Brenner's still trying to work inside the guard. Kuda lads. Kuda to lads. <laughs> Garam trying to get back up. Garam is just holding on to the head. Trying to tangle up some arms. Try to pull him inside the guard here. But Brenner doing a good job keeping him on the mat. 255 left. Brenner in control on the ground. And George is just holding on to the back of the head. He's slowly scooting his way to the fence for a little assistance here. Brenner's making him pay with some left hands. Dropping down from the top. Garam looks to get back up. He's almost there. Wow, he's back up. Garam, how about that? But Brenner takes him down to a knee again. Garam gets back up once more. And Brenner still controls against the cage. We have 227 on the clock. And Brenner using the grappling. Panera. Jesse wants to know if we want Panera for lunch. Sure. Panera bread. If you order from Panera, what do you order in the chat? I, I, I like the apple Fuji salad. Although, I've been getting these bowls lately with beans and whatever the hell else is in there. It's pretty good. These chicken bowls. It has like avocado and beans and rice. It's really good. Easier to consume during a fight reaction. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, you guys don't know what a neck beard is. It's a slam against uh, fat virgins who grow a beard only to cover up their double chin. No Islamic people with that. <laughs> Whoa! Down to the ground is Brenner. Standing over him is Garam. But then Brenner gets back up and takes him down. Wow, Brenner's a badass, man. Holy smokes. Brenner taking him right down, and Garam trying to use the fence to get back up once again. 125 left. Solid takedown. But can he hold him there? As Garam looks to get back up, Garam is back up. Garam back up to the feet, knees to the body. Brenner relentless here with the attack in the first as he's using the head positioning. And Garam does separate from the cage, hits him with a right hand. And here we go. We're back on the feet. Oh, beautiful left hand by Garam. Leg kick by Garam. Brenner ate a nasty one there. Now Garam shoots in looking for a takedown. Or he spins him to the fence. And now Garam controls. 52 seconds left in the first round. Back and fork, fourth action. <laughs> Back and fork. Back and fork action. And Garam is controlling against the cage. Got a big ass beard. Big fancy beard. But he's got a mustache, so not quite the neck beard. Garam still controlling against the cage here. And Brenton's trying to remove his body. Fighting off the wrists. Garam's got 24 seconds to try to get something going here. He needs to the body. Is he just going to hold him? Oh, nice elbow by Garam. Nice stuff. Oh, another elbow by Garam. Oh, right to left by Garam. Garam, oh, he drops him down. Brenner's down. Brenner shoots in for a takedown, and Garam is just cracking him. Oh, my God. The flurry of punches by Garam, and this card has just picked up as Garam is finishing very, very strong at the end of the round. Let's go. Woo. Like it. Like what I see. All right. All right. Here we go. Garam, I think, swung swung everything in his direction there to win that round. Very good stuff to end.
Okay. This should be an interesting fight. Damn, dude. Grom pouring it on. So we are one in the books. I think we're on the same same page here, right? Uh, <laughs> F you and your gray hair. <laughs> goblin Garam. <laughs> he does look like a... He does look like some sort of goblin. He does. Garam the goblin. Tough dude, man. So he's coming off that loss against uh, Ismagalov. A split decision. And he finishes that round very strong here. As Brennan had some really solid takedowns, but he couldn't really do much with it. So I would imagine Garam got that round, especially how strong he ended it. Really solid ending. Yeah, Brenner, Brenner did not like what he was eating, but Brenner's a tough, he's a tough uh, bastard here. Here we go, it's round two. By the way, if you haven't hit the like button, I would encourage you to do so. We're trying to spark the algorithm, and now Brenner coming in strong. Brenner's a plus 350, and he's coming out hot in the second round as he comes in with the leg kick. Nice Garam leg kick, but that was checked by Brenner. Knee to the body by Garam. Backs up Brenner. Woo! We got a fight. Whoa, Garam shot in with a flying knee, and Brenner tries to take him down. They both go down to the knees. Good job by Garam. Getting back up. Standing over. Oh, the left by Garam. Garam with an elbow from the top. More elbows. Georgian power. Elbows from the top. Slam in down to the face of Brenner, and Brenner's eating it. With his Eddie Bravo looking face and gray hair, big cut opens up on his forehead. Brenner puts the hands on the back of his head and blood squirting out. The ref lets him up and boy, oh boy, that cut is really bleeding. Whew! The elbow slicing open the forehead of Brenner. Damn, Garam going berserker mode here. We'll see what that blood does as Brenner eats the outside leg kick. Brenner just standing right in front of Garam. Garam trying to finish him off. Oh, that left by Garam right on the face of Bloody Bravo. Brenner eats it. Brenner with the knee to the body. Oh, my gosh. Wow, Brenner just walking forward with that cut. Oh, oh here comes Brenner. The left and right hands to the face of... Oh, my God. Yo, Garam eats a flurry there. F spinning back fest by Brenner. Back to the center. Nice right hand by Garam, followed by the kick to the body. Another kick coming in, swiped away by Brenner. All right. We have warmed up, baby. Shooting in for the takedown. Georgian tries to get it. Good stuff by Brenner. They slip off each other. Now the blood's painting both of them as Brenner's head, face is covered in blood. All over his silver hair as well. And Garam's wearing some of it as well as he walks in. Nice checking of kicks by Brenner, but then he eats a flurry to the face. That follow, that elbow coming in by Garam again. Both guys covered in, covered in blood here. As Garam moves in, pushes Brenner from off the fence. Brenner throws the left out there. Garam chops a fist forward. Brenner with the right on the face of Garam. And that backs up Garam for a second. Garam's got to be careful, man. He threw a lot of heavy shots trying to finish Brenner. And now Brenner just keeps coming forward. Grom looks like he's trying to conserve a little energy here as he's eating some nasty leg kicks. The one-two by Brenner. Brenner's got Grom against the fence. Brenner comes in with the uppercut, the right. Man, Brenner is... There's no stopping this dude. Grom trying to carve some elbows to the face of Brenner, open him up some more. Brenner just walking through it as Grom tags him with a nice left. Grom with the flurry. Brenner just pushes it off. Brenner takes the blood from out of the eye. And Grom tries to capitalize. Brenner moves back just in time. Swipes away a kick to the body. They're back to the middle. Here comes Garam with the flurry. Man, Brenner is just, ugh. He is all bloodied up. 150 left. Second round here. Will this go the distance? I picked uh, Garam by a decision, but, yo, Brenner's a dog, man. Brenner coming forward, forward on Garam. Garam's just trying to shake it off. He resets back to the center. Yeah, Garam wants to keep on landing that elbow, but he ate another flurry by Brenner. Again, they collide with mutual kicks. Brenner tries to go over the top with the right and misses. Garam ducks underneath, hits him with the knee. Brenner locks around the body, pushes Garam towards the fence. Garam stops him, eats him with the knee, but then gets pushed to the fence. Brenner using that head positioning, and they're very slippery from the blood. Beautiful elbow by Garam breaks them. The elbow is what caused all that damage. 
And Garam keeps them coming. One minute left in the second round. A bloody one. With 55 on the clock, the body shots by Garam coming in the left and right. And here comes Garam again. Oh, that elbow. Bang! Off the top of the head. And Brenner just stares him down. With death in his eyes, Garam trips him down to the ground, stands over him. Pushes on the legs and looks to drop some shots. Brenner with an up kick. And then a left hits the face of Brenner as Garam settles inside the guard. 34 seconds left. Big takedown. Here's elbows from the bottom by Brenner. Oh, my God. We got a war. What a difference. We saw a just complete mess of first two fights. And this one here is just craziness. Brenner's trying to get back up. Garam's holding him down. Brenner's staying active from the bottom with elbows. 14 seconds left. Brenner stays. Uh, Garam's still in the guard. 10 on the clock. Garam trying to work the body. Push aside up kicks. Brenner's still up kicking on Garam. Garam's like, what the hell? And then separates. So a kick was going to come in right at the last second. The ref steps in between. Good stuff here. Good stuff. We got action. We got action, baby. Whoo. We got action. Do I think Brenner would have beat Levitt? Yeah, that's what you're saying, right? He was supposed to be matched up with Jordan. I tell you what, that is a tough fight for Jordan. That is a tough fight. This guy only has one UFC fight, but my God, is he a dog? Yeah, and Jordan's so unorthodox with his striking. That would have been... That would, I'd still want to see that fight. Jordan's got his hands full at lightweight. <laughs> He's got his hands full at lightweight, man. Round two would be Garam. I think, at least. I mean, when you create that much damage... And um, it was kind of close, but... I still think, I think Garam is up to zip. I think. But what do you guys think in the chat? How are you scoring it? Thank you, John White, for the subscribe. They're going to check out uh, Brenner's uh, cut. Seems to be fine. How are you guys scoring it? What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. Those that are watching along with us. Yeah, the problem with forehead cuts, like, don't they do that in the WWE? Like, they cut the forehead. It just bleeds a lot. It looks cool. All right. Good mutual respect by both guys. Give each other a big hug. Brenner is a plus 350 dog right now in the live odds. He came in as a plus 475. So it actually <laughs> actually slid a little more in his favor ever so slightly. So Brenner most likely needs a finish, but who knows, man. You never know the way they score these fights. Brenner's coming out very aggressive. We got 433 on the clock. A bloody one here from those elbows. And here we go, Karam with the flurry. Tries to finish up with a head kick, but Brenner steps back. Now Brenner comes back with a flurry. They go flurry for flurry, and Brenner is going all in. Holy shit. Yeah, watching Brenner fight. Dude, him versus Levitt is a nuts fight. Brenner's an animal, and the mouthpiece comes flying out of the face. I'm not sure which one it is. Someone lost it. I think it's Garam. <clears throat> and Brenner has him controlled against the fence. The ref's still holding the mouthpiece here, so someone has vulnerable teeth. You know, I like that the ref hasn't stepped in yet. He's given this this time here. You know, a lot of times the ref stops the whole momentum. Brenner's trying to go for this takedown. And the ref would step in, put the mouthpiece in. Now, I know it's dangerous, but let them separate. And there we go. This is separation. Now you do it. Okay, there you go. Ref steps in, gives Garam his mouthpiece, and they're good. That's the that's the way to do it. I hate when, when guys are, like, controlling against the fence or they're in a dominant position, then they stop it, they put the mouthpiece in, and then the next thing you know, they're not in control again. Fuck your teeth. 3.30 left in the third round. As both guys are just showing some real heart here. Looking for a bonus. As we got a real scrap here. The Oh, nice kick to the body by, by the Georgian. He backs up. Grom eating some shots here by Brenner. Brenner let him go, but Grom was blocking some of those. And Brenner, is, he's got that hungry killer instinct right now. He is definitely fighting like he's down on the cards. Garam puts one right back in his face, and now Brenner's cut opens up. Another elbow coming in by Garam. Another elbow by Garam. Oh, and Brenner gives him a big smile with a bloody face. Pushes a kick forward. Oh, nice kick upstairs. Question mark kicking by the Georgian. Knee to the body. Trip. Gets Brenner down on the knee really quick and then back up. Brenner against the fence. Garam in control. 2.35 on the clock. 
Very exciting stuff here. Third fight on the card. Brenner covered in blood. Painting. Like it just looks like something from a movie here with all the blood just splattered across his face. Garam holds him against the fence. Brenner trying to knee from off the cage. Garam is just trying to slow down the pace of this thing. Collect the dub. Elbow by Garam again coming in. Brenner eats the body shot. Eats a left. Eats a body shot again. Retaliates with a left hand. Nice kick to the body by Garam again. Body shot by Brenner. Flying knee by Brenner. Knee to the chest by Brenner. Holy smokes. Two minutes left in this final round. And these guys are really letting them go. Brenner moving in. Eats a kick to the body. Keeps coming forward. Right hand by Garam. Left hand by Brenner. Right on. The, oh, yo, he's hurt. Holy shit, Garam is hurt. Oh, my God. No way. No way. No way. No way. Brenner just finished Garam. Holy shit. Holy shit. No way. A massive upset in the third round. Garam was literally what? A minute and change left? Minute and change left from winning this fight by a decision. Let me watch this again. Brenner hits him right on the chin. The beard does nothing. And it's like the off button as Brenner goes down, covers up. I mean, uh, um, Garam goes down and covers up, excuse me, on a knee. And wow, no matter how much beard you have, it doesn't matter. Oh, that was on the neck. Oh, wait, hold on a second. That was on the neck. Oh, shit. Oh, he ate it right here. Oh, damn. That's not the chin, guys. It's not the chin. His neck. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen that. My man got knocked out from getting punched on the neck. Probably shut down whatever arteries or veins or whatever. Dude, it probably could have killed him. Dude, that was wild. What a comeback win. Elvis Brenner, give this guy a bonus, man. Give both of these guys a bonus. How do you not? Our first carnage of the stream. Woo! Oh, my God. Carnage! Lick the carnage. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Make babies with carnage. Play jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Propose to the carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the carnage. Celebrate the carnage. Nah, not a broken collarbone. He hit him, like, right on the neck. Think about it. If you hit it, you could eat it right over here. Like, pound right on that neck. Oh, my God. He went down and was like, oh, damn, bro. That was amazing. What a war. What a comeback victory for Elvis Brenner. I want to see that again. Dude, that was amazing. Brenner was getting fucked up. Oh, they're showing the elbow that cut his forehead. That was a nasty elbow. Wow. Yo. Neck punch. Hit him with a throat punch. Some Kill Bill shit right there. Like, what the? That was beautiful, man. Listen, I didn't get that right. Holy smokes. That's two in a row underdogs. Wow. Oh, my God. The headdress gets it done. That is That was something else, man. That was something else. I feel bad, man, for Garam. I feel really bad for that kid. That dude was winning the fight. Oh, here it is again. Oh, my God. He went like this. It was like, no way, bro. Oh my god. I tell you what, it was close to the collarbone. I don't I don't know if he I don't think he broke it though. Oh, he got hit right on the fucking neck. Dude, I never seen that. That was crazy. Yeah, the neck. So I guess, you know, you got like those, I don't know what's I'm not a fucking doctor. There's like veins and arteries. There's, there's like a mass the jugular is like I don't know. Like I guess if you get punched right here, there's nothing to protect it. So your body just kind of shuts down and they're like, holy shit. Dude, that's crazy, man. That seemed very dangerous. Oh, <laughs> and beautiful to watch. Chat. Yeah, nerves. I don't know what. I would like to see a doctor explain that. Hey, Sar Lux becomes a top fucking dog. Drops a $10 donation. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Put him in the lights. You deserve to be in the lights with that glorious donation oh. over there. Thank you so much for your contribution. Oh. Supporting the show. Be a wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> that should be illegal. I tell you what, that those look dangerous as fuck. That does, man. That looks. 
I'm surprised we don't see that more. Just a big oh, punch in the neck. Super chat. Just wanted to say hi to Lil Seal. Hello, Lil Seal. <laughs> From this point on, if you donate to the show, you must say hi to our moderators, okay? You must say hi to them. That's very important. No matter what you donate, make sure you say hi to our moderators, okay? I uh, thank you, Christoph. Christoph DM for the subscribe. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. If you're new to the program, we are the premier fight reaction show on YouTube. We are the MMA Holes, and we have the best community in the world over here. Great sense of humor. A lot of cringe going on. We got a dragon's lair where we enjoy the fights. You can watch with the stats popping up. We give you the commentary. You can see where we are at the fight. So if you can't afford watching or if you need someone to watch it with, we are the show for you. We're literally the first fully interactive MMA stream on YouTube, MMA channel on YouTube. So we pride ourselves in that. We've been doing this for a while, and uh, we appreciate you guys stopping by. So thank you to the OGs, and thank you to the new Gs for stopping by and being wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. What would you guys think about that finish? Holy smokes. If you are not watching the fights and you want to see, let's see, UFC... Well, first off, we have a link in the live chat if you'd like to watch the fights. But UFC news on Twitter usually shows you some interesting stuff. So here is a shot of... I like UFC Twitter. I think it's very... Um, it's a valuable valuable tool. You know? Fight reaction sh shows should be... Listen, if you have a fight reaction show and you're trying to rip us off, go to UFC news, show it sporadically throughout your stream. It will increase your content quality here is uh the uh, winner of the previous fight big underdog third round finish it, it's what makes this sport beautiful you know you got a guy that's losing a fight he comes in there and he a throat punch <laughs> gets the job done crazy stuff over here uh here uh, <laughs> costa versus ortega it's official guys it's official the fight's official it's going down costa versus ortega I'm the greatest warrior, uh -oh. the greatest fighter of all time. Uh oh. And um, I believe that with my heart because I never stop coming. You're going to have to put me to sleep or knock me the fuck out to get me to stop coming. Because I never stop coming. Coming, 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 coming. Never stop coming. Coming, 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 coming. Never stop coming. Come on, Chad. I want to hear you in the chat. I want to see you. I want to see everybody start coming in that chat. I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming, coming, coming. Never stop coming. I'm coming. Yeah. Coming, coming, Come on. Coming. Never stop. Coming. Never stop. Coming, coming, coming. Never stop coming. I'm coming. Coming, coming, coming. Never stop coming. Thank you, Juliana Pena. And D-Man Diaz, the twelve dollars. Plus money, Dman. Brenner is a neck beard beater. He found their weakness <laughs> right under their neck beard. They're soft under neck under their fucking neck beard. LOL. Dude colored his hair from old man white hair to red and didn't give up. Hook. I know, right? That's a pretty accurate description of what just happened. Thank you so much. Hitting our brand new $12. Juliana Pena. I'm coming. I'm coming coming donation there you go so if you want to play something goofy check out our link in the description check out the stream labs links and um they have a jukebox of all real crazy songs if you want to support the show and crack the jukebox check out our description uh top fucking dog over here sorry sarlux it was a it was a good run but now d-man diaz has become our top fucking dog <laughs> up in the lights Man, oh man, Brenner taking out Garam Kuta Telads. Kuta Telads. That's a bummer. Now this guy goes two in a row. He was a huge favorite in this fight, and he's on a two fight skid. Damn, this poor dude. All right, let's see Goat Milk. That's the second one where I was, I was contemplating picking the under, and I didn't. Boy, rough. Yeah, not much movement here. Wow. Okay. All right, actually nothing. Wow. <laughs> Here's my brother again. The guy that doesn't watch any fights. Mike Moss, tied for seventh place. <laughs> he doesn't watch anything. 
after his stream, you, you're like, hey, Mike, you did pretty good. And he's like, oh, did I? He has no clue. And here he is on the first page. Uh, I see D-Rest up here, too. Look at that. D-Rest in the mix. It goes to show you, if you're... Whoops. What the hell did I just do? If you are even just a casual fan of the sport and you want to have some fun, watch some fights, hop in our Pick'em League, you could win it by not knowing anything. Goes to show you. You just never know. Mike Moss with the 125. He's 25 points away from that number one spot. I hope he wins one of these weeks. Dude, that'd be the funniest thing. Okay. All right. So next fight. That's crazy, man. I can't believe Brenner got that done. That was crazy. So we got Santos versus Rosa. Santos. Oh, Rosa. All right, I got to bounce back. That was terrible for me. But I did, I did enjoy it, so. That was some comeback. Rosa. So I picked Santos by decision. She's on a two-fight skid, formerly known as Kunitskaya. I was going to pick Rosa, but this is a female uh, competition, and uh, who the hell knows anymore? Who knows? But Kunitskaya is usually pretty decent. She lost to solid fighters, Holly Holm. Uh, Irene Aldana, Aspen Ladd, mm. well, uh, Norma Dumont, and a Sarah McMahon loss over here. I don't fucking know. Anyway, Kuniskaya is the underdog in this fight. I mean, excuse me, Santos. I picked her. Didn't put money on her. We'll see how this thing goes. So that's my prediction. Let me know in the chat who you have, if you care, if you don't care. Probably decision, yeah. Yeah, I think we could all agree on that, right? Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, you guys are super killing it with the donations. Thank you, Russ. Trying to guess UFC 300 next year. Any thoughts? Oh. I'm thinking fight week, July. You know, so with fights constantly falling apart and, you know, they're promising this and that, I haven't really dove down that road for 300. I think we're still too far off. I know it's not that far away, but I'm going to wait. Because they're going to put together a pretty epic event, right? They, that's what they like to do for the every hundred events. But, yeah, I don't fucking know. We don't even know if Connor's coming back. We don't know if John Jones is coming back. How about this? How about Connor Jones, Ronda Rousey return? UFC 300. Let's go. Let's go. All the rumors. Just put them all on one card because it looks like we're getting none of that nonsense before this year is up. I don't Who knows what the hell's going on with the UFC? It's just a hot mess. Thank you, man. Appreciate the donation. Yeah, bring back Chuck Liddell, too. Why not? <laughs> Tito Ortiz. He's making movies. Hell, let's go. Bring him back. What's a fighter you would like to see come back? Is there anyone? Give me a fighter that you'd like to see come back to the UFC. Who would you like to see come back? You don't like Tito? What is dopey? Uh... Anyway. All right. Let's go. Get ready for round number one. UFC tag team match. Oh, yeah. Chael Sonnen's coming back, by the way, too. Chael Sonnen's going to make his return. UFC 300. Guaranteed lock. Shab. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing that either, to be honest. I would yeah, I would like to see Shab come back. Like, they should have Shab fight some heavyweight troll from Reddit or something. You know, make a circus fight. Or Shab versus Dana White. All right, here we go. Wow, this is starting off pretty feisty. The girls are turning up. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right, so Santos versus Rosa. Damn, Rosa. Rosa got, she got that lunch lady look to her as she's walking forward. Looks like she serves a mean sloppy Joe. But she's very aggressive moving in. Muay Thai clinch trying to knee to the body. Santos looking to stop it. How old Santos now? Santos 33 and Rosa is 28. Okay. So Kunitskaya circling the cage. Um, I keep on calling her Kunitskaya. Excuse me. She used to be Kunitskaya. Santos. By the way, her husband doesn't look great these days. I mean, he was a devastating fighter, right? Put it to John Jones. And um, then all of a sudden, the injuries kind of screwed him up. Santos has control against the fence here. And Rosa trying to peel the body off the cage. So both girls unranked. Featherweight bout. 
By the way, why are there still featherweight fights? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of this fight? Is this, does this weight class even exist anymore? <laughs> Guys, why are we watching this? There's no such thing as the featherweight division in the UFC for women. Why is this even happening? What is the point? There's no rankings because there's no division. Anyway, uh, Santos is working against the cage. Knees to the body. I guess they need to, to fill a spot. It was already booked. I have a feeling they're just going to just throw these, these fights on here. Just to put bodies on a card. That's a bummer. Could you imagine being in women's featherweight and you're literally fighting for nothing? Like, think about it. There's, there's no... What's the end game? I mean, you're just trying to get a paycheck. Uh, Santos still controlling against the fence here with 2.57 on the clock. Rosa trying to separate. Trying to do everything she can. But Santos with some good c control here. Adding up the time. And we'll let you know what happens. Stephanie McMahon versus Sandra Bullock. How many likes we got? We got uh, we got 228. We got 480 watching. Yeah, what's going on here? We need 420 likes. Hit that. Yo, everybody, do me a favor. If you're just jumping in the stream or if you've been sitting around, bash that like button on all your devices. Find a device. Open up new accounts. Hit that like button. Spam it up. And let's catapult the channel into the algorithm. Thank you. Santos still controlling against the fence here with 215 on the clock. Rosa stuck against the cage. Click the food can like yeah. That's what you asked yourself what you do. Yeah, I didn't even it didn't even jump into my mind until now. Why why the hell is there a 145 going on here? Didn't even It's weird. Rosa can't get her body off the cage. Santa Oh, here we go. She just she heard me. Now we got the lunch lady with control. Rosa with control against the fence. Santos trying to separate. Uh, sloppy Joe, I sla sloppy Joe. Santos spins her around. They're trying to see Rosa not letting her get that underhook, so they separate and they reset. By the way, Yana Santos looks different. What happened? Her face looks different. She doesn't look like when she was. Did she get it like a nose job? Hold on a second here. Yo, does anyone, anyone that's looking at Santos right now, I think she got a fucking nose job. Her nose is completely different. It looks like a different woman. Anyone notice that in the chat? No, it's not that she got old. She actually looks, you know, relatively young. Her nose is way different. It's like a whole different face. Holy crap. What? She's going to get a nose job in this fight? Uh, that's so weird. So weird. You too busy looking at her feet. What's what's up with that? You think Thiago beated her? No, uh, maybe. With the hammer. So Santos has control against the fence. Yeah, she looks way different. Like she's got like like a little like button nose now. She didn't have that before. Here's an old picture of her. When did this happen? She does not look like this anymore, at all. Wow, that's really weird. I always feel weird when mothers get nose jobs and then their kid has a big beak and like, why don't I look like my parents? <laughs> That's always so weird, you know? Mom got a nose job. The kid looks like a fucking toucan. Looks like Toucan Sam. Anyway, Yana got round one. <laughs> so mom's out there. Don't get plastic surgery. You know, don't do it. Your poor kid's got to grow up. They inherit your features, and then they're like, they feel like they're adopted. Don't do it. Just, just come on. Don't get breast implants if you have kids. Your poor kid's going to grow up. They have no tits. <laughs> Don't lie to them, Jess. I'm talking about the most nuns. Anyway, round one's uh, Santos. I'm just going on a... What's your favorite monster flavor, guys? You know, I don't drink any energy drinks. I used to drink Red Bull when I was delivering packages. I stopped doing that. I haven't tried Prime, and I'm going to boycott it because Logan Paul is a big penis head. So I'm not drinking that sugary nonsense. So they could shove that up their ass. And if you're drinking Prime, you should rethink what you're drinking right there. Unless they sponsor us, then maybe I'll, I'll change my mind. <laughs> Unless I sell out. 
But right now, I'm not going to sell out. Fuck Prime. All right, here we go. Round two. Rockstar. Yeah, I don't drink any energy. Any, I mean, you got to be careful with those energy drinks. But I get it, man. If you work a job, you're operating heavy machinery. You know, you got you to gotta stay alive, man. That's what I used to do with Red Bulls. Like, I was falling asleep behind the wheel. I would have to have a Red Bull just, just to fucking stay awake. So I get it. All right, Kuniskaya starts off the second round. Why do we keep on calling her by her maiden name? Santo starting the second round against the fence with her new nose. I'm just assuming. Someone needs to do some research and figure out what happened to her face. Maybe it's like um, maybe it's like Face Off. Maybe it's like that, that Nicolas Cage movie. Maybe she has a new face. Maybe that's John Travolta's face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This fight sucks. Anyway, Santos is working against the fence on Rosa. Rosa's stuck there. You can see the control time adding up. Uh, I named my kid. Yes, I named my kid after Logan Paul. Yes. Yes. Like I said, like I've told people before, if you think I named my kid after Logan Paul and not Logan from Wolverine, you you got to check your man card. Why anyone would name their kid after Logan Paul is behind, besides me, but it is what it is. Uh, my name is Chris, and uh, I there are a lot of fucking idiot Chris's out there. If I had a dollar for every time I said, oh, you're named after Chris so-and-so, you know. I mean, I get Chris Hemsworth a lot, but other than that, <laughs> sometimes I get Chris Farley. We just name him after Chris Farley. It's a stupid joke. It's dumb. It's pretty dumb. I can't think of any other Chris's that are. Give me an. Yeah, you would name him Chris Cyborg. <laughs> like that's how stupid you guys sound when you say that. You named him after Logan Paul. Like he's the only Logan out there. That guy's a fucking penis. You named after Chris Rock. <laughs> Although my middle name is Paul, which is actually pretty funny. I didn't do that to my kid. You were named after Chris Kringle. Yeah, Chris Moss, right? Anyway, they separate off the cage. Let's see if Rosa can get going here. So Kuniskaya trying to do the tie-up game. Kuniskaya's kind of chuck. She's kind of huffing oxygen right now. And Santos. I keep on calling her Kuniskaya. I don't know why. It's a harder name to say, yet I keep on calling her that. She will forever be Kuniskaya to me. So Santos circling. Trying to get in and out. They collide again. They clinch up. Right separates them. Rosa moves in. Sloppy Joe. Body shot by Santos. I probably should have bet on Santos. I probably should have. But I didn't. So. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Santos showing the uh, the fancy footwork here. As Rosa's just, she's not exerting much energy. She's just standing in front of Santos and trying to cut her off. And Santos is showing off her fancy footwork. I feel like they should they should fight in heels. That'd be more fun because you can't really you can't really run around like this. You can't hop around like this if you're in heels. Ooh, Santos just walked into a left hand. That looked like it sucked. Now Santos circling around. Rose is not exerting much energy at all. She's just waiting for Santos to make a mistake. They collide. They separate. One thirty-five on the clock. All right. What else you guys want to talk about? Anything else? Super chat. Sar Lux. I mean, uh, yeah, five dollars. Thank you, man. Hey, that's pretty badass. Just say, yo, here's five for your hard work. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Tweet. Tweet he mob. How do you say it? Tweet mob. Tweet mob. How you doing? Welcome. Showing up in the blood. If you want to show up in blood, subscribe to the channel. 58 seconds left. One, oh, two by Rosa. Super chat. Rosa kind of turning up here. She's turning up. Hashtag Amanda New Nose. <laughs> Amanda New Nose. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Like it. Amanda New Nose. Oh, super chat. D Man Diaz dropping a big two. Named after Logan Paul and Luke Thomas, too. Goat. Yes. Goat. Yes. <laughs> the middle name, Luke Thomas. The first name, uh, Logan Paul, of course. Logan Thomas. There we go. You, I, have been, I am exposed. I am exposed. 20 seconds left. And I don't know, Rosa, you might make a solid argument that she's winning this round. It's 15 seconds left. Santos trying to get control against the cage now. She does. And Rosa... 
Trying to fight off the fence. Left hand's coming in by Santos. Five seconds. It sucks after that last fight. That last fight was a good scrap. This one started off pretty good. And then the clinching and control time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She definitely got a nose job. There's not a doubt in my mind. That nose is... It's, it's a button nose now. It's so weird. Why you gotta change your face? Thank you for subbing, man. Welcome. Well, how come it took you seven years? Huh? Huh? I want... Answer the question! Why did it take you seven years? We're six and change, I should say. 1-1 one, one is fair. That's how I'm scoring it as well. I concur. Shame on you. Wait all that time to subscribe to our channel. Like, what the fuck? Where you been? She does. She looks like a different person, Nick. I'm not making this up. Yana Santos, some, she, maybe she had um, like one of those nasal surgeries where you're like, ah, screw it. Let's get a nose job, too. Was it called? Is it deviated septum or something? I'm straight up not paying attention to this fight. I'm having a tough time. But we'll give you all... We'll give you all the results, even if the fight sucks. We're going to let you know, but it does look like 1-1 one, one going into the third. Rhinoplasty, is that what it's called? MMA hold video game eventually, and Logan will have uh, claws and Ellie breathes fire. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. All right, so who wants it more? We're going to have a cat fight here, I could tell. They clinch. And separate from off the fence. A lay kick by Santos. Santos circles. Threatens to engage. Does not land. Right now, Rosa is a plus 170. But we saw a plus money competitor going into the third round and get a finish. So you never know. Santos a slight favorite. Oh, Santos. You know, after her losses, though, she's kind of like we've seen what she is. And we're watching a 145-pound featherweight fight between the ladies a division that doesn't exist i, I kind of feel for these girls man like this could be it this could be it for them there's really no place for them anymore so amanda nunez leaving chris cyborg the division they made for her it stayed around longer than i expected this this could be it this is it the last 145 female fight 344 on the clock I just feel like Rosa, I don't feel like she's doing enough, though. She's just standing in front of Santos and just looking to counter and cut her off. And I just feel like I need more. There it is. The one, two. Come on, Rosa. Pour it on, kiddo. Inside leg kick, Rosa. And Santos with an outside leg kick. Santos comes in. They Muay Thai clinch again. And they separate. Rosa separates from Santos. Three, 17 on the clock. Not with this output. Does anyone have any room for my <laughs> girlfriend's sister? She's really little, but she's annoying as fuck. She loves to suck brain. Though that's all she likes to do. So she likes to suck brain. It's interesting. Was she a zombie? Any anyone help him out? Is Dana going to hand him power slap paper? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could either go to power slap or go away. I mean, Rose is landing. Outside leg kick Santos. 2.33 on the clock. If I if I made a shirt, I hate women's MMA, would you wear it? <laughs> would you, be honest in the chat. Would you wear that shirt? If it just says, I hate women's MMA, just walk around a UFC event with that shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> I would wear it. I would totally wear it. Let me know in the chat. I might I might I might brainstorm that. <laughs> we got millions looking to you dare me? I do I'd fucking wear it. Walk into a gym with that shirt on. <laughs> I hate women's MMA. Holy fuck, dude. Jesse would wear it, hundred <sighs> percent. Jesus Christ. Just very simple. Do it? Should we do it? Very simple, right? Or just fuck women's MMA. <laughs> I don't know. Come up with the slogan, guys. I mean, you know, the first fight of the card was with the boys, and that was terrible too. So, but I don't know, man. It's just the same shit over and over again. 
I respect these girls. Listen, I do respect them. I, I crack inappropriate jokes. I do. Exp they they make the walk. They're in the cage. They're fighting at the highest level. Uh, and this is kind of a this is a very competitive fight, but it's just it's so boring. We got all ones on the clock, third round, and Santos is pushing kicks in there. It's just like who wants to outpoint the other one. Although Rosa has more of you can tell she's trying to throw a little more into those punches. But there's Santos cracks her with a left. They separate from off the fence. We're under a minute. I think Santos is going to win this, guys. She's a little head on the strikes. Uh, she's using that footwork. She's getting in and out. There's the left that lands. There's a collision of leg kicks. That's got to suck, man. Mutual leg kicks coming in, nullifying each other. 35 seconds. There it is again. Mutual leg kicks. Mutual combat, as Mark Harley says. By the way, if you guys are reaching out on Instagram, I've kind of shut off the DMs. Like... I might even just fucking close the DMs over there. It's just painful. I've noticed my Instagram DMs have been the worst to look at. So I'm just kind of like, there's probably, oh, here, nice takedown by Rosa. So if you want to hit us up, hit us up on uh, Discord or something. I'm thinking about just bowing out of social media altogether. It's just AIDS. Hammer fist by uh, Rosa. And wow, Rosa lands some ground and pound to end this thing. Did she just steal the fight? Damn, Rosa just, she let out that hormonal rage. Yeah, Rosa put a beat down at the end. Mark Harley fucking blows. Yeah, he's a little bit of a penis. I would rather watch WNBA. No, you would not. No, you wouldn't. Stop it. I'll watch this over WNBA. There's no, you can pay me to watch that shit. Yeah, Discord MMA holes hit us up in the DMs there. We have a link in our link tree down below if you jump in. And here's the reason why I like the Discord one too, because it's like nothing really controls us over there. So anything goes down on our YouTube channel or any of our social media platforms and we can't contact you guys, we'll let you guys know what's going on. Hop in our Discord. Hop in the Discord. Pretty soon our website is going to turn into everything. Like, we won't need Discord. We won't need... Um, our social media will have our website. So if anything pops off, we might even just stream on our website. Who the fuck knows? I'm not showing you my tits. You must pay to play. You must. I'm like a. I'm like a prostitute. If you want to see my tits, you got to drop a dear donation. I'll show that sweet nipple to you. I'll give you both nips, all hairy and everything. But you got to drop a dear donation for that. All right, who won this fight? Split decision. D'Amato. D'Amato got Santos. Wow. Rosa won. Rosa won. Split decision. Okay. Cal Rosa. Wow. Santos. Wow. She's gone. Goes three in a row. Losses. She's done. Maybe she'll fight with Hubby and PFL. And that is it. Is that the end? Is that the end of 145? Is that it? Are we done with that? The Lipsky fight is not at featherweight, right? That's, uh, yeah, it's flyweight. Uh, are we done? <laughs> oh my God, who cares? <laughs> I, I so agree. I, I really do. Like, I got to pretend I give a shit. I don't. I couldn't give a fuck who won that fight. <laughs> like, I totally don't care. Like, it's just... It's like, that was a complete waste of my time. Yana Forma beak nose sucks. I mean, ever since the nose job. The nose job has destroyed her. Yana Santos. And the new name. You know, when she was Kunitz Guy, she was a badass. All of a sudden, she became Santos. She inherited his suckiness. The Santos name destroyed Kunitz Guy. And we probably will never see in the octagon again. Uh, all right. Here we go. Yeah, 145 is, I mean, there's there's zero reason. Amanda Nunes is gone, right? They made the weight class, class for Chris Cyborg. 
They made it for Cyborg. Even when she left, they're like, all right, what are we going to do with this thing? They had it as a novelty weight class, throw a couple of title fights here and there. Now, with your champ gone, there's no 145 that you're like, oh, we need this weight class. So 145 is done. Dana's keeping 145 alive. He's in negotiation with Dylan Mulvaney to carry the division. What the fuck? Who, I don't even know. Who the fuck is Dylan Mulvaney? I don't even know who that is. Is that a joke? I don't even know. I'm assuming that's a trans. I'm guessing because it's Dylan. Is that like a trans? Is that a trans joke? Dylan Mulvaney. Who is that? <laughs> who the fuck is that? Uh, let's see. That's got to be a tranny joke. Yep. Yep. It's a tranny joke. Uh, influencer Dylan Mulvaney says Bud Light didn't... Sub okay. She's a Bud Light girl? Gotcha. How do you know that name? Why do you even know that name? Like, how is that even in your brain? <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, all right, so we go into the let's look at goat milk or pick'em league. We have a couple of interesting situations that went down. Let's uh, let's see where goat milk lands, lives. Uh, okay, so we have a tie for first place, and thank you, uh, Renson, for the subscribe. Appreciate it. By the way, I tell you what, the subscribes have been pretty cool tonight. Thank you for, for subscribing. This is a just a chill stream. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Wow, my brother. <laughs> my brother is unstoppable. He is now tied for fourth place. <laughs> I hope he wins so bad. Oh, my God. I hope he wins. Mike Moss. So Don H718. 718, is that a New York guy? Uh, Kiggity. They're tied for first. You got D-Rest all by himself in third over there. And my brother, who doesn't watch one set, he hasn't he doesn't watch any MMA at all. Couldn't even tell you who's fighting. Doesn't even know what anything means. He's literally tied for fourth in a pick'em league with what? How many people we got in this fucking thing? It's a lot of people. That's nuts. It's pretty nuts. That's gonna be when Mike wins. It's gonna be so freaking funny. Mike the noob. Mike was on our stream a couple of times, like back way, way back when. Maybe when next time they if they visit uh Arizona, we'll drag on. We used to call him Triggered Mike. Is he tall? I'm five four, so he's like he's he's like a little bit shorter than me. He's about five three. We're not the biggest. Got 5,500 riding on this next fight starting complete. What? Completing first round? Wait, got 5,500 riding on this fight starting completing first round. So you're saying, what do you have? A bet that it completes in the first round? 5,500? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. You remember him? Yeah, I'm 5'4. I'm What's wrong with that? Are you height shaming me? We're leprechauns. Wait, wait, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Tell us about your tattoos like Jesse. No one wants to. No one gives a fuck about my tattoos. I hate this country. The only tattoo you worry about, okay? Is this MMA holes tattoo over here. This is the only one you have to worry about. This one right over here. A thousand subscribers. I was a man of my word and I got the MMA holes tattoo. And we haven't stopped since. Here we are. Almost seven years later. You didn't know I was 5'4"? Dude, what the fuck, man? It's like, it's common knowledge. It's not tiny. Shit. Are you height shaming me, man? That's wrong. So what do you think about my brother being 5'3"? You gonna make fun of him, too? 5'4 <laughs> on sub. <laughs> All right, fine. I am standing up right now. That's true. Actually, I have no lower torso. Like, you think you've seen my legs, but it's actually CGI. It's not real. I am actually just... This is just me. Straight up here. That's why I'm 5'4". <clears throat> it's crazy, man. Yo, us 5'4 guys need love too, man. You can't, you can't just be... You can't be shaming me because I'm 5'4". Dark Lord, don't spread false, new, false r rumors, okay? 
<laughs> you sick bitches. <laughs> I never dunk. No, I always wanted to. The only thing I dunk is a donut, and I don't even, I don't eat donuts anymore. I stopped with all sugar. I've had two cheats. Listen to this. This is kind of crazy. Since um, Easter in April, I have not eaten sweets, right? No desserts. No cake, coffee. Uh, not coffee. Cake, uh, cookies, um, any, any desserts, right? Nothing. Ice cream, all the good stuff, all the fun stuff. I stopped. I just stopped it. But I did cheat twice. I had a cinnamon bagel. Which I was, I was resistant, but my mother-in-law brought it. It looked delicious, and I had it. And I felt sick the next day. And then when we had our baby boy, I actually had a celebratory dinner at the hospital that they give to all the parents, proud parents. And cheesecake was on the menu. I was like, I got to have cheesecake. I need it. So I had it. I fucking had cheesecake. And the next day, I felt like I was poisoned. No joke. I legit... This is kind of crazy. And let me know in the chat if you've ever done this. Quit dessert for a couple of weeks, right? As long as you can. Then have dessert and tell me how you feel the next day. Dude, I felt like I was going to die. I had a massive headache. My stomach was killing me. Dude, sugar is fucking poison. I never realized it until I would take breaks. So now I'm back on enough's enough. It's tough to do, man. It's not easy. But um, it's worth it. It is worth Super it. Chat. Silverback. Small SML. Small, small. Thank you, Silverback. Thank you. Here we go. We're going to get into the next fight over here. Enough of, enough about me. More about the fighters. My bookie. Powered. 5'8". Brito. 6'1". Wilson. It's a good fight. 145. Brito. Fatty. Wilson. Miss weight. Uh, 146. 34 to 28 in age. 72 inch reach for Brito. 73 for Wilson. Southpaw is Wilson. Orthodox is Brito. All right. I got to get, I got to bounce back here. What am I doing here? With, what, what, how am I? What's up with my mystical senses? Why are they not tingling? Main card Moss on money, baby. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's happening. But I'll get this win. Don't don't you worry about me. Next fight, I got money on it, actually. Kevin Lee. So I picked Brito knockout in the second. We're going to sync it up right here. Brito is on the hunt. So he's fighting a guy that missed weight, which I didn't know. I should have looked at that. Brito is very aggressive. This guy here. Oh, nice left hand. Nice right hand by Brito. Brito is coming in. Dude, this guy is head hunting. Wilson tries to hit him with the underhook. And Brito is looking to spin him around, push him to the fence. Brito's got him close to the cage, but a knee to the body coming in by Wilson. Wilson on a three-fight win streak. In this picture over here, he looks like uh, the Punisher. What's that guy's name? Bernthal? John Bernthal? What's that guy's name? Shane from The Walking Dead? Not in the not in the fight though. He's shaved. He's clean shaven now. Brito still working against the cage here with the underhook. Hits him with the right another right hand by Brito. 345. Featherweight bout. Brito still controlling. Brito is the oldest looking 20 year old, 28 year old I've ever seen in my life. I think he's aging backward. I don't know. It's weird. He's 28. He looks like he's 48. It's kind of crazy. I'm betting on Kelvin Richie. I got my money. MyBookie.ag. Promo code MMAHOLES for 100% matching first deposit. Takedown. Brito. Yeah, I got, I'm got. i very nervous, but there's a reason why I picked the great, the great Kevin Lee to beat the Russian. That's a big takedown. Side control for Brito. And Wilson in a little bit of trouble. Wilson is a plus 800 underdog. And he's got some trouble with a Brito on top. Out of the side control. Brito looking to mount. He's almost there. And Wilson trying to fight him off. He does. He fights him off. Now Wilson attacking the leg of Brito. Brito just standing over him. Just watching him twist his ankle. And Brito's just standing there like whatever. Brito's kind of holding onto the cage. And oh, rocks in rights and left hands from the top. Damn, Wilson paying for attacking that left leg. So Wilson goes back to attacking it. And uh, now Wilson goes for the knee bar. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That knee is bending in the wrong direction. Oh, boy. Holy shit. Brito's trying to fight him off. And Wilson is still trying to. Wow. Damn. Yo, Brito is drilling right hands into the face, making Wilson pay. 
Holy shit. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Brito's ki he killed him. He's dead. He's fucking dead. He is dead. Brito just literally killed him. <coughs> Wilson was going for the knee bar. And Brito's like, oh yeah, you want that? And just beat his fucking head into the mat to the point where the ref is like, I gotta save this man's life. Carnage. Oh my god. Carnage! Lick the carnage! Dead. Embrace the carnage! Go on a date with carnage! Vote oh. for carnage! Make babies with carnage! Play jokes Holy on smart. carnage! Masturbate with carnage! Ejaculate the carnage! Propose to the carnage! Enjoy pancakes with the carnage! Celebrate the carnage! Well, now you know why Brito is a big favorite. I picked second round finish off by a round, but yeah, Brito, is, he's a beast. Oh my god. Yo, that knee. Like, it was get, really getting worked, and then Brito just crack. Cr Yo, he went out cold. Oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> Yo, Wilson's eyes were like, oh, just at, like, out. And his head was bouncing off the mat. The ref literally saved his life. Brito killed him. Killed him. Dude's on a stool. I hope Wilson's all right. We almost saw a death. We almost saw a death. Upstate Karate. That's where this guy fights. So this guy fights out at, at the gym with Wonder Boy. Holy, sh holy shamokes! Oh my God, he got fucked up. He got, he got. Brito messed that man up, messed him up. That was just, that was something that should not even been sanctioned. Yeah, dude was out. It was crazy, man. The guy was going for the the knee bar, and then Brito cracked him with his right hand. And his head bounced off the mat, and you can just see the life leave his face. And the ref got in there just in time. It was pretty brutal. Yeah, we've seen, you know, tonight's been a little crazy, man. Like, we've had some trash fights. But we've also had, like, some pretty good carnage. Right? So, Brenner's comeback was fantastic. G really good fight against Garam. And Garam is winning. And Brenner wins in the third round, viciously. Hip, I mean, a throat punch finish by Brenner. And then you got the Rosa fight, split decision. We fell asleep for a little while. And then you have Brito versus Wilson. Now, listen, Wilson, is he a short notice? I'm assuming he was. Came in, missed weight. I mean, this guy was a lamb to the slaughter, but Brito fucking bounced his head off the canvas. So the, the finishes were pretty vicious. Kelvin's next. All right, so we got money. MyBookie.ag. So here's the deal, guys. If you're looking to place a bet, if you're looking to try to make some cash, if you're looking to gamble, have some fun, whether you're new in the gambling game or you're, you've been doing it for a while, try out MyBookie.ag. Give me a review. By the way, the audience uh, was the reason why we use this website, and then we became partners with them. So MyBookie.ag, they said, hey, give your community a 100% match on your first deposit by using code MMAHOLES, right? So you put that in there, you get the 100% match, you use the mystical picks, and bada bing, bada boom, you're a winner. We're going to try to get some win money on, Ke on uh, Kevin Lee. I'm very nervous. I'm not, I'm not very confident about this pick, but I'm going to ride with Kevin here. Uh, Renat, who has a very impressive resume of 21-2-0, when I did a little research and I was looking at the actual competition for Renat, it's not very impressive. A lot of guys with suspect records. A lot of guys that don't even belong in the UFC on that 21-win hit list. So I'm not saying Renat is terrible. But I'm saying what we need to learn a little bit more about Renat. The gladiator. we got to learn a little bit more. Brian Battle went to a decision. Brian Battle still... We still have to learn more about Brian. He seems to be good, but we have to learn more. Uh, Andre's... Uh, Michelidi's decision over there. And then before that, we got other stuff that I was looking around. I was like, I don't know. Now, Kevin Lee, listen... He is what he is. He's coming off a win against Diego Sanchez, and he looked human in that fight. Diego actually had a good performance in Eagle FC against Kevin Lee. So I could understand why people would be against Kevin Lee. Uh, he's at 170 here. His weight class should be like a 165, you know. But here he is, 170. Kevin Lee's still only 30 years of age, which is crazy to think about when you think about how much time he's been playing this game. But we'll see. He's got a good team, you know, with uh, TriStar. If you like Faraz, I think he's going to get it done. I don't know. I'm going to go for it. I said Kevin Lee by a decision. I even put money on Kevin Lee. Dropped a cool 15 bucks. Not confident, but let's ride with Kevin Lee. Let me know in the chat how you think. 
I did with that prediction? Let me know. Let's go, champ. Uh, Gavin Macias. What up, Gavin? Gavin says, yes, sir. 24 months in a row. Let's go, Gavin. So does that mean you're a black belt? Yeah, you are, baby. Come on. You are a black belt. If you are a member of the chat, I want to see what belt you are. Let me see what belt you are in the chat. If you're a member. And drop your favorite emojis in the chat so I can... I can find you and see your belt color. I want to see what, what, what belts we have going on in this chat over oh, here. Super oh, super We got Tampa Tom coming in with the two. No knees, Kevin Lee. No knees, Kevin Lee. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Being wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Masvidal's is, Masvidal's is a white belt. It's okay. Listen, listen. A white belt is still better than no belt, right? Still better than no belt. He's still a champ. He's still, he's still part of the champion club. So one day you'll be a black belt. Just stand, stand by. Uh, D-Man, a black belt. Uh, Noah, a green belt. Kendall, a brown belt. Very close, very close. 206, a brown belt. Wow, a lot of brown belts in the chat. You guys, you guys are very, you're knocking on the door. Third degree white belt. Uh, green belt in the chat. It's just Ray. I see some naked people out there. You guys need to get your belts, man. What are you doing? How, how do you guys not have your belts? Uh, K Dog's a blue belt, Dark Claw a white belt, third degree white belt. This month I'll be brown belt. Let's go, Lou. Lou's gonna be a brown belt, knocking on the door as well. And Anne is a black belt of the chat. Got a gawker is a brown belt. Whatever shit takes, blue belt of the chat. Uh, let's see, let's see. Fight naked but wear a belt. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. ZM's a green belt of the chat. And and got all the emojis flying over there. Let's go. And by the way, if you become a member, you get yourself one of those few, uh, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful cigars. That's right. We just had another baby, our second child, an heir to the throne. So Cuban cigars for the entire membership community over there. And if you want to get that cigar next to you, like a B-Man, puff, puff on that thing. Fill it whatever you'd like. Become a member, hit the join button, or you can gift a membership to someone that would like to get a little love from the chat. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go. Look at you guys. Getting ready for the Kevin Lee fight. A little nervous over here, not going to lie. Brown belts are goaded. You're, you're knocking on the door, baby. You're knocking on the door. The glory. I don't see any God belts in the chat tonight. Any God belts out in the chat? I see black belts out there. I should be. I know I should be nervous. Yeah, Kevin Lee is not a not a lock. So on this card, I made two bets, and Kevin Lee's part of a parlay that we put together too. Um, only two bets on this card, and um, through I didn't give like my guarantee mystical lock. So if you rolled with me on this one, it's a, it's a guess. It's a gamble. A little bit of a gamble. How do you earn your belt level? So it's how long you're a membership. You're, you're a member, excuse me. So if you look at the join button underneath the video, and uh, you can see how long you've been a member for, and that will show you. It's like So it's a badge of honor, basically. You get the uh, fancy emojis. You get the nice belt next to your name. You stick out in the chat, and I pretty much see Let's your comments champ. over everyone else's, really. So you get a little bit of an, an advantage. Uh, Ready Samedi, two months a member. Thank you. Says no karate, but crazy. All right, all right. Crazy. Thank you, Ready Samedi. Yeah, and every time you're a member and it re-ups, we get an alert. You can put another message in there so we get reminded of what level you are at. So Samedi being two months now is a green belt of the chat. That's right. We got the baby. We're very excited. You know, we got two, we got two young kids and super excited. Kevin got no knees, bro. He's getting finished. How dare you? He's still a young, he's a young buck, man. Kevin Lee got that head tattoo. He's going to shock the world here. Kevin Lee, 19, seven and oh, going to shock the world. 
I'm uh -oh. the greatest warrior. I'm the uh -oh. greatest fighter of all time. And um, I believe that with my heart because uh -oh. I never stop coming. You're going to have to put me to sleep or knock me the fuck out dun, dun, to get dun, me dun. to stop coming. Let's come, chat. Because I never stop coming. Coming, 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 coming. Never stop coming. Coming, 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 coming. Never stop coming. What is that animal? I'm coming. What's that animal? I'm coming. Come on. I'm coming. Coming, coming, coming. coming. Never stop coming. I'm coming. Coming, coming, coming. coming. Never stop coming. Coming, coming, coming. coming. Never stop coming. I'm coming. coming. Never stop. Coming. Never stop coming. What is that? What is that animal? WW. Thank you. B-Man, baby. B-Man with the $12 donation. Never stop. Never stop, B-Man. Never stop coming. Please. Never stop. That is our Streamlabs donations. So, D-Man Diaz, the first to drop the $12 donation up in the lights. Who will be our top fucking dog of the stream? Thank you, guys. If you'd like to play all those silly songs, there's a link in the our description, Streamlabs donation. I'm telling you, they get weirder and weirder as the donation level is higher and higher. So go check it out for yourself. Never stop. <laughs> it's a weird donation. Uh, and the beauty of our donations is everyone that's in public, if they're listening to the stream, they have to immediately run to the stream and lower the volume so they don't get embarrassed. So remember, when you donate to this channel, not only are you supporting the channel, but you're embarrassing a portion of our community. So very, very important. You got to think about that. Be very strategic with your donation songs. When you go gray, you're going to look like Gordon Ryan. Yo, Gordon Ryan, like, but he does that on purpose, doesn't he? Doesn't he dye his hair purposely? And I am gray. Like this is, this is all going gray here. Up here is not. Sides are getting a little gray. My beard's getting gray. Got to dye the beard. Should I just let it go? I think I'm going to stop dyeing my beard when everything is gray, right? When everything just turns gray, and then I'm just going to be like, fuck it. I'm just going to... Because I feel like if it's just one gray color, it looks okay. But when it's a mix, it just looks dirty. So I'm going to wait for it to just go completely gray. And show up like Santa Claus. <laughs> flowers. That's right, it's flowers. Mm -mm -mm. Donate in church. After two kids, it's game over. What what game is over? What's the game? Let it go and be a gray dad. I'm eventually, yeah, I'm eventually going to let it go. But I, I want to make sure I'm like all gray before I do it. It looks weird now, like just gray patches. There's the glorious Kevin Lee win over <laughs> Gregor Gillespie. Dude, that was a wild, man. He's going to do it again. Yeah, game is over when you die. The game just begins when you have kids. It's literally like a new life, you know? It's like a resurgence. Think about it like when people have grandkids and it just like reinvigorates. Like they, they, you can tell like when people get older and they have grandkids, it's like they have another a second, third wind, right? Third wind. Like, it just brings your youth back. You know, kids are, you know, they're, they're a pain in the neck, but they are so worth it. Oh, it does age you tremendously, though. <laughs> kids do age you prematurely, but it's, it's, it's definitely worth it. The game resets when you die. We will live forever here on the M If you subscribe to the channel, you're guaranteed to live forever. No matter if you're breathing or not, your spirit will go on. You know why you live forever? Because the YouTube channel will always show your comments, right? So you will live forever on the MMA hole. So if you're subscribed to this channel and you're chatting over here, you're literally immortal. Think about it. So consider it. Consider it. The next generation, generation, generation will go down and they'll look at these fights and they'll be like, yo, let me see this reaction and bang, you pop up immortal. Immortal. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going to be a little nervous in this fight. My Kevin Lee. My, my beautiful Kevin Lee. My beautiful Kevin Lee prediction. About to hit it on the mystical head. 
S scary. Oh, this guy shaved his mustache off. Fuck. I hate when they do that. Only 15 bucks. Yeah. I only dropped 15 bucks on Kevin. MyBookie.ag. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Let's do this. Uh, my bookie. I gotta log in. So I could show you. So I could show you the bet. Yeah, only 15. But listen, it's a little bet. These are the bets you gotta make when you're a dad. You can't be, you can't be getting silly. Uh, and he's part of my two play parlay. My two leg. <laughs> my two leg parlay. Gambling talk is so dopey. Um, so yeah, Kevin Lee, he's, he was, I got him at a plus 163. $15 to win $24 and 45 cent. Let's go, Kevin. All I need is one win. I need the Kevin Kevin to win or I need uh There you go. Or I need Ruzabov Nursultan <laughs> to win. <laughs> I need Nursultan. One of those guys to win. One wins, I'm plus money. That's all I got to do. That's why I like betting these straight up ones. And I like always betting underdogs. Unless it's a friend or someone that I know is a complete lock. So, just need one win. And I'm up. He's going to get punt. What's punt mean? What's that mean? If Kevin Lee loses, he's going to cut like Dominic Reyes and Anthony Smith. <laughs> Here's Kevin. Yo, Kevin Lee's jacked, man. Got Kevin Lee coming in jacked up. Where's Faraz? No Faraz? He's got the guy with the dreads. I forgot that guy's name in the corner. I don't know his name. But he's uh, he's in a lot of these guys' corners. Have you guys hit the like button yet? We're at 298. We're looking for 420, guys. 420. So keep on hitting that like button. I'm not going to stop until you get, get us to 420. Uh, thank you for the subscribes. I appreciate it. See you guys popping in over there. Very kind of you guys to subscribe to the channel. Made some new friends tonight. 78,800. We unleash dragons. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. But likes are important because we're looking to piss off the internet and take over the world. So we need you to like the stream if you want us to take over the world together. I can't do it without you guys. So hit the like. Let's see if you learned anything in Eagle FC. Yeah, I don't know how you learn anything from that Diego Sanchez fight. Kevin Lee trots around, and the goat is in the cage. We have the Russian. We have the Lee. Here is your sheath underwear tail of the tape. 5'9 versus 6 foot. Fakhr Renat 171. Kevin Lee, 171 with the poundage. 30 years of age for Lee. 31 for Renat. Renat, 74-inch reach. 77-inch reach for Lee. Orthodox, both fighters. Virtually identical. Renat. Renat is 20 and 1. What? Craziness. Or 21 and 2. What, why does it say 20 and 1? It says Tapology's got him 21 and 2. The UFC got him 20 and 1. I don't know why that's about. What's that about? Okay. Let's go, Kevin Lee. Let's go, Kevin Lee. You are great. You're going to win. Get me plus money. Yay. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Here we go. Kevin Lee's looking the look. This guy had so much promise, too, right? He came in so young into the UFC. Kevin Lee doing well is good for the sport because he's a fucking head case. Come on, Kevin Lee. Let's go. Main card after this fight is flying by. I'm having too much fun here. Herb Dean is your referee. Ladies and gentlemen, we have money on this puppy. So let's go hit the like button. Let's collect the cash. MyBookie.ag. Lee versus Renat Fekritadinov. <laughs> Renat. Round one has begun. Renat tries for a leg kick right off the bat on Lee. Lee backs up, throws the jab out there. Renat engaging. Kick towards the body. Renat. Renat significantly bigger. Kevin Lee's got a reach advantage. Does throw the right in there on Renat. Inside leg kick Renat. Left hand Renat. Renat coming in very aggressive. 1-2 by Lee. Lee backs up. Renat comes wildly with the swinging. And Lee resets back to the center. There's that 1-2 by Lee again using the reach. 
Kevin Lee standing his ground. Nice left hand by Renat. Renat backs up Lee with the inside leg kick. Comes in with the left again. Lee resets. Oh, Lee's dropped. Fuck, he got popped with the right hand. Holy fuck. Kevin Lee got popped with the right hand. Now Renat's going for his neck. Renat's going for his neck, and Lee is shooting in. Renat is trying to get the choke here in the first round. Lee is in big trouble. 412 left, and Herb Dean is looking to... He's grabbing the arms here. He stopped it. Lee's dead. Kevin Lee's dead. Kevin Lee stumbles to the ground. He is out cold. Um, he is dead. He's he's dead. Kevin Lee's um um Kevin Lee's uh Kevin Lee's dead. He got choked out. Um he's face first on the ground. He's not moving. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick break here. I'll be right back. Carnage! Lick the carnage, embrace the carnage, go on a date with carnage, vote for carnage, make babies with carnage, play jokes on carnage, masturbate with carnage, ejaculate the carnage, propose to the carnage, enjoy pancakes with the carnage, celebrate the carnage! It's okay, it's okay. I got another bet where I'm gonna come back here. Holy fuck. Dude. Renat hit him with the right hand. It was the one two that came in. He hops on the neck. And Herb Dean was checking both sides to see. Like he was grabbing on Kevin Lee just to see if he was going limp. And Renat had him sleeping in his arms for a while. Kevin Lee seems to be fine. He's not dead, guys. Not dead. But my bet died. Holy shit. Kevin Lee. Oh my god. He got he got. <sighs> <laughs> People saying the knees. Dude, it's not his knees. That was his knees. That was his neck. Holy shit. He got he got cracked at the right. This dude made it look so easy. <laughs> oh my god. I hate when they shave the mustache. How dare you? Oh fucking Kevin Lee. He's literally in limbo. He's gotta find a way to get back to 155. He's gotta find a way. Oh, he has to. Chat. Dude, he can't fuck around with these dudes. Shit. Are we gonna do another death poll? Skull. <laughs> prime no. face. No, because I don't want anyone else to die. I've I've retired my death polls. Last time we did it, someone actually died. So I can't do it. But Kevin Lee is alive, guys. Oh my god. No, I'm not surprised. But Jesus Christ. Ugh. Well, put me out of my misery, please. All right, so I got to bounce back with the next win. We'll still go. We'll be plus money, Moss. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do. It. We had to take a shot. You know, we had to gamble. Had to gamble. Had to roll the dice. It's all right. It's all right. We bounce back. Holy crap! <laughs> Yo, Kevin Lee, it never quits. I never die. I never roll over. Oh my god! If you're just jumping in, Kevin Lee got choked out and was left limp, and I he was out for a little bit. Herb was trying to find out, like, if Kevin Lee's alive. He was grabbing on the arms, and Renat had this tight uh, guillotine on him. But he was Kevin was so covered up that you can't even see. He was just, like, locked up. You couldn't see what was going on. And finally, Herb Dean realized that Kevin died for a second. Stopped the fight. Kevin D tumbles, stumbles down to the mat face first. Um, I almost had to prepare the funeral arrangements. But luckily, he resurrected. <sighs> wow. Wow. Kevin Lee. Well, on that note, <laughs> the next fight on the card. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that shit. I can't believe it. I like I'm trying to think of like what is next for Kevin. Like Kevin has to find he has to find a way. He has to find a way to get himself to 155 again. He has to. He has to. There's not a 165 weight class. That's what he did in Eagle FC. That doesn't even exist. Uh, I think the, uh, these guys at Welterweight are probably too big, I guess. Kevin Lee's only 30 years old, and to be losing like that is just... It's rough, man. It's, it's, it's kind of rough to see. It's, it's crazy because Kevin Lee's got a lot of... He's, he's got a lot of ability... He, it's almost like he came into the UFC too early and um, he was just killing himself to hit 155 and and just things weren't working out for him. 
And now he, he's still only 30 years of age. He just got his fucking life sucked out of him there. It's it's just, it's rough, man. It's rough to see. Kevin Lee versus Conor McGregor. Make the, make the fight. All right, so prelims are over. The next fight on the card, we're going to go to Ferreira versus Nursultan. Now, this... <laughs> This next fight, I have a bet on, too. I lose this one, I'm done, though. It's going to be my first off night in a while. But I'm going to go for it. I picked the bigger man. Massive difference here. Um, Here's the matchup. We're going to take a quick break and then come back. We're going we're gonna to bounce back with a dub. I am very nervous about this as well. Bruno Ferreira has been just killing dudes. Like, literally killing dudes. He's 10-0. and 0. He's just mutilating everyone. He took Gregory Rod Rodriguez's soul. That's our boy over there. But when I was looking at this fucking guy from Uzbekistan, he's a massive son of a bitch, man. He's six foot five versus 5'10". He's just, just towering. Now, I understand size doesn't really mean much. Gregory was bigger than Ferreira. But this dude looks like a scary guy. His resume is a little checkered. But I went with him here just because he was given that plus money. So let's see if I could bounce back. Bruno Ferreira probably will knock him out in the first round. I've had to guess. But we went for it. We rolled the dice once more. I'm going to take a leak. I'm going to recuperate after Kevin Lee died. And when we come back, we're going to watch the main card. I need you guys to do me a favor. My people, 320 with the likes. When we come back from this break, can we hit the 420? We got almost 700 people in here. What are we doing? Hit the fucking like button. Help me out, friends. Bash it up while I get to this quick break over here. And uh, we will be right back. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Stand by. We got a lot more content coming your way. Stand by. feel that the UFC is doing your favorite fighter dirty and not paying them enough? Well, I understand. They need to be paid appropriately. They put their lives in danger inside a cage and compete in their underwear. And that's not easy to do. You can make a difference by going to millions.co link in the description if you're a creep or a pervert you can get a signed fight used and worn bra if you're a normal human being you can get a signed hat or signed gloves anything is possible at millions so click that link change a fighter's life and if you don't well Stop bitching and complaining about fighter pay.
The MMA Hole's Hour here. Hope you're wonderful, wonderful. JBH, how are you? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Moss. Wonderful. How are you? Wonderful. Tonight's episode is filled with delight. Tonight's episode is filled with might. Tonight's episode, we dive into the fight that on Saturday night. Take it out. Round one is about to begin. Oh, the head kick! Right hand coming in! It's about to finish! Ooh, yeah. Hammer fist! More left hands are coming in! The fight is over! The fight is over! Yeah, hit them fucking likes, man. This is what we're giving you tonight, man. What the hell's going on here? If you're not subscribed, hit it. Hit the notification bell. Join the party. The revolution. The MMA game. Great time to fight. Most of Crazy stuff. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's kitty bang bang, motherfucker. Fun little MMA. Smack a light. How is nobody talking about this? Great fight, like I said, and I might seem like a casual. Well, actually, Mr. Bullshit, right? Mistake. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Peace out. That I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can never doubt, not what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now That slipped through the cracks. I searched millions for Kevin Lee. Nothing. To be fair though, Sean Strickland also not in there. Reno what the fuck ever was in there with merch though. I can only conclude that Bruce Buffer hates Americans. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, what American fighters are in millions? Let's see. Let's see. Thank you, Tropic Tom. Slipping through the cracks. I appreciate it. So what Tropic is talking about is millions. Our link in the description. Uh, what is this doing? Why? Oh, you know what? While I'm here. Wait, what's going on here? The hell is this? I'm going to put it in for monetization while I'm here. Hold on, standby. By the way, we've been on a good streak. Oh, no, last night we demonetized. But we have like four in a row of monetization. It's like a, it's like a miracle. All right, let's put in a review here. Shout out to YouTube. Trying to, trying to hold the man down. Request. Okay, we're in. Now let's go back to millions. Let's see. So yeah, we have a link in the description to millions. We got some time to kill before the next fight gets going. So let's peek on who the fighters they have on millions. Billy Quarantillo is a uh, American. Hearns just bought something from him. Uh, Matt Favola is American. Let's see. So here's the link. By the way, so we have our UFC link over here, right over here for ESPN Plus, if you'd like to do that. We have our uh, jukebox of songs. So if you want to hit the Streamlabs donation, support the show. We got all crazy songs over here. Um, yeah, have have at it. And then here's Millions. Shout out to Millions over here, .co. Okay. And let's see the athletes. So yeah, you got baseball, you got football, you got pretty much everyone. Shevchenko, you could buy her fucking used panties. I don't know, what does Shevchenko have? Let's see. Oh, she's got her shirts. Shevchenko sisters. You could beat off to their shirts. Uh, you got uh, Bryce. He's American. Bryce Mitchell. Faraz. And no one wants that after the Kevin Lee fight. Yoani and Jacek, who's not a UFC fighter anymore but still. You can have John Annex underwear. Uh, Alexa Grasso. Let's see what she's selling. She should, be, she should have panties on here. But she got her merch. Alexa Grasso. Yeah, it's kind of cool, man, though. Because you are supporting the fighters. Adrian Yanez. Uh, let's see. Caitlin O'Neill, Caitlin Neal, Kevin Holland, Josh Emmett. Here's Matt Favola. Killer. Oh, Killer Miller. I know you guys are fans of this crazy girl. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of athletes on here. Uh oh, yeah. Fight worn, custom signed, tough sports bra. Oh my God, for four hundred and fifty dollars, there is someone in the chat that would be all over this thing. <laughs> so click our link in the description if you want to get yourself a Killer Miller sports, sports bra. Worn, custom signed, tough. So on the tough show, you can smell her titties. Anyway, yeah. They, <laughs> it's, so, it's so weird to think about. But yeah, you got a bunch of fighters on here. It's really cool, man. So like all joking aside, a lot of known athletes. Here's the New York Met on here as well. Uh, yeah, a lot of known athletes. Go check out the link in the description if you want to support them. Charlie Olives. On here, the schmo. By the way, we're gonna be on here too, so they're working on our stuff as well. We're actually gonna be on here as well, so it's kind of cool. So you want to support content creators or mostly athletes? Click the link in the description. Go shopping. It's actually a kind of cool gift, right? Like I was thinking about it. Like my father's birthday is coming around, and I'm like, you know, if you want to get like a unique gift, it's kind of neat, like getting like like used gloves or maybe a bra. No. <laughs> You don't understand, Shevchenko. Shevchenko's nipples rubbed against this. But yeah. Uh, Chris Curtis is with Sean. Yeah, I mean, I have a feeling that they might have had one man dance together. Or two or three. By the way, guys in the chat. We need your help. First off, hit the like button if you haven't done so. Okay? Hit that like button. We need 420 likes. But we dropped a song... On the MMA holes, and if we get enough likes on this thing, and it gets enough traction, we'll keep doing this. We'll keep doing music videos, like goofy, crazy songs. But we need your help here, chat. If you are new to the channel, first off, subscribe to the channel. But go check out The Man Dance, okay? The Man Dance. This video right over here. If maybe our uh, moderators could pop this in the chat, go over there and hit the like. Watch this. It's fucking out of control. It's bizarre. It's weird. It's strange. And it's original music from the MMA holes. And uh, the visuals are from our community. So if you enjoy some really weird stuff, if you want Sean Strickland to walk out to this in his next fight, we need some traffic. If we get some traffic on that thing, I will put out more songs for sure. But we have a playlist that I put together. And 
I got a Sh uh, Sean O'Malley song. We're working on the Sean's. Got a Sean O'Malley song. Pop it up very soon. So more traction it gets, more songs we'll put out. So go give this some love. The Man Dance. And let me know when you listen to it. Come back over here in this chat and let me know what you think about the crazy music that we're putting together. We're basically trying to hit every, every aspect, every sort of content on this channel. You know, we're giving you it all. Thank you, guys. Appreciate dropping out in the chat. All right, yeah, watch it after the stream. It's all good. It's all good. Um, I appreciate it. Just go hit the like button. You know, put a comment on there. Let me know what you think. Whether you like it or dislike it, I don't give a shit. Just comment. Who's fighting next? We're starting the main card as we have well, a couple minutes before it gets going here. I'll show you. So we have a bet. This is our final bet that we placed. And it's Bruno Ferreira, who has been... Like, just insanely good. Um, finishing fools, 10-0. and 0, Fighting a guy with crazy experience, 34-8-2. and 2. Uh, Nurse Sultan, Ruzibov. Ruzibov. I guess Ruzibov is how you say his name. 6'5 versus 5'10. Crazy. Crazy stuff over here coming up. This will be the first fight on the main card. We'll be reacting to that. So that's, that's, that's wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, uh, thanks for answering normally. No one does that very much appreciated. This is Manny. Yeah, listen, we don't see all your comments, but I, I gotta say, if I do see if something pops up, of course, you know, we will answer whatever questions or silly stuff from the chat, of course. We have you guys constantly on screen. You guys are always showing up here. Uh, Strickland probably used uh, to drive a B210 to try to pick up chicks. For let's go. Ruzi winning. I hope he does, man. We got some cash on him. Nina Drama did the man dance with Sean. I see a lot of, she's getting a lot of critique and a lot of simp. Like, it's kind of funny, man. Like, I, I said my piece on Nina Drama. Listen, I, I, if she's successful, good for her, right? Uh, just like the Nelk boys. I don't want people not to be successful, right? I want people to be successful. But it is a little weird how there are certain content creators that the UFC just really forces into your face. And I think it's not the content creators. I think it's more of the the over push by the UFC. It's weird. Yo, Please, I'm begging you. Whoa! Don't ever buy another UFC pay per view. Whoa! Hearns just dropped a fifty. What the? Roberto. I don't money. Fifty dollar donation. Pussies. pussies. I don't. Holy want shit! Money. Pussies. 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 Out of left field. Pussies. I don't want your money. Coming in pussies. hot. Money. Pussies. Money. Pussies. The pussies. Hearns. You're a moron. Whoa! Did not expect that. I don't want your money. 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 Fifty dollar holler. Money, pussy, pussy, money, money, pussy, pussy. <laughs> Woo! I don't give a. F Whoa! Beer. Thank Drinking you. beer mugs. Hearns, my man. Hearns coming in. Top fucking dog. With the fifty dollar holler. La Tortilla! Thank you, Hearns, man. That was very kind of you. Really appreciate it. You have no idea how much that helps. That appreciates, tre like, tremendously appreciate that. My God. Thank you. Look up in the lights. Hearns up here with the $50 donation. Will he be the top dog of the stream? Eating a 500, uh, 500 milligram edible now and rolling joints. Live, yo, you're going to be flying high. Enjoy that high. Enjoy it. I think I'm going to get high after this stream, to be honest. I'm done. I've earned it, right? I've earned it. Uh, Strickland Fitton getting his ass whooped. Wow. You think, so Dollar Bill, you think Strickland's going to lose? We got that poll up. Let's see. Where's our poll? Let's see what we're working with here. You know, I noticed, I noticed if we have a poll up, we get a little more juice. Maybe I should put more polls up. It's interesting. So on our community section on the YouTube channel, we put a poll. Drop the poll over here. By the way, hit the like. Yo, we reminding you people, main car about to get started. Wow, this is close. 59 to 41%. Wow. Okay. A bus got believers. Holy smokes. Damn, I wish the lines were a little closer. I would have placed money on Strickland. 
I picked strictly by a decision. Man, is a bus gonna shock the world? We're not shocked the forty one percent. What forty one percent? That's that surprised me. We put this poll up right before we went live. Interesting. Poll dancers. I really think Strickland loses in the second round. I think Strickland will lose just to get it. Wow. This grappler can punch. I, th I think best thing you can do. I mean, if you look with Strickland, how he was able to hang with Cannoneer and what Cannoneer did to Vittori. I, I Wow. That, that shocks the hell out of me, to be honest. Uh, weirdest thing I've uh, head watched. I'm sure the gay clubs will love man dance. That's, what do you mean? It's very straight. So is that your review? You, you didn't like the man dance song? How dare you? It's very heterosexual. I don't understand how you could say that's gay. I don't understand. What he's referring to, or she, I'm not sure. Or them, I don't know what they go, what their pronouns are, but they're referring to this stream, this uh, video that we dropped, the man dance. Go give you a review. I want to, I want to see the review. Drop it over here. Sean Strickland's the man dance. We pop that. We drop that on the interwebs. A shocking song sung by Sean Strickland. The reviews are coming in. Here they are. The reviews are coming in. So get your views in on here on the man dance. I want to know what you think. Let me know what you think, yeah. <laughs> Pretty gay? I don't know how you... Why do you think that's gay, man? He's just dancing with dudes. What's wrong with that? He just likes to... He likes... Listen, I didn't make up the man dance. He did. <laughs> I didn't make it up. He's the one singing oh, it. Ah, super chat. You calling Sean Strickland gay? Strickland is a sparring partner. He's fought only at the Apex Center. What do you think the outcome is going to be? Strickland is a sparring partner. He's fought only at the Apex Center. What do you think the outcome is going to be? I think Strickland is going to decision the shit out of a bus. That's what I think. I think he's going to spam the jab and get the decision. Five rounds of Strickland jab. That's what I think. Very confident. I had to make the clip. He sang it. He literally sang the song. Hunt. He sang the song. So it's weird that you think Sean Strickland is gay. Maybe he is. I don't know. I haven't actually physically seen him with a girlfriend. He says he is. But he sang the song. So. Interesting. Interesting. Don't blame me. I didn't sing this song. You got the kangaroo boxing. Uh, I didn't know that Strong Strickland and Izzy dancing together. I find I find that highly sus. Well, listen, they do in that video. They are dancing together. Now, according to Sean Strickland, the man dance is not what you think it is. But after watching that video, he may be talking about something else. I don't know. I'm just here. Listen, I just, I just put the song out there. I just mixed it. You gotta talk to him about. It. You gotta, you gotta tag Strickland and say, what does this mean? Who's surprised that Strickland doesn't put his family out there uh, with all the shit he talks? Um, he puts his family. He talks. He talks about his family constantly. He talks about his fucking, his father being a piece of shit. And apparently his mom was beat up by his father. And I, I guess his mom is a piece of shit too. I don't know. He does put his family out there. I like Strickland. Go sleep. Uh, too boring to watch him. I like Strickland. Go sleep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My favorite donation has dropped. Drugs on drugs. Conor McGregor's got the steroids in. McGregor's on drugs. Where are the whales? Got my proper 12 grand. Pull down my pants Drop back it from in the, the waist down. McGregor's on drugs. McGregor's on drugs. Hey, deep ass feed my cocaine ground. Punch that old guy. Hit truck. Oh my. Titanium gym bone. Knock your head sky high. The lead. Hurry again with the whole monster. Bow down to the level yacht. Only monster. Every time I see that booger sugar water pudding. Can I take you to the handicapped bathroom where I'll rape you with my Irish penis tonight? I wanna rape you with my Irish penis tonight. I wanna rape you with 
I fucked up my finger with a skill saw yesterday. I'm so lucky I don't have Ninja Turtle fingers. <laughs> oh my God. Roberto coming in with a $30 donation, baby. Come on, people. Let's go. Wow. That's terrible. Dear Lord, who speaks like that? Dear Lord, what are you, fucking 80 years old? Dear Lord, that's terrible. Was that the Parkinson's? Like, what's going on here? Dear Lord, that's terrible. Get out of here. $30 donation Drop by the Hearns. Let's go, baby. Double clap for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> if, <laughs> dear Lord, that's terrible. Hit the Streamlabs donation. That's my dono there. That is it. That's the one. That's the goat. Uh, tail the tape for the first fight on the main card. Welcome to the cringiest live reaction show on YouTube, the MMA Holes. Dear Lord, here's the tail of the tape. Ferreira, 5'10. 6 foot 5. Ruzabov. Ruzabov 183, 185 for Ferreira. 30 years of age. Ferreira. 29 for Ruzabov. Ferreira, 72-inch reach. Ruzabov, 76-inch reach. Both orthodox fighters. Let's go. Let's get that plus money. I want to rape you with my Irish penis tonight. Thank you, Hearns, man. Thank you. That song just brings me to life. Like, it just... I don't know. It's like, it's like an injection of caffeine. It's a beautiful song. It's kind of... It's... Kind of gets me emotional. This guy's massive. Holy shit. Six foot five. Ruzi Baev. Is that how you say Ruzi Baev? This is a good, this is a good, it is a masterpiece. Might be the greatest, greatest song ever that hit YouTube. Definitely greatest donation of all time. This is going to be it. This is, this is a fire fight coming up. <clears throat> I'm obsessed with McGregor. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? All right, here we go. Round one's about to get started. If you're new to the program, we're going to have the live stats in the box. You're going to see the damage appear on the fighters. You're going to see the round and the time where we're at. So you're going to know all the information. If you're watching along, sync up with our clock. It's about to get started here. And here we go. They're going to touch gloves. All right, so Ruzabayev versus Ferreira. Round one. Ferreira has been smoking fools lately. And Ruzabayev is a very big, scary Uzbekistan fighter. Brazil versus Uzbekistan. Ferreira, very light on his feet. He's bouncing around side to side. Leg kick by Ruzabayev coming in. Man, Ruzabayev is a big dude. I feel like it's Ruzabov, though. How are they saying it? Whoa, the camera's drunk. We're seeing the side. Whoa. Is it Ruzabov? Oh, what happened to my timer? What the... What the funk? Why is my timer not working? Hold on a second here. I wanna... Oh, there we go. Okay. I'll uh, sync it up at 4.01. Four, four minutes. Thank you. Nice right hand there by Ruzabov. I want to say Ruzabov. I'm going to call him Ruzabov. So Ferreira is bouncing in and out. He spins, threatens to throw the kick, does not pull it off. There's a Oh, the right hand by Ruzabov. Josh Ferreira. There it is. There it is. There it is. Ruzabov with the first round knockout. Smokes him. The man that was 10 and 0 goes 10 and 1. Mystical Moss hit the plus money once again. Once again, baby. A plus money. He does it again. Yeah, baby. Carnage. Easy work. Carnage! Woo! Click the carnage! Embrace the carnage! Go on a date with carnage! Vote for carnage! Make oh. babies with carnage! Play jokes on carnage! Oh. Masturbate with carnage! Oh. Ejaculate the carnage! Propose to the carnage! Enjoy pancakes with the carnage! Oh. Celebrate the carnage! God, this guy is 34, 8, and 2. 
making his UFC C debut, comes in and just annihilates Ferreira. Annihilates him, hits him with the right. My man went down, his head bounced off the cam- canvas. Follow up right hands coming in. The six foot five monster taking out the five foot ten Brazilian. Holy crap. Bang! Right on the mush. Right on the kisser. Oh, he killed him. The. The. <laughs> yo. What the hell? Straight right. Bang. Right on the right on the kisser. And then cracks him with follow up right hands. Oh my god. Dude got annihilated. Annihilated. I will take it. Plus money Moss. Once again, this is what, five weeks in a row we're plus money. Come on! All right, we did it again. Done. Easy. Easy. Just this is too easy. It's easy. Just straight up bets, baby. I got to stay away from the parlays, though. The $5 on the parlay. Super silly. No need. Wow. Hit on a guy making his debut fight. Good stuff. I want to see more of this guy. 185, six foot five. I want to see more of this kid. How old is he? He's 30. He's 29 years old. Yo. Let's go, man. Let's go. What would you guys think about that performance? So like I said, you change your mind uh, from neck kick. Uh, hold on. This third fight might be a next. Plus money Moss, baby. Just keep doing it. Just keep making dreams come true. Thank you, Jared, for the subscribe to the channel. Smart man. Smart man. We got you covered, man. Listen, if you want to win bets, stick with me, kids. That was insane dog money. Right? Usually size doesn't make much of a difference. But when we were going through the resume, I, I saw enough. I saw enough experience that he could get this job done. Smoking him in the first round, that's very impressive. I did pick I picked him by a decision. But um Oh shit, what the hell? How funny is this? How funny is this? How funny is this? Look at this shit. Look at this. So I picked, <laughs> dude, look at this shit. I picked Ruzabayev, right? And on Tapology, I picked the wrong guy. Look at this shit. So I bet, <laughs> I picked Ferreira. How funny is this shit? I picked Ferreira on Tapology by accident, but I picked on my bookie, I picked Ruzabayev. Dude, that's hilarious. All right, well, I'll take it. So my money worked in the right place. Damn. That's fucking hilarious. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, 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 uh. Tetranova plus money. If I've been putting $100 bets like I was putting in the beginning, I'd be bet right back to the 1K. But the reason why I'm under 1K is because of my bets outside of the UFC. I got to stay away from any bets outside of the UFC. Blackjack... Um, you know, gotta stay away from that. But my UFC bets are all plus. I don't know how, why I put that on Tapology though. Why did I pick Ferrer on Tapology? That was weird. I don't care as long as the money bet was in there. There we go. So there's the plus money up. <laughs> we're up, baby. We're fucking up, baby. We're cru- we're cruising back up, dude. I was down. I was down to under a hundred bucks. <laughs> I was down to under. It was looking bad. And now I'm back to 367. So I'll be back to 1,000. Easy work. Easy work. Plus Money Moss got this. Just here's the deal. Stop betting parlays. I'm doing a little science experiment here. And it just it goes to show you parlays are just suckers bets. I got to stop doing that. If I would stop doing parlays, I'd be up even more money. Parlays are just dumb. It's just literally throwing money away. Just to try to hit, you know, to take a gamble. Straight bets are the way. Parlays and props, stay the fuck away from them. Uh, this dude spent his entire life, entire life trying to get into the UFC and then does that, right? Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty impressive performance. This guy, he's 29 years old and has just, it's just, it's insane, man. The amount of, 
the amount of fights, 34, 8, and 2. Now 35, 8, and 2. The amount of fights this guy's got under his belt. Comes into the UFC, gets a first round finish over a, a very solid fighter. Good for him. Good for him. Wow, man. Uzbekistan fighting out of Pennsylvania. Six foot five, scary middleweight. Keep an eyeball on that kid. What a way to start the card. I don't understand how Lipsky's on this main card. I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway, so the next fight on here, St. Denis versus Bombfin. St. Denis versus Bombfin. Uh, 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 uh. I just worry. Yeah, but Sanosi, if you think about it, your overall prop bets and parlays, I guarantee you're down. I would literally, I would, I would bet, I would bet my life savings that you're down. You know, prop bets. We had uh, the guy from my bookie, literally come on the show. The odds maker from my bookie. His job is to make you guys bet props and parlays. If you've learned anything from this channel, I don't know how many times I gotta say this, but if you learned anything from this channel. Even when we have sponsors, our sponsor is ESPN Plus, and I've shit on pay-per-views. We have a gambling sponsor that helps us out tremendously, and I shit on props and parlays. If you guys did props and parlays, we make more money. You know what I'm saying? Dude, you're not ahead. I, I, if I put a Bible in front of you, and you swore on that thing, you'd literally croak. I guarantee you're not ahead, because it's impossible to be ahead on that shit. It's impossible. It's, an, it's a sucker's bet. You're going to play the long game and lose. You will. You will. So so it's very... If you just like to gamble and have fun, it's fine. It's fine to do that. It's fine to do that. If you go to a casino and you're playing those, those bonus bets and shit like that, it's okay to do that. If you have money just laying around, sure. But parlays and props are a sucker's bet. It's, the, it's, it's, the, it's favoring the casino. You know? So if you're just doing it for fun, it's fine. If you're just doing it for fun, it's fine. But like we've had an odds maker come on the show and say it's a sucker's bet. So just have fun with it. Don't take it too serious. My problem is the betting shows out there that like take it serious. Props and parlays. Here's the lock for this, lock for that. There's no such thing as a lock, prop, and parlay. There's no lock for that. If you're making straight up bets, you have a better shot at winning. You know? It's it's very like, listen, that's the best advice I can get you. You do whatever you want with your money. You know what I'm saying? But my my job here, I couldn't I couldn't do this stream by giving you misinformation, you know? So that's that's how I feel. But yeah, have fun, man. I hope you win everything. Uh let's see. Dude, see, like wait, yeah, if you know this, then you could you could turn up on parlays. Guys, the long game you're gonna lose. No matter how good you can do. The long game you're gonna dude, gamble is like it's a sickness, guys. It's a sickness. People that defend props and parlays don't even realize that they might have a sickness. Just have fun with it. As long as you're having fun with it and you're not getting offended by what I'm saying, then you're good. You know? But as soon as you start taking offense to it, then you, you might want to you might want to call the hotline. <laughs> I need a betting coach. Glove touch, you know what my coach is? My you're 18 years old, just chill. Go to a couple of casinos, have a little fun. You know, if you have money that laying on the side, just look at it as lost money. You know, don't try to be rich from props and parlays. Yeah, as long as you're having fun, Sonosi, that's it. I just, there are, there are, the problem is, it's like this. I, this is my best way to make this an analogy. You could drink, drink responsibly and have fun with it. But if you, if you're a responsible drinker and you're doing it in front of someone that has a sickness... You could be hurting that person. So I could be a responsible gambler and like props and parlays, but we have 600 people in the chat. Chances are there are people in the chat that have a sickness with gambling, you know? So so that's the thing. Like, I have a gambling sponsor. I'd be doing a disservice if I was lying to you guys and saying, let's prop and parlay until our fucking bank accounts fall apart. I can't do that, you know? So that's that's the thing. I'm just trying to be real. And that's that's the one thing. I'll live and die with my realness. Like, it'll screw me up. But at the end of the day, at least I can fucking rest easy. You know? You gamble every day? How many people do? I, I bet there are a lot of people in the chat that do gamble every day. You know? And listen, if you can do it without hurting yourself, then, then have fun with it. It's like people that drink. Some people could drink every day. Wonderful. I don't recommend it, but, you know, you do you. 
The best betting advice that I got was to find transgenders in women's sports to bet on. <laughs> Infinite money. <laughs> yeah, bet on the trannies. <laughs> I gamble professionally. There's no such thing. I, 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 there's no such thing. Dude, you will, lo you will lose if you gamble professionally. There's no such thing. I understand there are people that make a lot of money gambling. You will lose in the long run. Because what happens is it always catches up to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's some people that are lucky. There are people that could play the lottery and hit, you know? So, just, yeah, be careful, guys. That's all. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, some comments in the chat. I'm like, what is wrong with you guys? Uh, I gamble every day just... <laughs> what do you say? I gamble every day just so I could afford to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I went to the casino for the first time in years a couple of weeks ago. Lost 250 so fast. Now lost my appetite. Cheap learning. Yeah. Like I when I I played three card poker a lot. I played a lot of um a lot of hold'em and I was pretty good at it. Um but, you know, at the end of the day, you need to be lucky too. And once you start saying, "Oh, I could do this professionally." Bro, you're you're going to get fucked. It's going to catch you. It's going to catch you. So do it for fun. Go to mybookie.ag. Here's my plug. Mybookie.ag, promo code MMAHOLES for 100% matching your first deposit. I want everyone to win. Bet your parlays. Bet your straight-up picks. Do whatever you want. Just do it responsibly. That's, that's, I, I beg of you. Do it responsibly because I don't want anyone falling into a trap. That's it. <laughs> Major coke habits. Yeah. I got kids now, too, so it's like... I couldn't, I don't know. I could be fucking, that's why betting channels should be shut down. Betting channels are fucking garbage, straight trash. Because the shit that they spew over there, it's literally people with sicknesses. You know? A lot of people with sicknesses. So, that's like me starting a cigarette channel. <laughs> Let me start a cigarette channel. A YouTube cigarette channel. Where I can give you the guaranteed lock deals of cigarettes. You may die, but, you know, it's fun. It's fun. <clears throat> the guy murks RoboCop, then gets murked. Dude, he's crazy, right? That's crazy. Dude, I'm so happy I hit on that. I'm so happy. Got me nervous. This guy, Bruno Ferreira? Yeah, so what does that say about RoboCop? He's got a fight coming up. He might have just got caught. You know what happens? You have power. He might have just got caught. But Ferreira, listen, this is not the end of Ferreira, but that's a that's a real tough loss for this kid. To take your first loss getting smoked in the first round by a guy making his debut. That's a tough one to bounce back from. So we'll see what's next for him. But big win for the six foot five scary Uzbekistan fella. Nice win. Solid. Solid as a rock. Wear mirrored shades so we can uh, catch the fight and the reflection. <laughs> well, you know what? When we used to do our streams and there wasn't like all the fancy, you know, stuff going on here. We, people used to yell at us to put a, like a mirror in the background and stuff like that. You can't do that. But we tell you exactly what's happening. You know, like when we're watching these fights, you know exactly what's happening. Where in the round. You got the live stats in the middle over here, which you don't get while you're watching the fights, right? You're not getting the live real-time stats. You know, so, I mean, this is the closest you're going to get to actually watching the fight. You got my pick. Your pick's wrong. Well, I fucked up on goat milk. I definitely fucked up by putting the wrong prediction in. But how about this? You know who's not fucking up? D-Rest. D-Rest is all by himself in first place on goat milk. <laughs> Holy moly. D-Rest, the man that dropped the deer last night. 365 points all by himself. D-Rest looking to take the dub tonight. On UFC Vegas 67. Uh, 76, excuse me. Death. Death Rest. <laughs> Tallest neck beat I've ever seen. All right, here we go. Tail of the tape for the second fight on the main card. I feel good, man. I'm on plus money again. Doing it again. 
Very happy about that. So now we're, everything is just golden right now. Bombfin 58, 511 Saint Denis, 156 to wait for Saint Denis, 156 to wait for Bombfin. 27, the age for both boys, 71.5 inch reach for Bombfin, 73 inch reach for Saint Denis, Southpaw stand Saint Denis, Orthodox for Bombfin. Who do you have in the chat? All right, so this one I picked Bombfin by a decision. I'm pretty, pretty confident, but I tell you what, the face off. Saint Denis looked, who is named the God of War, looked very scary. So this should be interesting. The last fight we kind of got robbed because that fight was that was that had all the makers of being a fire fight, but that one ended quickly. If you don't remember Bombfin, he got that win over Terence McKinney, the Flying Knee, and now we know why people are turning down fights against this guy. Bombfin is very scary. And then you got Denis on a two-fight win streak, a submission, and a knockout. So this is, even though I picked a decision, there could definitely be a finish here. So France versus Brazil. By the way, what's going on with France? What's going on with France? People rioting out there? What's going on? I thought it was a peaceful place. Okay, here we go. This is, this is a scrap. This is a good one. Oh, Bonfin saying, let him go. And the body shots are coming in. The kicks are coming in. Bonfin's going, bring it to me. Dude, Bonfin's a savage. He's <laughs> he's like, keep it coming. So St. Denis agrees. He gives him a head kick that's blocked. Another kick to the body. Another kick to the body. Wow. The kick to the body is there, and Bonfin doesn't care. He's just eating him. Bonfin's got to be careful, man. Guy could hit the liver. St. Denis keeps coming, and he's spamming the kick to the body. And Bonfin's not saying come in anymore. Bonfin looking to land the left. He's <laughs> yo, he's got Saint Denis moving back. Very cautious. Inside leg kick by Bonfin. Saint Denis trying to come in with the head kick missing. Bonfin slowly moving in. Saint Denis holding his ground. Bonfin throws the right, but Saint Denis gets a takedown. Goes for two legs. Bonfin trying to utilize the cage. Nice job by Denis. He's timed that perfectly. So Saint Denis trying to squirm up the body. Of Bonfin gets the mount. Oh my god. Here comes the mount by Saint Denis with body shots coming in. And Bonfin's just holding him close. Woo! Yo, Saint Denis starting off hot. Hits the body some more. Working on where he was kicking. And whoa, Bonfin rolls him over, reverses. Talk about strength. And gets back up. Bonfin back up to the feet. Saint Denis hits him with a knee to the body again. Yo, what is Bonfin made of? Holy smokes. How the hell did he get back up there? That shit was video game stuff. Nice left. Overhand left. St. Denis lands on the side of the head. And Bonfin, Bonfin fires in a left. <laughs> what a start to this fight. 3-10. Left in the first round. Outside leg kick Bonfin. St. Denis tries to load up for the head kick. And that hits off the blocked arm of Bonfin. Bonfin going towards the body. Nice knee to the body by Bonfin. And shooting him for a takedown is Denis. St. Denis trying to go for two legs. Bonfin, Bonfin stopping it for the time being. And Denis just driving and drilling the shoulder into the body of Bonfin. Bonfin with some elbows to the side of the head of Denis. St. Denis looks to lift up on the right leg and trip down Bonfin. But Bonfin stays upright and hits him with a nasty elbow. St. Denis still trying to go for this takedown. Stopped by Bonfin. Bonfin puts pressure on the back of the head. Scoots around towards the backside. But Bonfin gets in the way. Stands up. Nice knee by Bonfin. Denis just eats it and walks forward. 225 left on the clock. First round of action. Lot of stuff going on here. As we have a firefight, the second one. Herb Dean trotting from side to side, trying to get out of the way. Shooting in for the takedown again, Denis. Saint Denis trying to go for two legs. Lifts up high on one. Twists that leg, and Bonfin showing some real good balance as he bounces towards the other side of the cage. The cage helping him stay upright. Denis drags around the body, looking to take him down. Really. Really tugging on the waist of Bonfin. Bonfin getting dragged all over the place, but he grounds himself as he's bent over, holding onto the mat. 150 on the clock. Knee to the body by Denis. St. Denis eats an elbow as Bonfin comes up with that right arm. Denis still trying to pull him down to the ground. I mean, Bonfin's going to be exhausted just trying to stop these takedowns here. Denis still trying to tug and just grapple on Bonfin. Bonfin gets on the knees trying to protect his neck here as Denis is looking to get that backside. Sliding off the back is St. Denis, but holding Bonfin down, hands and knees on the ground. 122 left on the clock. Denis just trying to break down Bonfin, throwing some right hands to the side of the head. 
Bonfin covers up. St. Denis still trying to come in and loosen up that chin, trying to get to the neck. He rolls Bonfin around, gets the backside, puts a hook in on Bonfin, looking for a choke. St. Denis working on it. Oh, here we go. St. Denis puts two hooks in. And now he has a nice, solid play for the back and looking for the neck as Bonfin's tucking that chin in and fighting the wrists. 50 seconds on the clock, and St. Denis looks like he should win this round here with the control time and the constant threats of a submission. But Bonfin is defending nicely with that now lock around the waist. I can't see the legs too much because the camera's out of, it's out of the frame. So it looks like Bonfin just has a lock around. I mean, uh, St. Denis has a lock around. Now he's cranking on the head. He decides to go again. No, that doesn't work. Bonfin's fighting the hands. St. Denis trying anything he can to make it very uncomfortable for Bonfin. But, oh, here we go. It's over the chin, though. He's trying to lock up this choke. Whoa, Bonfin's thinking about tapping. <gasps> St. Denis over the chin. Not under the chin. Over the chin. Put so much pressure that Bonfin, I mean, you saw his hand go out immediately like, oh, I want my jaw. And taps. St. Denis plus 250 underdog. Just one. Carnage. Lick the carnage. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Make babies with carnage. Play jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Propose to the carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the carnage. Celebrate the carnage. Wow. That legit shocks the hell out of me. Did Moicano pick the knee? Fucking beautiful win. Wow. 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 St. Denis just finished Bombfin. Oh my God. Wow. Dude, that was nuts. That was nuts. St. Denis was doing everything he can to break down Bonfin. Bonfin was doing a good job defending. But then Denis is like, okay, I'm not going to get your neck. Let me get over your chin. I'm just going to try to crush your face. And Bonfin, as soon as that, like he locked it up, Bonfin was just like, he, he, he felt that pressure on his chin, and he, he immediately wanted to tap. You could see his hand get ready. And then boop, boop, boop. I'm going to save my face. That is, an, that is dude. That is that is a phenomenal underdog win. Phenomenal. This card has severely turned around. So, like, dude, what? <laughs> he didn't even, he cranked in the beginning that didn't work. It was over it was just literally over the chin. He crushed his fucking chin. Didn't crank. He cranked originally that didn't work. Dude, it was over his chin and Bonfin's like, "You know what? I don't want to break my fucking jaw." You don't see that much. His rib cage got worked in the beginning. Yeah, Bonfin was trying to. Here's good respect by both guys. That's cool to see. Wow, that's a huge win. I did not see that coming. Holy crap, man. Dude, that's nuts. That is nuts. All right, so we got the submission by St. Denis in the first round. We got the first round ground and pound. By Nurseltan making his UFC debut. Back-to-back -back underdog victories. Kevin Lee gets his soul taken as he gets choked out in the first round. Brito, ground and pound, first round domination. We are on a one, two, three, four fight carnage streak over here in a card that started off very meh. Although you did have the Brenner finish as well, which was an incredible... I tell you what, that Brenner finish, he was losing that fight, came back in the third round. Yo, this card has been fire. Like fire. What a weak start turning into just... Dude, this is nuts. And and we're talking underdog comeback, like underdog victory, a comeback victory, underdog first round finishes back to back. What? Let's take it down a notch. Here you go, guys. Here you go. The card's going too well. <laughs> the 
card's going too well. The UFC knew this was going to happen. So they're like, I got you. So everyone, if you got to use the bathroom, now's the time to do so. Lipsky's pretty. Anyway, I picked Gatto by a decision here. Let's look at goat milk. I am so out of goat milk here. But I am very curious to see who is on top. As Pale Monkey surpasses D-Rest. And last year's champion, my dad, Blue Light is now in third place. So Blue Light making a, a run. Last year's Goat Milk champion, the man with the belt, looking to get the number one spot. D-Rest still in the mix, but Pale Monkey moves in the lead with a 380. Holy moly. Man, oh man, that's why you got to stick out these cards. That's gotta, you got to stick out these cards. You just don't know what's going to happen. That was very impressive. Very dude, that under if anyone picked that underdog, I'm very impressed with that prediction. Very, very impressed. Because Bonfin is legit like a savage. An absolute savage. What he did to McKinney, everyone was afraid to fight this dude for a reason. And then he goes in and gets submitted in the first round. Dude, that's he called out Gamrot. Take my money. I want to see that. Did he call Gamrot? That's a good that's a good fight. Wow, Denis versus Gamrot. St. Denis versus Gamrot. It's good. It's good. Yeah, you gotta stick out these cards, man. You gotta stick, you just never know. This fight night's legit solid. This though, it's like I mean, maybe this is a, this is gonna be a banger. I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, let's celebrate. We got we got a very uh nice celebration over here as we finally hit our goal on the main card. And I appreciate that, ladies and gentlemen of the chat. We hit 400 and 23 likes, so let's celebrate with a song. Boy, Kano's a good fight, too, man. That's, that's a crazy fight. Seize the moment. Took a leak. Uh, thank you for the like. 777. Lucky sevens will be the next goal. I appreciate the support of everyone hitting that like button. You have no idea how much you help the channel. Just by a little bit of like love, that helps out the tr channel tremendously. So thank you so much. It's super simple. You just click the like, and it throws us in the algorithm. It helps us with all the hard work we do here on the channel. So thank you for being wonderful, wonderful. wonderful, wonderful. I want to give a big thank you to the uh, donators tonight as well. The Hearns coming in with the back-to-back -back beauties. Uh, appreciate you guys. Top Dog still sitting with Hearns with the $50 donation. If you'd like to support the show, hit the Streamlabs donation, or you could hit Super Chat as well. Both help the channel. And I appreciate all your contributions while we fight react for every single card going on seven years. That's kind of, we haven't missed a card in seven years. That's kind of nuts, man. Uh, I appreciate you, man. Uh, Tunes and Carnage getting a little old, though, with all due respect. Carnage will never leave. If I got rid of Carnage, it would literally it would be the worst day of our lives. But the like song will change because we always uh, change like songs. So, like song will change. We get a lot of heat every time we change our songs. We put polls up and Carnage will stay forever. The Dragon song will most likely stay forever. Um, but like songs will change. 
Carnage will never get old. It's it, there's there's a reason why it's made the way it is. <laughs> I'm a good man, certainly not the worst of them. Uh, thank you, I think. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, I know that this is a little out of nowhere, but why can't I get around uh, to liking Aljo? I'll never know. I just can't find myself to rooting for Aljo, especially when he stole the belt. We literally had that conversation on last night's stream. It's so it's not weird to say that there's the Aljo's in the chat. <laughs> we we literally said that, said that last stream. Think about this. We've met Aljo. We've had him on our show twice. Um, we've seen him on the regional scene, and he's a very nice guy. We uh, are friendly with Law MMA, and his teammates had them on the show as well. I had Marab on the show, had Matt Frivola on the show. Like We've had Ray Longo on the show multiple times. Uh, I like guys from Law, but I understand why you don't like Aljo. I do, because um, he is annoying. Like there's, there's no way around it. He's very annoying. You know, but I respect what he has done in the octagon. I'll always respect what he's done in the octagon. But I also respect the fact that people don't like him. He's a very annoying angel. And if I didn't know him, I probably would not like him either. Like, or if I haven't met him, I should say. <clears throat> I like guys. I like, I love guys. Guys are great. You know why I like guys? Because 7% of our community is women. If I did not like guys, then I wouldn't like any of you guys. I wouldn't like anyone in the chat. My bookie promo code, you ask, it's M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S. So if you want 100% match in your first deposit, you just go over to mybookie.ag. That's the website. M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S for 100% match. Uh, do this responsibly. And uh, for our community, they're giving 100% match in your deposit. There is a rollover as well, like all these betting sites. So once you pass the rollover, bang, you're collecting your cash. So go try it out. And anyone that does gamble through my bookie does, it makes us look better by using our promo code. They'll stick around a little longer. Uh, European countries are merit-based, organized, and structured Americans are arrogant. What? What does that even mean? Uh, Mr. Moss in the community was in the Philippines for a week of diving. Wow. 12 wrecked ships from World War II. Wow. Be careful. I don't want you guys to get stuck in a submarine or anything like that. Who's unli more unlikable, Aljo or O'Malley? I think um, I think you can criticize him for different things, right? O'Malley is likable as a fighter, right? O'Malley as a fighter is fun. When he gets in the cage, I'm always I'm always on board. He's he's a he's a really elite striker, and I like that he taunts and has a little fun out there. Um, but you know, when you see him on his podcast, it's just like, oh, for fuck's sake, dude. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, damn. I don't dislike either guy. Who would I... I don't know, man. I've met Aljo, so, I mean, we've dealt with Aljo. I've, I haven't really had an actual interaction with O'Malley, and we live in the same fucking state. I would have to know Al, uh, O'Malley to really give you a solid answer. My best betting score is plus money. That's why I'm mystical. Plus money. You don't need to like them. Uh, he plays his game to stay focused. Uh, most soccer players are boring. He still adore them. Yeah, I, I respect, even if I don't like an athlete, if I'm not the biggest fan, um... I don't, I don't hate any fighter. Like, I, I can't think of, like, oh, fuck, this guy is fighting, and I, I just literally hate them for who they are. I, I don't do that. There's cert just certain fighters I like better than others. And Aljo, like, I just don't listen to interviews. I don't listen to a lot of these fighters' interviews because I'm like, they're annoying, you know? And now a lot of fighters are starting podcasts as well. And um, it's not easy. You know, it, it isn't easy to just be blabbing like we do so much. So that's it's it's a it's a double edged sword. You can grow your community by starting a podcast, but if you're just a knucklehead and saying stupid shit, you might you might actually hurt your brand, you know? So you gotta be really careful. Sean's podcast. Yeah, listen, I don't I don't I can't. It's just not my thing, man. Like I've I've tried to listen to Sean's podcast. I wanna hear what he has to say, because I think he's an interesting guy. 
I just, dude, I can't. <laughs> I, I can't, dude, I can't. I can't do it, man. I just can't. <laughs> and then they used to pull out the harmonica and start fucking blowing into that thing. I was like, yeah. But listen, people don't like dragons, so they don't watch us. It's all good. Everyone's got their thing. <laughs> Imagine if I was doing that all the time. Like I'm calling a fight, and in the middle of the fight, I'm like, <laughs> dude, you would want to fucking shoot me. That's how you know if there's a god, he's got a sense of humor. He, he blesses Sean O'Malley with the gift of beating the shit out of people. And then he's like, here's your voice. <laughs> You're going to be stuck with this voice. Do what you will with this, you know? And the Sean, the, uh, Sean O'Malley song will be dropping soon. We have it ready, locked and loaded. It's okay. The podcast is not for everyone, uh, but you don't have to make fun of them. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Mr. Falduncy. I'm a trained professional at making fun of people. It's literally, it's in my job description. We have a, uh, before our streams for Fight Buddies. Let me just show you something real quick. Here's our warning. <laughs> Here's our warning. So it starts off, the following show features extreme stupidity, foul language, and two uncomfortably attractive hosts. Right now, one, because our other host is, uh, has a baby hanging off her tit. The MMA holds features opinions intended for an immature audience, if you notice the MMA's you know, just play fun. Uh, immature audience, do not take any of our horsing around serious. We are just a bunch of MMA holes. That's what it is, guys. If we're making fun of people, it's not it's not that serious. We're just goofing. Just having a little fun. If you take it too serious, then you're definitely watching the wrong channel. You know? I will make fun of them, and then... If you're offended, I will make fun of you. Your ginger haircut looks like a strawberry Hershey kit. <laughs> Hershey kit? What the fuck's a her You mean Hershey kiss? A strawberry Hershey's kiss? That's a very nice... Yeah, I should call this the Hershey's kiss. Hershey's kiss. I have beautiful hair. I mean, there's nothing I could... Do. It's not my fault. I was born with it. A beautiful beard as well. That is graying, but still powerful. I've been blessed. I just have a... You know, my face is not that great. But, you know, it is what it is. You got to work with what you got, you know? I don't know about two, but one attractive host for sure. I know, I I know, I, I you know Jesse's not the best looking, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I married her for her personality, bro. You're five foot four, ginger. You can't make fun of anyone. I can. I can. In fact, by you saying that, you don't even realize I'm making fun of you. Like your comments. I literally just made fun of you without even having to say anything. Think about it. Uh, 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 uh. Tell Jess to bring the kids on for loyal fans. So Ellie's Ellie's gonna be off for a little while. Um, we did we did tell the community like once the kids get to a certain age, we're just kind of kind of because it's just not fair to the kids, you know. So you'll see you'll see Logan a couple of times as he's a baby, but then when they get to a certain age, I don't know. We're gonna kind of take a break, and then if it was up to me, I don't give a shit. Like, but I get why Jesse doesn't want to do it. So we're gonna kind of we want them to have like their own lives rather than always on camera. Like we chose to do that. They're not choosing that, right? And then when they get to uh, a certain age and they wanna, then we'll bring them on. You know, if but you know, you know. <clears throat> Uh, 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 uh. I can't really can't wait for Dustin and Justin too, but what am I annoyed about is uh, our awesome UFC announced a Dustin and Justin fighting July 29th. Then boxing finally has Spence versus Cro Oh, is that the same night? Uh, so if you're a big boxing fan, I, I get it, man. You guys are into that stuff. I couldn't care less, to be honest. But yeah, if you are a boxing fan, I would understand that that, that kind of bothers you, right? Logan's only like, 
He's like a week old. He was born on the 22nd. Yeah, Silverback, I know, like, you know, like, me personally, I kind of like, it is what it is. You know, just, you know, show the kids and it is what it is. But it, it makes sense why Jesse wants to do what she's doing. So, and, and I back her. So, you know. It's, it's, it, it is true. A lot of people just trot their kids on like they're, like it's, you do see other YouTube channels just constantly bringing their kids on. And I, I think it's nice to have those moments on air, but at the same time, they're too young to know what the hell's going on and it's kind of wrong, you know? So, when they get a little older, sure. Okay, here we go. Lipsky versus Gatto. Lipsky 5'6", Gatto 5'5", 125 for both girls, championship weight, Lipsky 29, uh, age and 27 the age of Gatto, Gatto 69 inch reach, 67 for Lipsky, orthodox, the stands for both. Uh-uh. Family YouTubers use the kids for views. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe in, I don't know. Like, I'm a little, like I said, I'm a little more lenient, but at the same time, I get why people don't want to do it. And it's it's more for safety reasons than anything. And we have behind the scenes, we have, we had some issues that it would blow your mind if you knew exactly what we dealt with, with the FBI, with just crazy stuff. So... There's legitimate reasons for when you put your life on camera, you know, the shit like that, you know, your hand gets forced. So it's not your fault. It's a small percentage's fault. All right, here we go. Round one has begun. Lipsky versus Gatto. Can Lipsky go two in a row? Who well, I think she's horrific, to be honest. I think she's she's an attractive girl, but She's won two of her last five. She did bounce back with a win against J.J. Aldrich. And Melissa Gatto just lost to Tracy Cortez, who's been in the news. So we'll see how this thing goes. I did pick Gatto by a decision. But um, we'll see. We'll see what Lipsky does here. Lipsky is controlling the center as Gatto is circling the cage. Not much activity going on here as Gatto is still circling. And Lipsky is just kind of cutting her off. Lipsky giving her the mean mug. Lipsky does have a good, like, mean fighter face. You know, she's like, I'm, I'm ready to kill. Gatto gets in. So Gatto's using the circling. She's really trying to get Lipsky to follow her around that fence. But Lipsky is standing on the monster logo. There is not one strike that landed. We are a minute in. Here we go. So I'm saying, like, the UFC had a, like, it started, to, it became a fire card, and then we turned into this shit. Coming soon, I hate women's MMA shirts. <laughs> Lipsky by KO. Wow. Plus four. I mean, I understand if you guys, that, that's never happening. No way. No way. But if you have Lipsky by a decision, it's not impossible. It's not an impossibility. She's still a plus. Oh, there you go. Nice combo by Lipsky there. They engage. Gatto hits her to the body. Lipsky standing her ground. Lipsky looking a little more patient here. Lipsky, 29 years of age. And Gatto is hitting her with the inside leg kick. Goes back to circling around that fence. I'm all for UFC since youngsters, but boxing lost its way. Uh, my favorite fighter is uh, Dustin Poirier and Justin. It's a little under him, and they both uh, put everything on the line. Yeah, just, I mean, listen, the first fight was great. I think it's going to be more competitive the second. Because Justin is, he's a, he's a lot more mature as a fighter, right? But I still got Poirier all day. It's going to be a good scrap. But um, DP should be a lock. You need to make Scissor Fest and Bedroom Eyes t-shirts. That we, we got first a minute. Dude, I, what's up with this here? They're colliding mutual collisions with leg kicks. A kick to the body by Gatto. The one-two Gatto. Body shots by Lipsky. We got 220 on the clock. A lot of hesitation here by the girls. Five to nine in total strikes landing. And other swinging and missing going on. Still Gatto is circling. Lipsky backs up from a right hand by Gatto. 
Lipsy comes into one-two that misses. Two minutes on the clock, first round. Dude, how is this on the main card? I lost respect for Dustin Poirier when he wouldn't fight Colby Covington. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Why is Colby Covington calling out DP? Guy way class lower. That's that's weird ass shit, man. But listen, you know when you lose respect for Dustin? When he had the fake charity. That's when you lose respect for Dustin Poirier. Fake charity, Dustin. Oh, super That's when you lose chat. respect for that guy. How dare he? Loudest way on this live stream. Loudest, let's go. Let's Fire. go, baby. Jono, bro. Come on, champ. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you for the donation. Could believe, uh, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Super chat. Let's go. John Boy, just dropping a deuce there. I like that. Thank you, John Boy, with the number two donation. Appreciate that. Lipsky coming in with a barrage of shots. They all miss except for the leg kick. Hearns. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Hearns. Mystic definitely once Ellie goes to school, you need to be careful. Smiley face. Some comments can get the teacher's attention. Yeah, it's just for safety reasons, honestly. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we've had some bizarre situations. I've had the conversation with Mike Goldberg about it. It's 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 cra people are crazy, man. People are crazy. So just yeah, safety. Protect the kids, man. All right, twenty five. Thank you guys for the donations. Twenty five seconds left. And Gato is circling some more as a leg kick comes in by Lipsky. Gato grabs the leg, pushes Lipsky to the fence, tries to get a late takedown. And Lipsky trying to fight it off here. Gato has control. Ten seconds left. Gato still controlling. All the muscles bulging on the back of Gato. She lands a knee. But Lipsky almost spins her. Almost. Oh, doesn't quite. And that's the end of the first round. Okay. Wow. The excitement through the roof. This card was turning out to be just such fire. All these first round finishes. Underdogs winning and... The UFC should be allowed to, like, if a card's going a certain way, they should be allowed to, like, make last-minute switches. You know, yank. You know this fight's going to be trash. Why put this on the main card? Why do that? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, your long streams are nice to have on the background. You know it gets lonely here at the top. Thank you, man. Thank you. We're just a little ambiance over here. Yeah, we're going to get Jesse in on the mix soon. We're both double team in these fights again. And, you know, we're going to get our show back intact. We're like, we're half, we're half staffed right now. So I appreciate you guys sticking through this. We just had another oh, kid. Super so it's, it's a little tricky, but I appreciate you guys support, man. Since we are dropping deuces. <laughs> Thank you. The deuce. Dropping the deuce. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Luckily, Jesse doesn't have to withstand this fight. She would not be happy with this one. Okay. Two. Round two. Oh, my God. What did you just say? Not all women's MMA is boring. Nunes or Shevchenko or Wei Li fights are great. But what about when Nunes fought Shevchenko? Both of those fights are trash. Think about that. Nunes had moments. Shevchenko had moments. But when they fought each other, they were, they were hot garbage. Like, and Nunes' last fight, let's be honest, she dominated, but it was garbage, right? So, um, yeah, listen, not all women's MMA is trash. I agree. There are some good scraps. We saw one last week. I don't even remember. See, it, it was such a good fight, but I don't even remember who it was. You know, it's like, it's rough. Women's MMA is still, it's still early, so it's going to evolve and hopefully get better. But I have a feeling... It's like WNBA. It's been around forever. It's still not good. So think about it. Even if it evolves, is it going to be consistently good? Probably not. You know? With four minutes left in the second round, I mean, I want it to be good. I do because I don't want to stand and look at men all the time. Like, I don't want to be sitting here watching dudes constantly. You know, I like to see the ladies go in there and do well. But chances are, you know, I mean, 90% of the time the decisions... And um, God was working on the cage here against Lipsky. She couldn't really get that takedown in the first. So let's see if she can get it here. 
All three's on the clock in the second round, and Lipsky is stuck against the fence. I don't even I don't know how how Lipsky's in the UFC. I have no idea. I, other than her looks. I think this is how you fix women's MMA. You just put ugly girls in there. Who cares about their looks? Just find the most horrific looking women, put them in the cage, and let them go. Because they got they'll have a little extra chip on their shoulders. The, Lipsky's been like, I mean, she's beautiful. <laughs> she shouldn't be fighting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, and then she gets the hip toss. Lipsky gets the hip toss. But uh, Gatto gets right back up. Damn. Right when I said that, Lipsky gets the takedown and gets... Oh, now now Gatto gets... Oh, man. Gatto drags Lipsky to a knee. Lipsky gets back up. Lipsky's trying to fight off Gatto. Gatto is relentless with this. She's relentless, man. She's not really doing much with this control time, but she's really tugging on the hips. I would like to see the ref separate this. I would like to see that. Even though I picked Gatto by a decision, I would like to see the ref <laughs> separate these girls from the cage. 224. Come on, tell them the work, ref. Tell them the work. They're they're literally standing there. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, ref. Appreciate it. Whisper it again to them. Who's the highest paid female UFC fighter at the moment? Does anyone know? Well, I'm sure it was Nunez. But who would it be now? Maybe Shevchenko, I guess. You know who's interesting though? What's her face? The one that looks like a full-grown dwarf. What's her name? Um, oh, shit. <laughs> She's going to be a champ. And I can't remember her name. Who's the girl that looks like the full-grown dwarf? Give me some female names. He heard me. You hear that? He leaned in and, and whispered to them. They're still fucking against the fence. God was in control. Help me out. What's her name? Blanchfield. Thank you, Snow Chicken. That's her. Blanchfield. Blanchfield looks like if a dwarf went full size. She's she's entertaining. I like her. I hope she becomes a champ. I do. Uh, meatballs, Laura Sanko. I could talk Jesse into a threesome with Lipsky. You know, there was a time where Jesse wanted to get into women's MMA. She was thinking about it. Oh, Lipsky's landing. The right and left. Here we go. Lipsky coming in. And that's it for now. As Gatto charges forward and backs up. Lipsky comes a nice leg kick. Let's see if Lipsky can finish this strong. Here you go. Okay. Lipsky comes in with the one-two again. Spamming the one-twos. Gatto comes in with the nice right. Uh, lands on the left eye. Lipsky looks like Deadpool's girlfriend. Every time I see her, I think of that. Whatever that girl's name is. Nice inside leg kick by Gatto. All right, the fight's gotten better. Gotten a lot better, actually. I think they got sick of that cage activity. So 30 seconds left. They're letting him go. I'm giving a little edge to Lipsky here. She's controlling the center. But Gatto's right there, and that control time, I'm curious. Oh, here we go. Gatto zips in with the 1-2, backs up. 15 seconds left. Lipsky comes in with the 1-2, misses. A lot of swinging and misses. Holy shit, Lipsky, 113. Oh, my God. Now Gatto grabs the throw again the fence again. She is 0 for 4 on the takedowns. And that's the end of the round. Uh, ends against the fence. Okay. All right. We, we got this, guys. One more round. We could do this. I, I believe in us. Gatto 2 zip. Yeah. I agree. That's, yeah, it's Jesse. Morena. Oh, that's her name? Morena. She plays that. Yeah, she's pretty. She looks like Lipsky. So they both got a long neck, too. Uh. <laughs> Gotta would peg Voss into submission. Yeah, she would. These girls would beat the shit out of me. Like... You know, I, I rip on women's MMA, but they would fuck me up. Although I think I could beat, I think I could beat a Rene Aldana. I was telling Jesse this the other day when I was, when I was making my prediction from Amanda Nunes. I was looking at Aldana. I think, I think I could beat her up. <laughs> so, Rena, that's a call out. You want this smoke? Crazy cat lady. I'm like Henry Cejudo now. Uh, you think Lipsky's winning? I would disagree, but it, the rounds are close, and I, I don't care. But I'll, I'm going to say Gatto's up to zip. Lipsky's had moments, but um, 
I still think God was winning the rounds. But who knows? I mean, her control time, she's not doing anything with it, so. Oh, there's a nice combo by Lipsky. The right and left. Landon. The UFC would love if a girl like Lipsky was the champ, right? Brazilian pretty. Ryan Fredericks got Gatto after two on Twitter. They go kick for kick here. 425 left. Flyweight. Third round. Thank you guys for stopping by. We got a couple more fights left. Strickland has not fight, fought a bus yet. Oh, well, God, was a minus 320. Has not happened yet. I think this fight is so lame. I'm watching the chat more than the fight. You think I could beat all the girls? I don't think I can. I don't. I, I do. I, I got to say, I, I think I, I do respect these girls as athletes. I know they're not like the weight wise, the biggest girls out there, you know, but they still, I think they still could beat my ass, but I could beat Irene Aldana. Irene Aldana can catch these hands. You like me better than Bisping? This is a terrible fight for me to call. So don't judge me on this, please. But thank you. That's very nice of you. Three, three, three left. Gatto versus Lipsky. And God, they both girls are back in the center. Lipsky does look like she has a sense of urgency out here, but the jab's coming out by Gatto. Lipsky throws a jab as well back. Oh, for fuck's sake. They're not throwing anything. They're, and when they do it, it's like they're missing the one-two missing by Gatto. This is where you eject them. You, you use that eject button. Right now would be the time where the mat just fucking launches them into the rafters, and they just splat against the fucking lights. <laughs> <laughs> just you know like, that would be amazing why can't we live in a world like that and they just fucking fly up and splatter against the next 239 on the clock both girls back in the center swinging and missing <laughs> they should just talk it out. <laughs> oh, if Cyborg would fuck me up. She's still my favorite female fighter. Like, I've done, like, the Cyborg impersonations and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I, I, I Impressions. I I, um, I like Chris Cyborg, but, man, she would, she would hurt me. You couldn't beat yourself out of a wet paper bag with a garden rake. That's a weird expression. <laughs> it's a little weird. What's with the senior citizen, like, <laughs> it's some weird ass, like, I feel like these are like grandpa comments. This, this is the second time this happened tonight. What's going on here? What was the first one that we were joking about before? I feel like this shit's coming out of the 60s or something with some of these comments. Some of these insults are coming out of the, straight out of the 60s. So we got a takedown here. It's exciting. And Lipsky's on top. They're beaver to beaver. Can Lipsky, man, if she stole a round before, if she got one of those rounds, this could be it. Lipsky can get go two in a row. Oh, dear Lord, it was. Yeah, dear, like who says dear Lord? Besides it, like, uh, <laughs> and I'm an old dude, man. I don't even say dear Lord. <laughs> dear Lord. <laughs> dear Lord. Oh, my God. I, I got to bring that into the stream. Dear Lord, what a comment. <laughs> Does anyone in the chat say, if I'm insulting you, if you say dear lord, it's fine. It just sounds like something that like someone of advanced in age would say, right? I don't even think my parents say dear lord. And they don't even say it. Is it over yet? <laughs> no, they're back up. 40 seconds left. Gato somehow got up. We were too busy talking to the chat. At least women's MMA gives me a chance to hang out with you guys. Jess, you say, yeah, but Jess is an old soul. See, I don't hear you say dear lord. Do you really? I don't remember Jesse saying that. Gee whiz. <laughs> gee whiz. <laughs> gee whiz. Golly, gee whiz. All right. 15 seconds left. And Lipsky's like, well, I want this. She's game, man. They're not throwing anything, but she looks tough. Seven seconds left. Nothing being thrown. Oh, my God. Dude, fuck these girls. Like, seriously. Fuck. It's over. Thank God, man. What the hell? When I was making the predictions last night and I looked at this fight, I was like, what is, what is the UFC thinking? 
I don't give a shit how hot Lipsky is. Do not put this girl on the main event, the main card. What are you doing? Get this, get her off the freaking main card. Dear Lord. Sounds like something Chel Sona would say. Dear Lord. Very competitive match. You look at the stats, virtually identical. I mean, they're very, it's a, I mean, we're splitting hairs with the scorecard here. I mean, what matchmaking? This card was going so well, and then they put this fucking nonsense on it. Dear Lord. Aggravating me. Needs to be like the old days. We were sitting in the, you know, in the Coliseum and we just fucking throw some tigers in there. You're 72. Are you really? Gene, are you Gene Richards? That sounds like an, a 72-year-old name. Are you really 72? That's cool, man, if you are. Who's the, who's the oldest person in this chat? Right now, tell me. I want to know who the oldest person in this chat is right now. Who's got, who's got the age? Who's the goat of the chat? Because you got to respect your elders out there. I feel like kids don't do that these days. All right, let me get the scores. Get your ages in the chat. It's split. Lipsky had her finger up and she's like, uh. Split decision. Come on, give me Gatto. Wow. Wow, Lipsky got the win. All right, she got the win. Underdog City. What the fuck? Wow. Underdog City. So we have three more fights left on this card. And one, two, right? St. Denis was an underdog, right? Holy smokes. Lipsky, St. Denis, uh, Rosabov. Yeah, three fights in a row. Who else was an underdog? Uh, Brenner, right? Wasn't Brenner an underdog? Marona Mia. Carolina was an underdog. Damn. A lot of underdogs winning tonight. Holy smokes. All right, let's look at goat milk. I'm curious. I like when underdogs win because that makes this very interesting. Ronj Capper in first place with the 425. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Lots of people uh, shuffling around here with all these underdogs. Holy smokes. Is holy smokes an old man thing? <laughs> uh, all right. What was the ages over here? What were the ages? Who's the oldest person in the chat? Let's see. A 70 and laughing my ass off. All right. Dollar bill. So someone said 72. I don't know if that's true, though. I don't know. Keep putting your... Put, I want to see the ages in the chat. Who's the oldest person in the chat? Don't fucking lie. You ruin the whole thing if you lie. So Gene is confirming that he is 72. So Gene oh, Richards super chat. could be the oldest person. Ryan Lyon. Ruth is an old name. <laughs> it is. Ruth is an old name. I feel 70 plus but 47. Don't lie. Come on. Tell it. Let's. I want to. I want to see. Come on. Why do you got to be like, why do you got to be that guy or gal? Why you got to be that? Why you got to be that person? Do you ever, you ever think about it? So dollar bill 70. That's the, he's in second place. All right. So 72. I want to see if there is there anyone older than 72 in here. Forty-two, thirty-nine, fifty-seven, twenty-six, thirty-nine, and even if you're young, put your age in there. Just out of curiosity, who who is the youngest person? I'm in my teens. I'm fifteen, but I don't barely go in the chat a lot. Probably smart. Thank you for stopping by. Probably smart not doing that. Thirty, thirty-four, fifty-six, seventy-two is younger than Moss. <laughs> Dude, that's so corny. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Dude, you guys jokes suck so bad. <laughs> it sucks so bad. But I guess I'm laughing, so that worked. Uh <laughs> it's so it's such a weird weird sense of humor. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, farts love fights. Ain't when uh, ain't with mean wives. Mel Gibson bought out the Apex tonight. What? Is that true? Is there any truth to that? Did he did he Zuckerberg it? Yeah, you, Logan probably is the youngest MMA hole. That's true. You bet glove touches the well, he's 18 now. So I don't think he is. Moss is my wife's boyfriend. <laughs> what? I'm 36. I'm from Boston, and Lipsky gives me a boner. I don't blame you. She's pretty. There's, there's no doubt about it. She, and she just went two in a row. So she's not getting cut. Wow. So Mel Gibson. So he's there. It doesn't mean he bought out the fucking place, but he is there. So what do you guys think of Mel Gibson? What are your What's the consensus on him? He went on that racist rant. But I'm still a weirdly like a Mel Gibson fan. I, we just watched a movie not too long ago where he was like a podcaster. It was a really strange, it was a shit movie. But if Mel Gibson's in it, I'll give it a shot. I'll give him, a, it's fucking Braveheart for God's sakes. It's, it's the guy from Lethal Weapon, you know? I th and Mel Gibson in that Santa Claus movie? Come on. I don't think he is a racist. I don't think so. I think he just had a moment. I think he got drunk and, you know. He had one of those moments. Fucking Mel Gibson's the man. But some people hate him. So he doesn't like Jews. No, no. <laughs> so he called a bunch of people a pack of animals. Yeah, he's Mad Max, right? Braveheart was horrible? Can someone time out, Wiz? How dare you say that? Braveheart was horrible? Well, you know what? It is kind of corny. I'm not going to lie. Don't time him out. It was, there was moments, there were moments of corniness, but it's still a classic, man. We watched it not that long ago. It's still a classic. Leave him alone. It's Braveheart, for God's sakes. He's a bad man. He's just not woke. Well, he did say racist things. I mean, there's no way around that. I mean, he did. But I don't know. He's probably drunk and, you know, <laughs> he had a moment. Somehow it was recorded. Signs. Yeah, signs is, signs is awesome. Science is great. Apocalypto. You guys have a lot of trouble, though. I'm Jewish and I like Mel Gibson. There you go. That's a real man right there. See? Gets it. Everyone's racist. Human beings, or we were all... It's weird. We were put on this earth to have some sort of racism in us. It's really weird. It's a bizarre thing. Like, we see color, which is odd. The only, and I don't know why, I, I don't know, maybe it's society, I have no idea. But kids don't see color, right? But then when they get to a certain age, they'll point to someone and say, ah, oh, why is that girl guy darker than that guy or whatever, you know? So there's like, there's like a switch that flips where we just start seeing color. It's weird. And I wonder, do animals do that? Like, do animals, like uh, Chrome to your dome who was in the chat said that like birds are racist. And I'm like, well, why do you say that? He says, because they, they stay within their race. Right? So so it's a weird conversation. They're saying like they like <laughs> quails bang quails. You don't see quails banging pigeons. You know? But I don't know. I, that's why I like doing this shit. There's no fucking race. We're all fucking people. Even if you're a racist cunt in the chat, we're still people. We're all here. There's no prejudice. There's no bias. I love it. I fucking love this. You know? But there are severe racists out there. No, no doubt about it. I'm racist. Yeah, I am. I'm pretty big racist. I am. Birds of a feather flock together. Stop what? What did I do? What did I do? Don't say about that. Emmy Guru's racist. How dare you? How dare you? Birds, birds are racist. They are. If you go fucking check out a bird, they don't hang out with other birds. And if they do, they just like, they kind of look the other way. They have separate bathrooms for birds. <laughs> birds. Birds are racist as fuck. I'm 
I'm only racist if I'm mad. <laughs> he goes, I'm only racist if I'm mad. Oh my god. Now everyone is born with like some weird thing where you see color. It's weird. It is a weird thing. But then you got straight up racist people. You got real fucked up people out there. It's messed up, man. <laughs> racist comedy is the I kind of agree with that. Like if a black guy starts ripping apart a white guy, it's actually hilarious. And vice versa, it's hilarious. It's like, what's his name? Um, what's that guy's name? Ah, oh, the British dude. Oh, I can't remember anyone's name anymore. The dude that used to do like, uh, oh, shit, he used to host award shows and stuff. I don't think I am racist, to be honest with you. But I do make racist jokes. I do. Ricky Gervais, that, that guy. Yeah, that dude's hilarious. That dude's so fucking funny, man. We need more of those guys out there. Ricky Gervais. That guy is, he doesn't give a fuck. All right. And like Dave Chappelle's too. Like these guys, they don't care. I like that. Need more people like that in this world. Less sensitive. More wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, here we go. We got the Hoyans wonderful, coming wonderful. in. Hoyans. Canelo signed a deal with a black guy. <laughs> now black boxing Chanel's calling Canelo next fight a black hate crime. <laughs> I can see it now. I can see all the boxing channels. This, this Mexican is trying to ruin the blacks. Like I can see him all screaming on the, the boxing. <laughs> That little rice and beans bastard trying to take our black away. All right. Enough. Thank you, Hearns. Appreciate that. All right. Let's get to the tail of the tape here. Hear that? Hear that? That's a dragon. We let that thing loose at 78,800. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Here's the tail of the tape. Do I know George Carl? I do. But you know what's funny? Fun fact. I respect George Carlin as a comedian. Never was my cup of tea, but I do respect he's he was he was a a very intelligent comedian for sure. But I, I don't know, just wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, Griffin versus Morales. Griffin five eleven. Morales six foot one seventy for both guys. Thirty seven years of age of the guy Griffin who knocked a man's ear off in the cage. Morales twenty four. Just a young buck. Seventy nine reach for Morales. Seventy six for Griffin. Both orthodox. And we're back in the excitement level here. The third fight from the top. This should be a good one. Both guys coming off a win. And Morales has not won, lost one fight. He's 14-0, unblemished. Carlin, the truth. Do you ever think about what George Carlin would be like right now, right? Like in this world, what the hell that guy would be saying? He's probably something we need. Smart guy. Here's Max Payne. Every time I see Griffin, I, all I think about is that guy's ear falling off his head. Kerry Hatley is the referee. We're getting ready. All right, three fights left. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. Hit the like button. Hit it. I'll start the clock and put the first round up there. We're not in three. But let me start the clock in a sec here. Let's do this. Both boys are ready. I picked Morales by decision, but my tapology picks have been trash. My bets. I'm up plus money once again. Plus money Moss strikes again. Who are you uh, rooting for in this fight? I'm rooting for Morales. I like when these young kids come in. Nothing against Griffin. Griffin's, you know, he's he's been on a let, nice little roll. Lost one out of his last five. Always game. Good striker. And Morales, the unblemished kid, has two UFC fights out of the contender series. And here he's fighting Max Payne. So, interesting step up for the kid. Griffin doing a little circle around there, throwing out the jab, just trying to see what Morales got, keep him spinning. Morales tries for a lay kick, but Griffin threatens to come forward. Morales backing up. Morales throws out that jab to the right, but both, uh, all three shots miss. 405, first round. Jab coming out by Morales. Griffin stepping away. Looks like both guys are just kind of another minute into a fight, just feeling each other out. Lay kick missing by Morales. Good footwork by Griffin. Griffin greets him back in the center. 
Morales comes in with that right hand, lands on the cheekbone of Griffin, but Griffin was moving back when it happened. Comes back in, hits him with the inside leg kick. Morales gives him a nod. So we're in the first round here. Oh, nice left hand by Morales on the face of Griffin. Just zaps that in there very quick. The reach, 79 to 76. I'm curious if Morales could capitalize with that reach. Griffin's some pretty good footwork, though. Morales having a tough time, you know, really landing flush. So we're in the first here. 310, body shot Griffin, right coming into the belly. Of Morales, outside leg kick, grazing on Morales. More circling here by Griffin. Nice flurry by Griffin coming in there. Partially blocked by Morales, but Griffin does land. Oh, man, Morales comes into another flurry of Griffin. Morales trying for a flying knee, doesn't really complete it as he just hops forward. Throws out the jab, misses. Griffin... Bouncing in and out. He's looking to catch Morales. He's coming in and out. Waiting for Morales to make a mistake. Both guys are waiting for mistakes, it looks like. 2.30 on the clock. Oh, boy. Come on, guys. There's a flying knee again by Morales, but that one doesn't quite land. And the ref stands in between. I guess he thought there might have been an eye poke, but they're both good. Morales, the one that was looking to do the poke. And, oh, nice flurry by Griffin. Bounces Morales off the cage. Morales tries for the Superman punch. Griffin goes for the takedown. Nice, strong takedown defense by the kid. Yo, Morales caught that takedown just in time. Griffin was looking. He's still going for it, though. Griffin against the fence. So it's interesting to see the 24-year-old adjust there, but he's still not out of it as Griffin is still going for this takedown against the big kid. And, man, Morales is strong. Just underhooks and just pushes Griffin to the cage. A lot of strength by the 24-year-old. They separate. Griffin gets away. Nice stuff. And Morales showing some damage underneath the right eye. As Griffin comes in, goes in for the takedown again. I like this by Griffin. Just keep going on him. Go, go, go. Break him down. Morales trying to fight from off the cage here. Griffin looking for the takedown. 125 on the clock. Morales, for some reason, I don't know why, but every time I'm looking at this guy in the cage, he looks like, like a Rumble Johnson, a deflated Rumble Johnson. When Rumble didn't Rumble fight at welterweight at one point, Griffin still trying to go for this takedown, but Morales does get an underhook here. Griffin still has him against the fence. He's got an underhook under the right arm. Morales has it under Griffin's right arm, so we're kind of stuck here against the fence with 54 seconds left. We we talking comedians in the chat? Might be better than this fight. 45 seconds left. Okay, they broke. Griffin back to the middle. Superman punch by Morales. 37 seconds left in the first round. And Griffin bouncing in and out. Morales, nice right hand coming in. As Griffin was trying to use that fancy footwork, Morales pushes him off. As Griffin actually shoves him towards the fence. And Morales bounces off of it. 20 seconds left. Looking good for Griffin in this round. I think his game plan is frustrating Morales and... I think I give him the first. 10 seconds on the clock. Morales tries to tee off with the right hand. Griffin showing good footwork. Another flying knee missing by Morales. Yeah, Griffin's going to get one. I honestly didn't hate Griffin as an underdog in this fight. Even though I picked the kid. Man, unders are really looking good tonight. Roy and Delirious are hilarious. They are very good. They still hold up. Norm McDonald, my all-time favorite. Brilliant humor. Flew. Yeah, Norm was great. Norm was, to me, Norm was better in interviews or doing interviews as well. He was good on SNL. His stand-up was funny, you know, but um, I don't know. I think him as a person was funnier. You know what I'm saying? Like, anytime he was interacting with people and I don't know. Norm was a very funny man. Very funny. He can literally tell the worst joke in the world to make it funny. But, you know, his stand-up alone, just as, like, you know, there's, it, there's weaknesses to it, but he just was very good at telling bad jokes, right? Kevin Lee got the club and the sub. Oh, my God, I remember Insomnia by Chappelle. I saw Chappelle 
when I was in like prom, like way back when he was doing stand-up comedy when when I went to my prom. He was pretty funny. Okay, here we go. Round two. Man, this card was doing so well. It was doing so well. I'm not going to give up on this fight. All right, so we're going to do this at 440. Here we go. All right, clock is synced up. So Griffin versus Morales. I'm going to give Griffin the first round. Who you, What are you picking? Uh, first round, who won that first? I think a little edge to Griffin. And he, Oh, Morales is landed on the face. Boom. Left, left, right. And Morales is shaking those hands out. That's got to be some feeling, man. Oh, Morales with that right again. Cracks on Griffin. Holy smokes. Morales is coming out hot here. And Griffin just found himself in a firefight. Morales is trying to stay on Griffin. Wow, in the pocket, Morales throws the right in there. Morales is hunting. Yo, Griffin, he's got to be careful. Griffin tags him with the right of his own. So Griffin's looking for Morales to make a mistake. Morales got to be careful. Griffin could still bang. Skinny rumble moving in. Here, whoa, man, Morales in the pocket, throwing that right in there. He's staying on Griffin. Griffin is circling. He's trotting back and forth, outskirts of the cage. And I think Griffin finally weathered the storm of Morales. He's just kind of, Morales seemed to have slowed down here. Damn, that was a flurry. Tio Morales was looking dangerous there for a second. So Griffin looking to get back into his rhythm again. 3.23 on the clock. Nice jab by Morales. Fires up with the right misses. Griffin showing some good footwork. Yo, this kid's a strong motherfucker for 24. A strong, big welterweight. Tijuana, Mexico. He's not even moving. He's standing in the middle of the cage watching Griffin circle him. And, oh, Morales comes in with a right. It looks like, I mean, a left, excuse me. It looks like Morales might be getting a little tired here. He's really conserving energy and just waiting to explode. Misses with the left hand, and he looks just frustrated. Comes in. Nice body shot by Griffin. Griffin's got to he's got to pick up that pace again. Just outpoint him here. But very respectable of Morales' power. Now Morales is shut, he's shuffling the feet. Morales is trying to take his time as he's just watching Griffin, Griffin circle him. Comes in with the left and right. The right grazing off the side of the head of Griffin. Griffin showing some damage under the left eye. Oh, Morales is firing away again. Griffin backs up. Resets. 2.17 on the clock. The fight has gotten a little more interesting. As an outside leg kick by Griffin comes in. Griffin backing up from a Morales left. And Morales goes in with a wild right hand. That misses. Two minutes on the clock. One, two, Morales, Griffin going for the takedown. Griffin having some good timing with these takedowns, but he get, doesn't get it again. He's 0 for 4. Damn, Morales shakes it away. Nice job by Morales escaping, then throws a jab in there. Morales having a better round. Oh, there's a left by Gr Griffin. Pops into the face of Morales. 130 on the clock. Morales hits him with a nice jab there to the face of Max. So 122 now, and Max is still circling Griffin as he stands in the inside of the octagon. The small apex, the jab by Morales coming into the face of Griffin. Griffin circling the cage some more. Morales resets, breathes in through the nose. And Griffin comes in with a nice right hand, bounces Morales off the cage. Morales can't let Griffin get any momentum here. He's had a pretty solid round. So he's taking his time. Wow, Morales hits him with a right and flexes. Yo, yo, Morales hits him with a Superman punch and backs Griffin up. Comes in with the left. Morales comes in with another left on the side of the head of Griffin. And Griffin trots to the other side. But Morales hits him with another right hand. He is punishing Griffin here. So conserving the energy, then exploding on Griffin. Staying on him. 38 seconds. Oh, there's a time. Oh, my God. Was that a nut shot? Oh, boy. That is brutal. All the momentum in favor of Morales, and it looks like he might have hit him in the nads. Or was it an eye poke? Let's see. There was a stop. Griffin getting a chance to recover. That's a bummer if you're pro Morales. It's probably a nut shot. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like top of the cup. 
All right, Griffin got hit in the twig and berries, and they're back ready to go in. So Griffin is good. He, he recuperates. We'll get this back going at 28 seconds. A point. I saw that. Uh, what's his name? Unique put a video out of Shab. His next. He's locked up for a a, um, a a spot in a mall. Like he's doing stand up comedy in a mall. Like that's happening. So Brennan Shab apparently is going to be doing mall comedy next. Wow, here we go. They're in the pocket. They're both going. But Morales, I would go two. So I'm gonna go one one. Griffin showing a lot of damage on that face. I'm gonna go one one. Griffin one, Morales two. Sean Strickland fight still coming up, friends. Make sure you hit that like button. Did you guys hit that like yet? What are you waiting for? Yeah, he's going to be at the mall. I shit you not. There's a poster of him at the mall, which is kind of crazy, right? Mall comedy. <laughs> Imagine going to the mall, see some stand-up. I don't know. Maybe I think it's like in Buffalo or some shit. I don't know. Maybe it's different over there. What exactly is mall comedy? It's Brendan Schaub comedy. Go Griffin. He's too cocky. Well, the momentum has is favoring uh, Michael Morales right now. I do see Michael looking pretty good. I know he's very cop cocky out there. Griffin's got a man. He's got to try to, f you know, find that fighter that was in the first round. If he can solidify a takedown, maybe. Or just constantly just grind off the fence. He does have good striking, but it seems like Morales' power is a little bit of a problem here. Griffin's eating some damage on that face. Griffin's not young too, right? Griffin, what, 37? Been in the game for a minute. Griffin's got to be careful. Morales is young and hungry. And yeah, Morales, is, he just starts off strong again. The left and right hand. Griffin tries to retaliate with a right of his own. Inside leg kick. Morales is giving him nods. I do like this Morales kid though, man. I like his toughness. I kind of like his swag, too. Oh, that jab by Morales. He just jumps in there. Yeah, Griffin's got a... If he wants to keep that... Oh, there's that left again by Morales. Listen, you, you can't count Griffin out. He does have power. Whoa, head kick just missing by Griffin. Morales ducks underneath, and Morales is showing his head movement there. As Morales stop, stops him again, Griffin tries to shoot him for a takedown. Morales hits him. Flying knee by Morales. Comes in with the right and left. Griffin's against the fence. And Morales looked to stay on him, and then he resets. This is something interesting. So Morales, he is smart enough. At 24 years of age, he is smart enough to know, do not blow your load. Like He comes in with these flurries, and then he's like, all right, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Wonderful. I like the way this kid fights. Sandy Banana Chin might oh. be the biggest Karen bitch on Twitter. She's got a whole log shoved up her ass and a fucking pine cone <laughs> shoved up that cooter. These people hate their lives. You know what? She basically sums up what MMA Twitter is. She seems like the smelliest cunt out there. Like, I, I don't know. I know exactly who you're talking about. She is annoying. I, I, I agree. I concur. A lot of MMA Twitter is just pompous, obnoxious nerds. That's what they all are. They're just obnoxious nerds that clearly got abused as kids. Like, they, they clearly did not have a healthy high school where they were getting slammed into lockers or I don't know what was going on. But MMA Twitter, it's just, it's just a, it's like revenge of the fucking nerds. And they all just like, they all gather together and just retweet each other's shit. <laughs> it's weird. It's a weird group. But I know exactly what you're talking about. Whoa, Griffin gets the takedown. Oh, right back up, Morales. So what we were saying before, if Griffin could nail a takedown, that's big. Because it's probably a split fight here. Holy smokes. Griffin's going for it again, but he is technically 0 for 7. Oh, man, Morales spins around, has Griffin on the knee. I'm telling you, man, this 27-year-old, it's pretty wild. And Griffin gets back up. It's pretty wild, the patience and the IQ of this kid. Yeah, I mean, impressed. I'm impressed. So they reset back towards that center. Very close fight here. We're 1-1. Comes down to who's who wants it a little bit more. Oh, nice right hand by Griffin. Backing up. Morales. Morales is 14-0. In the biggest fight of his career. Very high up on a main card. Grabs Griffin. Spins him to the fence. Oof. Gets him with the underhook. 
Hits him with a left. Hits him with the one-two. Griffin bounces off the cage and goes back to the circle. I didn't see the interview, but I saw clips. The Nina Drama thing, I did see clips. Where did she bring in a, um, what's it called? Listen, she's doing her thing, right? She's doing her thing. Nice leg kick. Oh, man, two of them coming in by Morales. As Griffin trips down to the ground, gets back up, 130 on the clock. So right now, if the fight were to stop at this moment, I give it to Morales. But we still have 124 left. Griffin ate a couple of nasty leg kicks there. Didn't look like it felt good. Griffin... Instead of going for the circle around the cage, he's standing right in the pocket, and that's a problem. Superman punch coming in by Morales again. And here comes Morales again. Griffin trying to swing for the fences, trying to catch a chin late. Morales does this posture thing. Sucks in the air again, resets, just tries to compose himself. I have a feeling this is going to be one more big flurry by Morales. He's just waiting. Here's the left, the right by Morales. Resets again, 50 seconds. It would be nice to see, like, Griffin capitalize when Morales is controlling his breathing. Like, for Griffin to pounce on those moments. It's like fighting a Mike Tyson punch-out boss. Like, that's his thing. When he's doing that breathe, come in there and catch him while he's trying to control his breathing. Griffin hasn't been able to do that. 29 seconds left. And Griffin's trying to end aggressive here, but he's a little reluctant. They both land strikes upstairs. Griffin trying to move in. Trying to finish strong here. Here comes Griffin. Looks for the takedown. Ugh. I don't like that. And gets spun around by Morales. Oh, taken down by Morales. Dude, Griffin. Yeah. Oh, well. It was too late. The takedowns weren't working at this point, And that was it. All right. Morales got the win. Morales. Oof. That's a solid performance by the kid. Solid performance. Went three rounds. Foot against a tough guy against Griffin. Uh, and Griffin lasted, but he didn't win that fight. But look at the strikes landing. Is that accurate? 52 to 38? Damn. Seems like more landed than that. Seems like it. Thank you for the subscribe. Luke O'Kelly. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for the likes, everyone. Thank you for the likes. Appreciate it. It's my pleasure to service you with play-by-play -play for each fight. That the UFC throws in front of our faces. I am here to hang with the boys. Hang with the boys. Chat's on fire. Yeah, yo, I got to say, man, I got to give you guys props. The last fight reaction stream, it seemed like you guys fell asleep. You know, tonight you've been super active. So let's go. Let's go, chat. I like it. I like it. Good work, friends. Good work. Good work, chat. I like it. Not 3027. I would say, uh, I think Griffin won round one. I think, uh, yeah, he won round one. So we're getting ready for this, the co main. I'm going to hear the scores. So there's another. What's going on here? There's another fight card after this? Oh, so there's more fights after this if you still want to see more fights. So click ESPN Plus, the link in the live chat if you want to see more fights after this. All right, Morales going to win. Yeah, 29-28. Morales going to get the win. I think this kid's a solid prospect. I, I don't say champion right yet, but think about welterweight. This is another kid like... This is this is becoming an, a very interesting weight class with the prospects, right? The Ian Garys got this Michael Morales kid, strong, solid, big, one seventy. I like it. Kamzat is low key one of the nicest and most genuine guys in the UFC, but he's got everybody in their feelings. Why are we talking about Hamzat? Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone thinks he's a dick. I don't know. Does anyone think Hamza? Is a, I don't think he's a dick. I just think he's just trying to sell himself. Because anytime I see him interviewed, like, like he does everything for his family. Like he really cares about his mom. And, <laughs> and then I see Fook Hamza. <laughs> Fook that. Fook that rat lip. <laughs> that weight missing rat lip bastard. It doesn't help. Here's where it doesn't help. 
The dude missed weight severely. He almost literally ruined a card with the Nate Diaz fight, right? And the fighting behind the scenes. So that's a big blemish on Hamza Chemaev. If we can get this guy active again and, um, you know, just smashing people and stuff like that, people forget about that and like him again. But it's been a minute since he's fought. He left off on a bad note with a lot of fans. And I'm a big Hamza fan, but even I am like, yeah, I'm kind of over it. <clears throat> he may wait on a 10 days notice. Are you talking about when he fought bums? Which which fight? Which fight was the 10 days notice? Are you oh, the bum fights. Yes, you're you're correct. But when he I mean a fight against Nate Diaz, a fight that was literally a layup fight for him. Dude starting fights in the background. Like it's dumb. There's no need to start fight. Like even Nate Diaz is a knucklehead for that. Like were you fighting people? Like you get paid to fight in a cage. How dumb? How dumb can you guys be? Uh, I don't think Mearshart was... And Mearshart was a weight class up, right? That wasn't the 10 days notice fight, though. I don't think. Was it the Mearshart fight? That was a weight class up, so... It, yeah, 8 pounds. Missing weight by 8 pounds is literally a slap in the face. You're the headline. Dude, that, your job is to make weight. Missed by 8 pounds is nonsense. You know? So, And I'm a Hamazot fan. I am. Hamza was scared of Nate Diaz. I don't even think Jake Paul is scared of Nate Diaz. Which is kind of, it's kind of a bummer, man. Because I like Nate too, but it's kind of a bummer. Just heard fireworks. People getting ready. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Fourth of July is it's here, baby. All right, so we're getting ready for the co-main event. Bounce back with the win. It's been a rough night for me on Tapology, but my plus money is right, and that's all I give a shit about right now. Plus money, Moz. But let's go to Goat Milk and see if anyone, if there's any movement here on our Pick'em League. That creamy Pick'em League that makes you want to bleed. Ron, still in first place with the 475. Yeah, congratulations. Wonderful, wonderful. Fourth of July is on a Tuesday, right? Um, right, is it Tuesday? I know Monday is when a lot of these places are going to be doing their... I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to see what Jesse... I might move the Monday show to Tuesday. It depends on... Um, I might move the uh, Monday show to Tuesday if we do something for fourth i don't know so we'll see we'll be doing we'll be, we're constantly live so you'll you'll see us um i do want to say this i just got sidetracked for a second so we we did make the sean strickland Str song is dropped okay it is dropped it, it is it is on the interwebs the sean strickland song the man dance okay the biggest song in the world has dropped on our youtube channel and we want Sean Strickland to get his eyes on this song. In fact, his next walkout should be to the man dance. Now, if you go over to our channel, which is a little buffering here because of our interwebs. And you look at our music playlist over here. It's our last video upload. We uploaded it on Thursday. Sean Strickland, the man dance. Go over there. Hit the like. Drop a comment. Share. Tag Sean Strickland. We need to get him seeing this shit over here. We need to get him seeing the man dance. So go over there. Check it out. Sean Strickland is the main event. And I want you to dance while you listen to this thing. Whether you like it or you dislike it, let me know in the comments section. I see the comments popping up and I appreciate it. And thank you, Sausage, for dropping the man dance. If this is something that you guys like, we will make more of this stuff. If it's not, then I'm just going to move on, of course. So I want to get your comments in that. I want to see what you guys think. The man dance. Let me know. Let me know. The man dance. It's quite the cringy video. So Max Griffin takes an L. We move on to the co-main events. I picked Grant Dawson, and I'm a little nervous about this pick. Uh, Grant Dawson has been on a roll. This is literally a pick'em fight. I thought Demir didn't look great in his last fight, but he did fight Sarukian. So, I mean, listen, that's not a bad guy to lose to. Look at how Sarukians look lately. 
But um, this guy's been talking a lot of smack to Mir, beating other guys, beating Gaethje or whatever, and he's got to worry about his Grant Dawson over here. Grant's tough. 19-1-1, 24-2-0, good records, solid co-main events. I'm looking forward to this by a pick, Dawson, by a decision. Dawson's Creek, let me know in the chat who you have. Co-main event about to go down, and we're going to react to it. Yeah, yes, Trims, tweet him that video. We are at the MMA holes. We are at the MMA holes. Tag us. Tag Sean Strickland. We need to get that out there, guys. Very, very important. The man dance. Get it out there, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Here, I'm doing something here with UFC. Let's see, UFC News. Give me a sec. Okay. Twitter, Twitter is horrible right now. What's going on? Yeah, it's it's usually horrible. What's going on with it? It was glitchy this morning. Here's your scorecards. They scored all three judges scored it exactly like Mystical Moss. We're all on the same page. This kid got the win, man. He looks good. 24 years old. Another young welterweight. You can tell he gets hit a little too much. But we'll see. Gilbert Burns was literally ranked number two ranked contender in welterweight division when Hamzat made weight at 170 to fight him. Gilbert was literally the number two ranked contender. What does that even mean? I don't understand. What? So what is your point? I don't even know. I wouldn't bring up Gilbert Burns because Hamzat had a lot of trouble with Gilbert. That's actually the worst fight to bring up. You know, if you're pro Hamzat, I would steer clear of the Gilbert fight because some people thought Gilbert won. You know, so I would steer clear of that. Oh, here's the kid I won money on. Let's listen to this guy. Let's see what this guy's about. I agree. I, I, I thought the same thing. I can't even describe how I'm feeling. It's an unbelievable... Dude, that's loud. ...believable feeling. I've been dreaming about this for a long time. I Why is it not matching his mouth? ...got in here, and to win my debut with a knockout, it's absolutely incredible. It's my new favorite fighter because he won me money. First of all, it was... I gotta do that when I talk. <laughs> God sent. I knew it from God. Second of all, my coaches, this is what we trained on. This is what we wanted to work on. And they taught me how to do this. And I did the job that they taught me. And that's why I was, I was able to finish in that way. If you're missing it, this guy, oh, if you missed the fight, this guy came in here, opened up the main card. Underdog, six foot five. And uh, just murked the Hulk. That's why I was I was able to finish in that way. Inshallah, I get <clears throat> with God's help. If I get somebody from top 15, each and every single one of them will have problems. I'd love to go back to Uzbekistan, see my parents, and then I'd love to return sometime August, September. Uh, I like this kid. Gotta learn a little English, and we're good to go. You gotta be like, uh, you gotta be like, hey, Nato Moicano. You gotta be like Moicano and learn that English. And you will be a superstar. That's 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 the deal. Oh, Money Moicano's live. Yo, you guys want to raid? You guys, one's in the chat if you want to do a little raiding. Our buddy's live. Let me know one's in the chat if you want to have a little fun here. Do a little raid. Have a little fun. Uh, before we get into the main event. It's true. It's already in effect in Twitter. Limit 600 posts. What? 600 posts per day? You guys want to raid? All right. So we, we just befriended. you. I'm sure you you know who this man is, right? This is Henato Moicano. That's right. The lightweight in the UFC he was just on the show. He's doing a live stream. Let's see what he's doing. He's probably cursing about something. Money, baby. Here's money. Money Moy. Fuck. So I, I knew he was going to be cursing. I knew it. I think it's easy when you fight. All right. So he he's live right now. Money Moicano. But we got... Yo, what the... Yo, he's getting more super chats than us. What? Yo, you guys got to start super chatting. These just... Yo, maybe don't raid this guy. How dare he get more super chats than us? How dare he? Anyway, go raid him. Let's show some love here. Good vibes here. I like Moicano. He's a good dude. I want to say MMA holes love... Money. MMA holes love money. And then when you're done, can you drop a fucking $100 donut over here? MMA holes love money.
Put it in the chat. MMA holes love money. Go help out our friend over here, Money Moicano. He's a good dude, man. Came on. If you missed the interview, jump back. MMA. Uh, that's what you guys spam. MMA holes love money. <sighs> MMA holes love money. Drop it in the chat right now. Drop it in the chat. I'll give him a nice like over here. Fuck my brother. MMA hoes love money. Bash it up. Bash it up. Come on, baby. MMA hoes love money. MMA hoes love money. MMA hoes love money. MMA hoes love money. Drop it in there. He's going to get the takedown. I'm go. telling you, he's going to get the takedown, my friend. Thank you, Dib, for the nice words about the man dance. The greatest song of all time. It's money time, motherfuckers. Let's go. MMA hoes want money. What's up, MMA, MMA hoes? Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Kobe will call the cops on you most likely, my brother. <laughs> MMA hoes love money. Go, 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 go. <laughs> there we go. Nice job, boys. And no, was... the fight not started yet. All right. He's a good man. I like, I like him, man. I like him. He's a nice dude. He's a really nice dude. You don't like him, Theo. Why? Listen, the guy learned English 2019. 2019. Now, now feel free to drop that $100 super chat. Now, all right, here we go. Let's get ready for this fight over here. Is Magalov versus Grant Dawson? That's coming up next. I picked Dawson for the dub. Dub Dawson for the win. We're going to give you the play by play. But is Magalov could very well get this. He's looking to bounce back after a tough loss against Sarukian. Who do you have in the chat? Gene Richards is saying the judges are stoned. Hinato's great. He is, man. He's a good man. He's a good man. Uh, is that some quality content? Are you not entertained? All right. Spread some love here. You know? Do some nice things around here. <laughs> Why is sausage... <laughs> <laughs> Did... <laughs> Hold on a second. Imagine oh, okay. I thought I thought he tried. <laughs> I was laughing. All right, we're good with the, we're good with the raid. The raid's over. His smile. Uh, how do you not know Adams are Catholic? Answer is, they have a mask. What? What are you saying? Who are you picking? Who are you picking in this next fight? Who are you picking? White names are easy to pronounce. I agree. They are well, not all of them. Post press, you want to do the post press conference? I don't know how many people want to do that. I don't know. Maybe we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We've been live for five hours here. Dawson by decision. I concur. I concur. I picked Dawson by decision. Dawson with the wow, a lot of Dawson's in the chat. All right, can we do something here? Okay. Listen, 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 guys. With 600 pushing 700 people in here, we have 500 likes. We're looking for 777. We need some help here. Can you do me a solid chat? Can you do me a big, thick favor? I want the thickest favor in the world. We need a like spike right now. If everyone just hits that like button at the exact same time, YouTube has no choice but to shove us into that algorithm. So right now, chat, let's get it popping. Welcome to the show. Tonight on the MMA Holes, an extravaganza. Ground and Mr. Moss, the King of the Dragons, and JBM, the Queen of the Dragons. We are ready to... I want you to hit the like button so hard. I want you to hit it so hard. I want, to, I want you to hit it like War Machine hits his wife. Hit it into high gear tonight. The fights have begun. Like Chris Brown beats up Rihanna. The fight. The fight. The fight. Like, come on, the get right Get it. 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 Get it's about to go nuts. You guys pumped in the chat, baby? You pumped up? Let me see. What are you saying in the chat? Who wins? How fired up are you? Tonight on the MMA Holes, let's 
destroy the internet. We're beating everyone in the ratings. Let's take it to the next Pookin level. Come on. Subscribe to the channel. I want you to beat this like button like Sean Strickland's going to beat up a bus with jabs for five rounds straight. Unleash the dragons. You're dropping the likes. And begin. Let's go. The left, the right hand to the side of the head. Another Come right. On. A left, another left. The body shot. Two drills into the belly. Coming forward with jabs. Coming in hot here. Going in for the takedown. Shoots flip and takes him down. Dick to dick from the top. He gets back up and he eats a flurry of shots. Oh, oh, oh. Commentary in the business. Yeah, Fire. welcome to the MMA holes. Thank you for the likes. All right, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We can keep it going here. Make sure if you see someone in the chat and you think they did not hit that like button, I want you to bully them. I want you to bully them in the chat and say, yo, hit the like button and be wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the co-main events. And let's give you the tale of the tape. Is Magalov 5'10? Dawson 5'10. 156 for both boys. Identical. 32 years of age for Ismagalov. Dawson 29. 72 inch reach for Dawson. 74 for Ismagalov. Orthodox Ismagalov. Dawson. Switch hitter. Okay, chat. Having a good time. Hopefully you're having some fun as well. We're reacting to UFC Vegas number 76. It's the co-main event. Invite all your friends over. Let's do, we're going to do the man dance very soon. The man dance is going to go down. And it's going to be glorious. It's going to be wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Is it true that McGregor tested positive for PEDs today? Not that I've seen. Sneak up on that like button. Hit it. I want you to do that, baby. Beat it. Why isn't Ariel Hawani looking in your back window? He drowned. He's he drowned. Gondo ate him. Gondo ate him and spit out his corpse into the the lake behind me. All right, here we go. Round one's about to get started. Co-main event. Thank you for stopping by. Dawson versus Ismagalov. Big fight for Ismagalov. Can't can't afford to go two in a row here with L's. Okay. Thank you for the like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. It's Magalov 12, Dawson 15. This is a big fight for the number 15th ranked Grant Dawson. So is Magalov bouncing in and out as Dawson looking for a way to engage with that left. Good footwork by Ismagalov. Here comes Dawson shooting him for a takedown. Thought that was going to happen, but stop by Ismagalov. Kick to the body by Dawson. Dawson backs up as Magalov moves in. Zmogolov looking to land the right, but Dawson fires back with a left of his own. Grant Dawson looking to go forward, then backs up as Magalov looking to cut him off. Is Magalov with the punch to the body misses? Dawson trying for the kick misses. Double jab, Dawson misses. Dawson trying for the head kick misses. Is Magalov showing some very good footwork? Is Magalov zaps him with a right hand? Is Magalov very bouncy with his stance and approach, in and out with his striking attempts, but a lot of swinging and missing going on here. As Dawson is four for seventeen, Dawson going for a single on his Magalov. Ismagalov fighting it, and Dawson gets it. Two legs, scoops him up. Ismagalov is still trying to hold on to the backside to stop Dawson for solidifying this takedown, but it's official. It's in the books, and Dawson trying to flatten out Ismagalov. Beautiful job by Dawson. The wrestling, getting Ismagalov down to the ground, and now Dawson scooting up on one leg. Grant Dawson, who has been on fire, throwing the left in there. I tell you what. The way Grant Dawson has been, yo, performing at lightweight, and if his grappling, yo, he's a problem. Grant Dawson looking to put the hook in, and he's got it there. This is a pick em fight with Dawson on the backside. Is Magalov already in a lot of trouble, and Dawson's hunting for the neck. Yo, Dawson might get this. Dawson is looking for the choke. Is Magalov is fighting it off. Dawson locks up, solidifies the back control, and is trying to loosen up the chin here as Magalov is fighting hands. Dawson's got a tight lock around the body of his Magalov, and his Magalov's like, damn, how did I get myself into this? Dawson keeps on readjusting his lock around the body. Now opts to put a hook in between plus the lock around the waist. 
Hammer fist by Dawson. Is Magalov keeping his arms up high? And wow, man, as Magalov eats an elbow to the side of the head. Let's see what his Magalov can do here. Can he spin in inside this guard? He's going to go for it. It's the risk you take with that lock around the waist. As Magalov wants to spin, Dawson keeps on adjusting. And Dawson's like covering the mouth. He's trying to do everything he can to get this neck. But is Magalov doing a great job fighting the hands? Is Magalov trying to fight the hands and spin inside the guard? 2.15 left in the first round. A lot of ground activity here with Dawson in control. Is Magalov keeping those hands very high, holding on to the wrists? And Dawson cannot even get close to his submission. Good defense by Ismagalov. Real good defense. As Dawson is completely controlling the backside. Now two minutes of control time here for Dawson. Dawson, he's out of top team. Yeah, he is out of top team. So this is another Coconut Creek guy. Top team's got some gym, man. Bunch of sag. I'm assuming Mike, Brown Mike Brown's in the corner. I didn't see his walkout. So 700 people watching. Hit that like button. Spike it up right now. I appreciate that very much. Everyone that hits the like button goes straight to heaven. Or whatever you believe in. Now Dawson goes for the neck again. His Magalov looks like he's still defending this, but his, everything's covered up. I can't really see if he's got a tight grab on this. It's under the arms. So it's not quite a... It's, not, it's more of a hug than an actual choke. Dawson looking frustrated here. As Magalov, is Magalov having great defense, but Dawson just... Adding up control time. Now we're cruising into three minutes. As Umagalov rolls around, Dawson is just looking for that neck. He's hunting. As Magalov still fighting him off. Now Dawson goes to the mount. As Magalov gives up the back quickly. He's like, I don't want that smoke. Man, Dawson is dominating on the ground. The problem is he's not landing much. Oh, there it is. There's the damage. Right hand's coming in by Dawson. That's what he's got to do. There it is. More rights are coming in. Lefts. And as Magalov is eating a beating here. Left hands are coming in by Dawson again. Cruising to a 10-8 here as his Magalov is just getting completely dominated. 32 seconds left. And Dawson trying to adjust here. Controlling his Magalov on the ground. Hits him with a hammer fist. Gets on the back. Tries to flatten him out. Right hand's coming in by Dawson. Right hand's hammer fisting into the side of the head of his Magalov. Dawson is beating the fuck out of his Magalov. His Magalov's trying to roll into the guard, but Dawson too strong. Just pulls him right back down. 10 seconds left in the first round. Oof. Lopsided. Absolutely lopsided. So Dawson, the pick that I had, looking pretty good so far. As we are one in the books. Woo! That was a tough round for his Magalov. Mighty tough. Mighty, mighty tough. Da 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 na na. Da na na da da da. So is Magalov. Versus Dawson going down right now. We are in the co-main events. So far, my main card actually looks pretty good with predictions. No, actually, no. I got, what, two right, two wrong. No, two right. Hold on. Actually, I got one right, two wrong. No, two right, two wrong. Yeah, so I'm 500 on the main card. Hopefully, Dawson gets the dub. And Sean Strickland gets the dub. We finish strong. But, um, yeah, solid first round for Dawson. Listen, it's not over. That's just one in the books. An armpit fart? You got to pay to hear it. I haven't done an armpit fart in years. <laughs> you got to pay for the fart. I was 13 seconds from winning 500 on that bomb. Oh, my God, dude. Ouch. I'm assuming it was a prop, right? Was it a prop or a parlay? Would you have a decision or some shit? No, oh, wait. Hold on a second. I was in the wrong round. Second round. Here we go. Second round going down here. All right, I'm going to sync up the clock. I'm going to sync it up. 443. 434. Okay, 432. We'll sync it up here. Let's see if Ismogolov could bounce back here. Well, Ismogolov showing some good striking now as he's created some damage on Dawson's face early in the second round. Ismogolov very quick, and there he zaps in another right hand. Oh, left by Ismogolov, left by Dawson. Oh, Dawson gets popped by two zingers. Ismogolov to the face, rocking the head back of Dawson. Okay, we got to fight. Oh, no, Dawson going for the takedown. Ismogolov about to take a ride. Dawson lifts him, 
and puts him down ever so softly as Ismagalov grabs the hips of Dawson. So Dawson could not slam him. Ismagalov held on to the backside and says, wait, hold on. Hold on. Don't dump me down so quick. So Ismagalov making it very difficult. As Dawson does get a takedown here, Ismagalov is just looks like he wants to give him an oil check. And Ismagalov is looking to, wow, rolling around Dawson. There, <laughs> We got more pretzel activity here. We got a weird like reverse 69 going on. And Dawson looking to get the top position on Ismagalov. Ismagalov trying to hold on to the hips and waist and the uh, legs of Dawson. Trying to just tie him up. And Dawson looking to scoop up two. Two legs here. Ismagalov still holding on to the backside of Dawson. Ismagalov being very tricky. And Dawson's barking about something here. Yo, Ismagalov is holding on to Dawson's ass and trying to stop Dawson from getting on top. It's hilarious, actually, to watch. And now Dawson is trying to separate him. Dawson goes for the back, gets it. Dawson's got the back. Oh, Ismagalov is breaking down, baby. Dawson now has Ismagalov down on the mat on top of the monster logo. And the grappling continues. Oh, boy, Grant Dawson. And a pick -em fight is dominating. So on the feet, he was getting pieced up a little bit in a second. Dawson gets it right back down to the ground. And now Ismagalov is in trouble. Grant hits him with a couple of right hands on a temple to loosen up the arms. He's looking for a choke. 225 left. Locks around the waist. Let's see where this goes. A big mouthful of noodles. Man, oh man. 763. Hit the like button if you haven't hit it yet. We have Dawson on the backside of his Mogolov. Two minutes and three seconds left. Dawson hunting once again for a neck. And his Mogolov is playing defense here. We're under two. His Mogolov is hitting him with some elbows to the thigh to try to loosen up Dawson. But Dawson's still controlling the backside. He's looking for the neck again. He hits him right on the temple with the right. He's looking. And he was thinking about going over the chin. But his Mogolov is still fighting off the hands. 138. Next fight is main. Next fight will be Sean Strickland versus Abus. Magomedov. Mm, 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 mm. Dawson's still locked around the body. Now Dawson flips him around. Still has the back, but has a Magal is Magalov on his knees. And Dawson looks for the neck again. Is Magalov defends. Fighting the hands and wrists of Dawson. Dawson pulls him right back down. And still has the backside. The whole time, control time now almost seven minutes. Dawson's still going for, oh man, he's going for a submission again. He's over the chin still. Is Magalov pushes on the elbow, separates. Smogolov playing defense, eats another one on the temple, right hand to the temple. Dawson just trying to break him down. And as Magalov finds himself in another nightmare round. 40 seconds. Now we are, have hit the seven minute mark of control time. Domination Dawson. Easy pick. Easy pick. Wow. I should have placed money on Dawson. Damn. The wrestling of Dawson has just been the the difference in this fight. He was having a little problems on the feet. His Magalov's trying to spin into the guard. There's 15 seconds left. But his Magalov can't do anything here. He's just stuck. Oh, boy. There's an elbow by Dawson. Dawson's just trying to get to that neck again. But his Magalov playing defense, and we're going to see a third round. We're going to see a third round, yeah. Okay, two in the books. It's not pretty, but it is very dominating by Dawson. What do you guys think in the chat? What do you think? Are you enjoying this? Uh, super chat. B-Man dropping na na san. Thank you, B-Man. Trying to, were you trying to get the armpit? I'm trying to get the armpit? Uh, I'll give you a 99 cent one. Uh, I I like the ground and pound. I'd argue that first round was 10-8. I think the first round was 10-8. Second one, 10-9. But, um, damn, man. He's almost at eight minutes of control time. This is stupid. I got Dawson and over two and a half rounds. This dude needs to survive the first half and the next round. And your boy is paid. You're, you're looking good. He will survive. Ismagalov is a tough son of a bitch. He'll survive. Plus, he's going to probably land on the feet to make it tricky. 
So, yeah, I think you're good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Here we go. Get ready for the final round of the co-main event. We got Strickland versus Maga Madoff next. I'm curious. I'm curious to see people. There are a lot of people picking Maga Madoff, which is shocking me. Let me. I'll go to the um, community section in a second with our poll. But it is it is weird, man. Zmogolov needs a finish. He doesn't even need to pick it up. He needs to finish Grant. He needs to flatline Dawson. And Dawson shoots him for the takedown. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is Magalov on one leg? And there it is. It's over. It's over. Holy shit. Okay, now you need in your bet. Okay. Hold on for dear life as Magalov gets taken down quickly. I thought that Magalov would be able to do a little bit more work on the feed here. Nope. Oh, boy. Four. <laughs> the entire third round. Dawson has to finish this man. We are right back on the ground. The fight is over. I mean, the question is, does it go to a decision or can Dawson finally break him? And if you do have that bet, good luck. Here we go. I'm rooting for you. Dawson, like, working the full Nelson here. <laughs> you don't see that much. I'm trying to, trying to. <laughs> oh, man, he's tying up the arms of his Magalov. His Magalov is just all, his hands are behind his head. Dawson's holding on to it. He's got the lock around the body. And, uh, you know, his Magalov is just in a very uncomfortable... Yo, imagine he throws in the full Nelson and finishes him with the full Nelson. Dude, imagine. <laughs> Grant Dawson by full Nelson. <clears throat> no, I know what you're saying. I, I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying here. But I'm saying the two options here for where, how this fight's going to go down is either a finish or... Decision for Dawson. Is Magalov has zero chance of winning this thing. Maybe he tries a spin inside that guard. Not happening. Dawson's got a tight lock around there. And he's just working on the submission. Just breaking his Magalov. If this is a five round fight, five round fight, there's no possible way his Magalov could survive all this. Boston Craig, the Roy Nelson. A full Nelson finish would be an easy 100k point. <laughs> Was there ever a full Nelson? <laughs> oh, God. That'd be hilarious. Or submission by Indian Burn. That'd be great. Indian Burn? What about that? You, you don't see enough of that. <clears throat> His fight has everything. Full Nelson, 69 positions. <laughs> Oh my god. So here we go. We're 210 in. We're past the halfway point. And is Magalov is just trying to stay alive. He's just elbowing the thigh to try to loosen up Dawson, but Dawson just wants the neck. Oh boy. The camel clutch, the illegal wedgie. Yeah, it's 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 a done deal, man. This is a very lopsided grappling performance by Dawson. Like I said, it's not pretty. Three rounds of control time. We're we're pushing eleven minutes now of it, and Dawson is a he's a tough grappler, man. He's tough. I I don't listen. Dawson's a problem. This dude is a he's a fucking problem, and you know what? He's an American problem. I like it. American grappling problem at lightweight, fighting the biggest fight of his career. Beat Madsen. Beat Gordon. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to look at some of the other notable fights. Minner. Well, Minner's not in the UFC anymore. Mike Trezano, Julian Arosa. He beat some okay guys. Man, I would like to see Dawson versus like a... a Nirma, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, versus uh, Islam. You know? He sucks at subs. Here's the thing. Is Magalov... Think about this. Uh, Sarukian couldn't finish his Magalov. His Magalov is not an easy guy to fucking finish. What Dawson is doing right now... So, Dawson doing this... Listen, it's not fun. But to do this on his Magalov, a guy with... Uh, what was his record? 24-2-0. Dawson Sarukian is interesting. That is interesting. I kind of see a lot of the same shit happening, but... I think Sarukin can get out of these positions. 
Sarukin's got pretty good grappling. How does it go? Like, listen, I'm not saying Dawson's a champ, but oh, here we go. Is Magalov spinning into the guard? He finally got with three seconds left. Is Magalov spun inside the guard just too late? Holy shit. So hugging was the difference as Grant Dawson just out grappled his Magalov. Like I said, it wasn't pretty, but he did get the job done. Beat a guy with a very impressive resume. And a fight that was a pick -em, dominated. Absolutely dominated. Strickland getting finished. Bro, you on crack. You on crack. Strickland getting finished. Strickland buying a Hellcat. Dude, I always wanted a Hellcat. Now I kind of lost the interest for it. I guess ever since I had my second kid, I'm like, I just want, I want a golf cart now to zip around my neighborhood. Most control time in a three-round fight. I mean, that's pretty close, right? 12 minutes out of 15. That's nuts. 12-24 in 15 minutes. That might be a record. Has there any ever been a fight that's... I bet... I don't know. I don't know. It's minivan time. We do need a bigger vehicle. But I want a pickup truck. I do want that. I want to go full redneck. Eventually, I want to get a pickup truck. I want to get a pickup truck and a golf cart. So I could zip around the neighborhood with my golf cart and then the pickup truck when I want to be a man. Hellcats get stolen anyways. They're beautiful. Beautiful cars. I think um, one of our old subscribers bought a Hellcat. He was like a big donator. And uh, got himself a Hellcat. <laughs> keep, keep commenting on our Sean Strickland song. Yo, 800 people. Go to the Sean Strickland song. Like, comment, share it. Tag Sean Strickland. Let's get that shit out there. Let's get that. Let's let's work, baby. Wow, Dawson just murked him. Unanimous decision. Grant Dawson gets the win. Gets the win. How do you tip? You could either hit that little money icon, the super chat, or you could hit Streamlabs. Streamlabs in our description. We have a whole jukebox full of songs if you'd like to donate and support our program. Right now, Roberto Hernandez is the $50 top Fukin dog. Will he stay there, though? That is the question. With one more fight, will he stay there? I thank everyone that has donated to the chat. I thank everyone that is a member of the chat. I really appreciate you guys for helping us do this full time on YouTube. It's pretty cool. Wouldn't be here without you guys. I want a pickup and a trailer. I want like like two extremes. I want the pickup truck. And then I want a fucking golf cart. <laughs> I want to go two extremes. If I want to be a gay lord, got the golf cart. If I want to be a man, I jump in my pickup truck. Oh, yes, it does, Tetranova. That's what everyone here says in Arizona. They say, if I have a pickup truck, I'm a man. That's, that's what they say. Even the women driving it. This is the first girlfriend Strong Son Strickland has cheated on. Hasn't cheated on. What? Strickland by decision. All right. So here's the deal. Thank you, Little Seal, for the uh, dropping the Streamlabs in there. Our Nightbot, I don't know what happened. He's linked up, but he just, like, he's he, he retired, I guess. I don't have no idea. So, yeah, that, that does hurt our Streamlabs donations. So click that Streamlabs donation. We have all different songs. Some people can't find our description, I guess. I have no idea. They're like, where's the description? It's under our video. If you can't find it, so say you're watching the stream, right? Say you're you're watching the stream. Okay, and you scroll underneath the video. You see this? You just expand this over here underneath the video, and there it is. There's our jukebox. We got from the $2 wonderful, wonderful donation all the way up to a fucking massive, powerful 1K donation. Guys, we've had on our channel, we've had a 2K plus donation come in on our channel. It's been nuts. 1K, you not only rename the studio, but you get your face <laughs> on this scrolling thing over here. So when you see these random pictures on the MMA Holes Wall of Fame, no matter how long our channel's around, if you drop a fucking 1K bomb, you'll be immortalized on the MMA Holes Wall of Fame 
And you can see myself and Mystic uh, and uh, JBM on here. You could also see the Hearns on here who's dropped the 1K. You could find the high score King Sinosi on here as well. And the immortal Michael Anzalone. So that's with that 1K donation. But anyway, we have all crazy donations over here. All different prices if you like to support the show. Jukebox full of songs in our description down below. Now before we get to Sean Strickland's fight. Before we get into that fight. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this for you guys because we're about to witness. We're about to witness something beautiful. We're about to witness something that Sean Strickland calls the man dance. That's right, friends. The man dance is about to go down. This is the greatest song of all time. On YouTube. And I want you guys to fucking get fired up in that chat. If you're ready for the man dance, hit the fucking like button. Here we go. So, here's the thing, you guys. He's a good looking dude. He shot on me a couple times. That was weird. Might as well get some brain damage, you know, do a little, do a little man dance. <laughs> video give it a like share it to Sean Strickland this should be his walkout song and speaking of walkouts a bus is is making his way to the octagon the apex going crazy with all four people in the building apparently Mel Gibson is there which is interesting and wonderful 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 I picked Sean by a decision and uh so far three wins how many? Three wins and two losses on the main card. We're about to go four wins and two losses, but it doesn't matter with me here. I am already up plus money on my bets. What matters is goat milk. So let's go over there. Goat milk right now. We have a very close game, and Ronge Capper is in first place with the 555, uh, 550 points. Here we go. The MMAholes.com goat milk. Good luck to Ronge Capper. Who did Ronge Capper pick? He picked. 
Strickland by a decision. That's exactly what I picked. It looks like Ronge is going to win. Uh, Strickland by decision. It looks like Ronge is going to win. Strickland by knockout. Fourth round. Uh, you, you have a chance. The man chance. Strickland by decision. All right, yeah, Ronge is probably going to win. Most likely, Ronge is going to win this fight. Someone actually picked Strickland by knockout. What the fuck? The hell? Knockout. Okay, who are we picking here? A bus or Strickland? I think the real question is, will it be a decision or a finish? Sean's about to walk out to the man dance. Sean needs to walk out to that song. I mean, it ha it has to happen. It's very, I mean, it's very important. And 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 is surgeon in the chat. I picked the German Russian by a sub. Wow. Okay, so Sean Strickland's about to make his walk. By the way, if you're new to the program, if you're new to the program, my name is Chris Mystic Moss, King of the Dragons. And I'll be giving you the play-by-play -play for this fight that's going to go down right now. You're going to see the live statisticals. You're going to see the damage appear on the bodies of the fighters as the fight progresses throughout the five rounds, if it goes that long. You'll also see the round and the time of where the round is at above the fighters. And Sean Strickland with a very dramatic walk, trying to control his emotions through the cage, I mean through the hallway. And I'm curious, where does Sean go in this spot? Does he start thinking about when his dad was beating the fuck out of him? Like, I wonder if he has to go to that dark place to fight. Or is it a whole different mentality? He does look pretty calm. You got Chris Curtis in the background. You don't really see Chris Curtis cornering Sean much. You see Sean in Chris's corner, but you don't really see Curtis in Sean's corner. So, interesting choice over here. Sean, he's got Eric Nixick as well from Extreme Couture. I think he could be in play for one of the best coaches out there. He's got a really sick gym, man. A Nick sick gym. <laughs> anyway. What a song. I can't even hear a song. What, what song is he playing? It's definitely not the man dance. It should be the man dance, but it's not. Sean's going night, night inside too. Wow, man. 10 wins by knockout, Sean Strickland. He does have finishes on his resume, but he has 26 wins, right? So those knockouts are few and far between. Stoltzfus got finished by a front kick by a bus. And then he had a submission before the UFC. He fought in PFL, lost by a knockout. This could be an interesting fight. This fight is at middleweight. Of course, Sean Strickland used to be a welterweight back in the day. Not anymore. So we got a relatively unknown. I mean, if you're not familiar with PFL, I mean, you're probably not familiar with Magomedov. So this guy over here making his sex, second UFC fight, his sexy UFC fight, against a ranked Sean Strickland. <laughs> Spinning back full Nelson. That's a pretty good prediction. That's a pretty good prediction right there. He jerks off to that. You think he jerks off to the beating that his father used to give him? It's possible. All right, here we go. My bookie, tale of the tape. Sean Strickland, 6-1, 6-2, Magomedov. Both guys coming in, 186. Both guys coming in at an age of 32. The reach of Magomedov, 78-inch reach. Sean got that 76 reach. Orthodox, both fighters. So Magomedov, a slightly bigger, slightly longer. And then everything else is pretty much the same. Significant strikes per minute. Was it significant strikes LPM? What, what is the LPM? I don't even know what that is. Lands per minute? Is that what it is? 22 versus 5? Ouch. Well, then again, Sean has experience in the UFC. So, give him a pass. Sean is going to jab the hell out of him. I should, you know, I should have put jab in that song. The man dance song. There should have been more jabs in that song. I should have put that in there. You know you learn. You live, you learn. Drop the jabs in the chat. Jab, 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 jab. We should make a Sean Strickland emoji that just says jab. It's ironic that he was against the uh, vaccine because all he does is jab.
Wonderful, wonderful. All right, here we go. Round one's about to get going. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to see a fight here. Does a bush shock the world? He's a plus 125 underdog against Sean Strickland. Dun, 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 dun. I'm starting to question my pick, but I really don't like Strickland. And that front kick from Magomedov is fresh in my mind. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Jab, 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 jab. So Sean being announced right now, he's giving himself a little pop in the face. They're showing the crowd, and there's like four people in there with Hawaiian shirts. Abus looking scary, man. Yo, Abus is like, he's giving him the look. They touch gloves. See, this is the thing. Like, Sean, when it comes down to it, it's just about the man dance, you know? Just about It's just about the man dance. He has his respect. He touches gloves. He's not about that trash talk and all that crazy stuff. He just, like, well, I mean, he talks trash, but it's in a unique way. All right, round one's about to get started. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Right now, hit the like button. Round one. Let's begin. 777 is the like goal. We have 900 people watching. Let's get to that point over there. Bash that like button. As some leg kicks are starting out by Magomedov. Sean Strickland has that hand waving around by his chin. Throws in the left. And Magomedov looping in. Magomedov with a kick towards the body on Strickland. Leg kick by Magomedov. Magomedov looking pretty flowy here in eye poke. What the fuck? Sean was poked in the eye. Let's stop it. Magomedov looked like he was going to pounce on him. And Strickland got poked in the eye. So you got his teammate, two headbutts in a row in his fight. And then you got a fucking eye poke here. As Sean Strickland walks back and forth. I want to see the poke before we play the song. And yep, yep, that goes right in his eye. That was an eye poke. Okay. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Not again. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Come on. Okay, all right. Usually, usually I celebrate that song. You know, it's such a great song. But um, this eye poke, uh, Sean's still trying to shake it off. It was, it was almost knuckle deep, deep poke. It's like this is fucking stupid. I, I hate eye pokes. I can't stand them. Um, and it's just like it's so dangerous. So you know, you want a fighter to make sure he's good. Sean Strickland's a tough son of a bitch. He's pacing back and forth. But when your fucking finger goes knuckle deep with a finger, fingernail attached to it, we're, we have, we're 155 in. They're checking out Sean. He's pacing back and forth. Oh, God damn it, man. Could you imagine they stopped this shit? Oh, my God. Sean is having problems seeing out of his eye. Oh, my God. Take all five minutes, dude. Take all five minutes. They're saying you got to be very careful. It's true. Like, Sean's got to be careful because if he says something negative, they could just stop the fight right here. Um, listen, that was a pretty bad eye poke. Sean's going to fight with one fucking eye. He says he's good. I, I guarantee Sean is... Ah, oh, fucking hell. I don't like this. I don't like this. So, Sean says he's good. I think he's foolish. I think he's lying. I think he's lying. Honestly, he, how do you say, hey, I'm blurry, and then all of a sudden I'm good? I think Sean's full of shit. Fucking hell, dude. You don't want a guy fighting injured. But here we go. Abus is coming in with those kicks. That front kick by Abus. 
the chat was saying they were nervous about. So here we are. We're in the first round of action. Nice leg kick by Abus again. Sean trying to move in on him. And there goes the Sean Strickland jab. Abus with the leg kicks. Abus very flowy, and he's doing a really good job with those leg kicks, making it difficult for Sean to engage. Abus comes in with the right and left, showing good footwork, steps away, good head movement. Sean throws the jab out there again. Sean loves that jab. That's his, that's his bread and butter. Whoa. See, Abus now is getting Sean to drop his hands. Dude, that head kick. Oh, boy. Abus might be setting this shit up. The way Sean's moving those hands around, I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully, he keeps on covering that chin. Whoa, there's the hook by Abus just missing. Good head move by Sean. Abus having a good first round. Pushing the kick forward on Sean, mixing it up nicely. Sean's trying to take his time here. As this is a five-round fight. Sean's threatening to throw the jab out there, but he's very realistic of the power of Abus. Not going too crazy. 3.15 left. I hear Jesse screaming with the baby. <laughs> like, a good scream. It actually sounds pretty funny. There's a kick to the, the uh, leg by a bus coming in. Magomedov. Magomedov unranked fighting number seven. It's a crazy matchup. It's crazy dangerous for a guy like Sean to take. An unranked guy like this. But a bus is doing pretty good. He's starting off very well. He is winning this round. He's up 15 to 2 in strikes. Mixing up very nicely. And Sean just retaliating with jabs. Nice right and left again. A bus. There's a counter right hand by Sean. Sean hits him with the jab again. Sean loves that jab. There's an outside leg kick by Abus. Magomedov backs up as Sean moves in. There's another leg kick by Magomedov. Magomedov mixing it up beautifully. Sean eats the right and left leg kick coming in by Magomedov again. <laughs> Sean, I, I hope his eye is okay, man. I really do. I hope he's not trying to you know tough it out and fight with one freaking eye. He seems to be fine. As he swipes away a body shot by Abus, he throws the jab out there. Sean moving forward, Abus backing up. Sean trying to pressure him with the right, but he's not landing. He's 5 for 27 with his strikes, Strickland is. Abus backing up, and that jab keeps landing by Sean. Makes the nose a little red of Abus. Abus hits him with that leg kick. Abus all over the place with the strikes, right? Left to the body, leg kicks, coming upstairs. Working Sean all, Sean all different angles, but more body and leg. What's he got with the Ted? Uh, head 10 landing to the head. I mean 10, 2, excuse me. 2 to the head. Abus missing with that left hand blocked by Sean. Then there's the front kick by Magomedov. Magomedov to the body again. There's the head kick. See? <sighs> Oof. That, that grazes off the chin. Now he shoots him for a takedown on Sean. Sean hits him with the underhook. Magomedov looking for that takedown, trying to trip down the legs. He gets him. He gets Sean. Sean's down to the ground here. Magomedov looking for the choke. And Sean's slowly trying to get back up as Magomedov is hanging off the backside. Sean is trying to fight the hands, and he looks up at the clock. Sean looks to roll inside the guard. He does. He's on the knees back up. Magomedov wraps around the waist. Sean unhooks the seatbelt lock, spins around. We reset. And there goes the jab by Strickland. Strickland finally checks a leg kick, and that looked like it actually hurt Magomedov. Kind of limps backwards, so good check by Sean. So Sean with a little downloadable round here, but Magomedov definitely gets round one. No question. 35 seconds left. And Sean fi found his way back up. Sean's working on that jab again. I like the way Sean's finishing this round, though. There it is again. Sean's going back to his things. So Magomedov was trying everything in that first round. He's winning this round. But Sean stayed very patient here. So everything that Magomedov has, and now Sean knows what he's dealing with. Throwing that jab out there. And this is what Sean does, right? Just spams the jab. And that's backing up Magomedov. Magomedov having trouble. It almost looks like Magomedov got tired there with that exchange. He does land that left hand. Sean moves forward. Sean's aggressive. Okay. So, a couple of things to talk about here. Magomedov wins round one. Okay? With that being said, I see uh, Abus looks gassed. Yes. That little exchange and all that activity in the beginning of the fight, well... It looks like it might have lowered the gas tank of a bus. And Sean just kept on peppering the jab, moving forward, reading, making the nose a little red. You don't want to keep on walking into that same punch, right? Sean's actually looked better towards the end of the round. So we'll see where that takes us. But a bus, Maga Madoff definitely has one for sure. So the checking out Sean between rounds, he opts to stand as usual. 
Okay. Chris Curtis barking some advice to him, but uh, Abu started really strong. I noticed where things started to change is when Sean started checking the leg kicks and Abu kind of bounced back and he definitely did not like that. So it did seem like Sean was just trying to feel out what Abu was going to bring to him. And now here we go, getting ready for the second round. Credit to the uh, German, though, or the Russian, whatever you want to call him, the Russian German. Magomedov, because he actually had a pretty solid round there. Think about it. He's fighting the number, what, seventh ranked uh, middleweight of the UFC. That's that's impressive. It's impressive. So Magomedov, like, jumping out of his skin here, throwing that left hand, and Sean just goes back to the jab. <laughs> Sean loves that jab. There's the right hand by Sean backing up. Magomedov, he knows he popped him nicely. Magomedov on his back foot. And here comes Sean. Sean's coming in very aggressive. And Magomedov looking very nervous out there as he's backing up and Sean's keeping the pressure. So Sean started off playing possum in the first. And he's japping him with that left hand again. The right coming in. Sean's looking into brawl. Magomedov swoops him aside, resets. Sean's got to keep, keep on him now. He's got to use that pressure as Magomedov does fire back with a nice right hand there. Sean stays on him. He's just slinging those rights and lefts towards the face of Magomedov. Okay, we got an interesting fight now. Very interesting fight going on here. Is this thing broken? Hold on a second. Hold on a second here. I'll check it later. So with 3.39 on the clock, Sean moving in, and there's a nice flurry by Strickland again. Magomedov resets to the other side as Sean stays on him. Nice left hand by Magomedov from off the fence. Sean not even phased. Moves in with the jab to right. Sean using volume again. Something he does very well. The one is coming into the face of Magomedov, and Magomedov, which was working in the beginning, not so much. I think a couple of those jabs that busted onto the nose really got the attention of Magomedov, and now he's... He's crumbling under the pressure of Sean as Sean's working him against the fence. Nice left hand by Magomedov. And Magomedov's mouth is dropped open a little bit here. And Sean's staying on him. 1-1-2. One, one, right hand, left, body shot, lefts again. Wow, Magomedov. Sean is looking for a kill here. We are in the second round. And Sean's kind of with the finishing walk forward. Magomedov's trying to shove him away. And I don't think Magomedov could eat more of this stuff. Sean is really coming in. Let's see what Magomedov is made of. The left hands, the, the constant pressure of Strickland moving in. Strickland's not even showing any damage on the face as Magomedov is just eating shots over and over again. The whole momentum has swung in the second round. Sean with his good job with the defense taken down. Oh, nice right hand by Strickland. Left and right again by Strickland. Volume coming in some more. Magomedov huffing and puffing. Backs up, and this is what I thought the fight was going to look like. Yeah, Sean is just beating him up now. Magomedov is stumbling across the fence. This is why Magomedov doesn't even belong in the UFC. Sean is flurrying, and Magomedov punches with a left from off the cage. Sean is really putting pressure on. But Sean's got the pillow hands. <laughs> Sean's pillow... I don't know what it is though. Like when he's straining, he's like su when he's training, he's like Superman. But for some reason, when he's under the big lights, he can hit you with 400 shots. And for some reason, people don't drop. Magomedov is huffing and puffing, and Sean's hitting him with the kitchen sink, hitting him like a punching bag. And Magomedov just stumbles over to the other side. He's nodding over to the ref. I guess the ref is telling him he's got to fight back. Magomedov hits him with his body shot, but Sean is just beating on him. <laughs> Yo, man. Magomedov has turned into Bob the Dummy, the punch dummy. And Strickland is just letting him go here. Magomedov backing up. He's looking up at the clock. 113 left. We're in the second round. Magomedov trying for a head kick. He's just gassed and Sean moving in. Sean's kind of huffing a little bit too here. But not as much as Magomedov as he's landing strikes, lefts and rights. He's just head hunting the whole time. Magomedov just throws a wild left hand, resets to the other side of the cage. Sean stays on him. 53 seconds left, and Sean's just walking. Oh, he dropped him. Sean dropped him. He's down. Sean's looking for a finish. Can Strickland get a finish? Oh, my God. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? The ground and pound of Strickland. 
The ref looks and he steps in. Sean Strickland does it. He does it. He finally gets a finish against Maga Madoff. Oh my God. I can't even believe. I can't even believe, man. When we put that poll up and it was almost 50-50, people thinking Maga Madoff was going to win this fight. Baffles the hell out of me. When they made this fight, when they made this fight, we we're like, this is a complete lopsided mess. Maga Madoff had a great first round, but gassed in the second. So many casuals. Sean Strickland for the win. Carnage. A finish. Finish. In the second round. Carnage. Lick the carnage. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage. Make babies with carnage. Play Wait. jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Wow. Run post to the carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the carnage. Celebrate the carnage. Sean gets it done. Wow. Magomedov just blew his load in the first. And I don't even know how he did it. It's like he went for one. <laughs> Eric Mixick pointing at the camera. <laughs> Celebrating in the corner. Um, yeah, Magomedov. Uh, what's it called? Yo, Sean Strickland is shocked that he finished someone. The look on. <laughs> Yo, stick around. We're going to listen to the. Oh, my God. Sean Strickland literally looked like he won the Super Bowl. He can't even believe his eyes. As he lifts his arms in celebration, Strickland has not finished an opponent. Dude, I can't even believe. I, can't, I honestly can't believe that there were so many people picking Makameda for the win. Dude, it's wild. Wild. And after that first round, I was like, holy shit, maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Uh, the last time Sean finished somebody. Holy smokes. You got, you got, to, bring, you got to drag someone in from PFL. Uh, Norton Talib in 2018. Talib's not even in the UFC anymore, but he was a big, strong Canadian, right? I think. I think he's from Canada. Norton Talib. Holy smokes. 2018. We're in 2023. And then you're back to the decision shit. Before that was 2016. Alex Garcia. Damn, yo, Sean Strickland. It's been forever since he's finished somebody. So they gave Sean Strickland a fight where he should win. And what does Sean do? He not only wins, he knocks him out. Good job by Sean Strickland here. Getting back in the win column. I cannot wait to hear what he has to say on the mic. So we're going to listen to it real quick. Shit, man. We might have to do post-fight. I wasn't going to do post-fight, but Strickland might have to do it. Might have to bring him on. The man dance is undefeated, by the way. Man dance is undefeated. Our song is undefeated. All right. We're going to listen to the... Um, Post-fight interview, Sean Strickland. Well, well, well. Rematch of Brendan Allen. I like that. I like that a lot. It's shaky start, sensational performance. Let's see what Sean has to say. Let's hear what he has to say. He says he's seen double. You want to wrestle and these little Peter Pan kicks? He says, bring it. So, yeah, his, he says he's seen double, so his eye probably still bothering him. He did finish Brendan Allen. That is correct. Although this is a way different Brendan Allen, guys. Way different than when they fought, first fought. He did fit. When was when was that Brendan Allen fight? They're probably he's probably gonna call out Izzy. You gotta, you just gotta call you. You gotta take your shot. Oh, that's right. Brendan Allen was twenty twenty. So I stand corrected. It was three years ago where he got his finish. That was uh that was in there. He wants to fight the first and only Chinese champion. You know who that is, Izzy. He said there was a coward in me. He was thinking about stopping it. After the eye poke. All right, so Sean Strickland goes in there. Weathers the storm. Oh, that's cool. He's talking. Yo, I'll, I'll kill. I'll die for this country. 
I like it. I like it, man. Sean says, I will die for this country. I love this country. Also give a shout out to um, a teammate that has cancer. So listen, Sean says crazy shit, but you can tell he's a good dude. He maybe have questionable moments in, you know, sparring and beating up certain people that he shouldn't be beating up, I guess. But how how do you not like Sean, man? How do you not root for this guy? And he he gets a finish here against a guy he's supposed to beat, right? But had a little bit of a rough first round. He got that eye poke that happened to him. Do we stick? All right, this is what I'm going to do. He's growing on you. Okay, so let me ask you in the chat. You guys want to do the press conference? Oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. We've been live for a while. Six hours. Uh, I'm thinking about this. I think on Monday stream, what we'll do, or Tuesday maybe. I don't know. I got to see what we're doing. But I think we're going to play his interview, his post fight press conference thing. I think that's going to be fun. But yeah, Sean Strickland seems like a cool dude, man. He really does. I like the fact that he's very open and honest. He beat Cannoneer. Yeah, so like, that's what I was saying before. Like, with people that were spreading doubt, I was like, I don't understand why are you saying this after that Cannoneer fight. He looked, he really earned my respect in that Cannoneer fight. Even though he lost that fight, when you think about what Cannoneer d did wonderful, to wonderful. Vittori, yo, Sean's a beast. I fucking love Sean Strickland, Team America, bitch. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Wonderful. wonderful. I'm with you, man. Listen, we're, we're hungry, man. Like, especially coming from the U.S., like, we're hungry. We need some fucking, I don't know. We need some juice. You think about American UFC fighters. We got Sean O'Malley. No thank you. Give me Sean Strickland. Give me that Sean. Give me Sean Strickland, the man dance. That, that's more interesting to me. Like, that's a guy I can, I can back as a U.S. dude, you know? Team USA would be would be Sean Strickland. Like, I could back him. Now, does he beat Izzy? Probably not. But the hell, you make the fucking fight. Let's go. You know? I can't think of another. I mean, I guess you got Bo Nickel, but he's so so low right now. Can't go crazy about that. And I got to be honest with you. I don't like Bo Nickel. He's, I don't know. He he has a his own YouTube channel where he seems like he has somewhat of a personality. Maybe he's not that bad, but he's still, I need some time with that dude. Um, let me ask British fight Cockney style. What does that mean? Chandler, Justin, Dustin, all Americans. Yeah. I got to be honest with you though. I don't give a shit about any of them. Like I, I think they're good fighters, but like I'll, I'll, let me go through the list and I'll tell you why I don't like these guys. So Michael Chandler is a blast to watch, right? He is a blast to watch fight, but the, the preaching nonsense this, like, I don't know, this weird preaching Michael Chandler thing has got to go. You got to get rid of that shit. You know, this preaching, I don't know, it's just too much. He seems like a cool dude. I met him. Actually, he's a very nice guy in person. But I don't know. I'm good with that. The um, Dustin, uh, Justin Gaethje, the dude, I don't know, when he hits the mic, I want to punch myself in the face. One, Looks one, like Spuds one. McKenzie. Dustin Poirier. His I'll fucking post-fight speech was perfect. He took some shot at Izzy for just jumping from country to country. And then he said, basically, I'm an unapologetic fucking American. Yeah, basically, yeah. Basically. Thank you, Chubbs. Appreciate that. And Dustin Poirier. Now, let me... I'm, I'm mentioning all guys that are not real champions. Like, Chandler was a champion in Bellator. Poirier and Gaethje were interim champions. They're not real champions, right? So, I mean, you know, these are American guys that are doing their thing. Who knows? If Sean Strickland actually got a belt, that's the guy. That's that's the American. Al Jermaine Sterling's got the belt. He's not. Listen. <laughs> I don't. I can't gloat about Aljo. I can't do it. You know, I can't do it. <laughs> we get it. Trump 2024. I'm not getting into that nonsense. I like Sean. I do. I like Sean a lot. Oh, Jamal Hill is likable. Yeah, Jamal is not likable. He's not bad. He isn't. He's got fun stuff online. I still like Sean better, though. I don't know. I think Sean's hilarious. Like, if Jamal Hill's being interviewed, I'm not going to be like, oh, I got to go run and listen to that interview. I don't care. He's kind of boring on interviews, but fun on TikTok. That's not my That's not my guy. Uh, I like Wonderboy. I've met him. He's a very nice guy. But come on. He's too white bread for me. I really think Sean could get that belt. 
Why not? Do I think Izzy wins? Yes. Do I? Yes. I think Sean beats Paolo Costa. Fight me. Sean, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. Sean Strickland will beat Paolo Costa. I said it. Does he beat Alex? Well, no, he got knocked out, but still, Alex is in a different weight class. Nate Train? Uh, <laughs> he's a whole other monster. Um, but listen, Sean Izzy, if Sh Izzy plays it safe, I don't know. I don't know. Damn Sausage loves Paolo Costa. Stop it with that guy. Stop it. I like Paolo, too. He's a nice guy, but Jesus Christ. Secret juice. Let me ask you, Sausage. All right, here we go. Here's a real question. Do you like Paolo better than Sean Strickland? Now, this could be a tough question because I... Damn Sausage, he's got this weird... like damn, He would turn gay for Costa, and that's fine. I have no problem with that. That's his, that's his prerogative. That's his thing. But would you pick Costa... As a fan of Costa over Sean Strickland? Come on, stop it. I'd rather watch Sugar fight than Strickland, but Bo Nickel is going to be the next great American champ. Bo should be pretty good, yeah. But, he, I mean, he's fighting Trayshawn Gore. Nothing against Trayshawn. He's been on the show. Really nice guy. We still need work with Bo. Um, Sean, yes. Although, I mean, listen. Let me say this. Sean O'Malley... Yeah, he's an exciting striker, but he's fighting little 135ers. Sean Strickland's fighting big men, you know? Big men, big scary men. Sean Strickland's dribbling. He's fucking dribbling between his fucking strikes. I'll take Sean in his jab. I'm going to take the jab all day. Decision, Sean Strickland, jab all day. No, you love Paolo Costa. He comes up in every conversation. It's weird. We weren't even... Like, come on, stop it. Anytime, like, anytime we have a conversation, somehow Secret Juice pops up. We make a song about Sean Strickland. He's like, make a Secret Juice song. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. But you got to get off that dick of Paolo Costa. You got to get, get off of that thing. It's, it's a little disturbing. Makes me uncomfortable. Do you want to fuck him or do you want to roof? I don't know what's going on. That sausage gets all thick for Palo Costa. It's weird. Kainoto. Kainoto, what do you think about that? Anyway, all right, I'm done. I was going to stick around for Sean Strickland's thing, but I got to spend time with the family. I've been here way too long. I want to thank everyone for stopping by the show. Hey, Chubbs, thanks for those bonus donations coming in over here. We got another one. Wonderful, wonderful. What do we got, Chubbs? I think Strickland can pressure Izzy and pull off the miracle against that Chinese fucker. You think, well, listen, anything's possible. I just, I'm just trying to figure out how does he beat Adesanya, you know? I would love to see Sean Strickland fight Izzy. How does he beat Israel Adesanya? Like, that jab shit's not going to work. It's not like he's going to be stopping his takedown defense. I could see Izzy playing it safe and just... Getting in, getting out, doing some fancy stuff. I don't know, man. Anyone in the chat think that uh, Sean Strickland could beat Adesanya? Listen, I want to see the fight made just because um, the lead-up is going to be so good. Sean was murking Izzy, uh, the lead-up to that Alex Perea fight with, with Strickland, right? So... I would love to see that press conference and stuff like that. Put them on a pay-per-view. Sean, of course, well, you have to because Izzy's the champ. So, Sean versus Izzy. Headline it. Let Sean sell the shit out of it. I would like to see that. But, yeah, I would be pretty confident that Izzy would win that fight. But, you know, I'll be rooting for her, Sean. Wonderful, wonderful. Sinose. High score King Sinose. Well, shit, Strickland got a KO. The birth of one eye Strickland, the co-viking. Also <laughs> others who could be USA star. Colby factor slash champ. John if he wasn't gone all the time. There we go. Well, shit, Strickland got a KO. The birth I can't go crazy over that KO. I can't celebrate. He's supposed to win this guy. Beat this guy. A bus. He was supposed the whole point of this fight was Sean to just get an easy fight. Let's be serious. That's why he literally fought an unranked guy coming out of the PFL with one UFC fight. There was no reason they should have matched this fight up. So Sean finishing this guy, he did what he was supposed to do. 
I can't say, okay, this guy's the greatest fucking guy in the division, but I would like to see him make a run for sure. Uh, One-Eyed Strickland. Also, uh, let's see, other who could be UFC USA star? Colby, if active champ. <sighs> fucking Colby drives me nuts. He drives me nuts. Fuck Colby Covington. Let's talk about Sean Strickland. Guys, in the chat down below. Chat down the uh, comment section down below. I want to know what you guys think of Sean Strickland's performance. We got an appearance? You want to hop on for a little bit? Hold on a second. Oh, Jesse's here. Look, Jesse's here. You want you want to hop on and talk to him for a sec before I wind it down? Huh? I don't know. Oh, you missed the fights. Yeah. You got a Sean Strickland one. Defeated. A, let's be honest. Come on. <laughs> Some people were picking up. Let me, I'm going to look at this poll right now just out of curiosity. I'm sure people have swung in the other direction. But, dude, it's nuts, man. People are picking up us. That's crazy. I mean, he had a good first round. He did. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous, but not completely. <laughs> so, yeah, 60 40. This ship should have been, and this is after the fight went down. This shit should have been like 95 to 5. I don't understand. This was literally, it was literally a layup for Sean. You know, you put a guy, he's a Russian, right? So that scares people. Doesn't even have a full neck beard. Dude's got a goatee. Not a real, he's German. <laughs> Sorry, premature carnage. What was that? Uh, a bus won the first round, but Sean, towards the end of the round, he stopped the takedown and was coming back. Oh, yeah. And yeah, he, he started to, a bus started to get tired and shit, and Sean, Sean beat him. He, he took him out. All right. So we're going to wind it down. Thank you guys for stopping by. You want anything to say to the peoples? All right. Thank you for stopping by. Let's give a shout out to the top. And there's, there's a little boy, little boy Logan coming in. Uh, top fucking dog. Big, big, big fat thanks to the Hearns coming in with the big fitty. Big Fitty Hearns. With the Top Dog. Top Dog. Come on, Hearns. Give me that sweet Top Dog music. The $50 donation. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. It's stuck. Why is it stuck? It's stuck. It will turn off. What? It's stuck. It was stuck. Infinity Top Dog. Why was it stuck? That was weird. Okay, guys. Thank you for stopping by the show. Thank you for the support. If you haven't hit the like button, bash it up. Very nice. 6.53 on a fight night. Let's go. Uh, thank you for the likes. Comments down below. Go to the man dance. Go to the fucking man dance video. Sean Strickland is undefeated with the man dance in existence. So go on over there to the man dance. Send everyone. I wish I could, I could I could redirect you to the man dance, but I can't. So we could just drop links in the chat. Go on over to the man dance over here. This is the song. Share it with the winner, Sean Strickland. Put some comments out there. Get some fucking love for the song. And we're going to make that his next walkout since it's undefeated. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And thank you for being wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Don't be an a-hole. Be an M-M-A-hole. Good night!
Oh shit, we didn't we didn't crown we didn't crown hold on. We gotta crown our goat milk winner. We gotta crown we gotta crown our goat milk winner. Ladies and gentlemen, can't forget, for can't forget, Ronj Ronj Capper with the Whoa, it's a tie. It's a tie. Hold on a second. Holy smokes. So Ronj Capper must have got a tiebreaker over here. The Goblin Warrior. So nine correct. I wonder what the tiebreaker was. So he got more fights correct. Okay, so wow, very close. Look at this. Is that is that really the flash? Is that the that is the flash? Oh my god. I actually like that movie. I know a lot of people were shitting on it, but so the flash won goat milk. All right. Very close. Competitive goat milk over here. All right, congratulations, champ, and uh we'll see you on the scroll. Good night.